Hey guys, Fear back at it again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 17th of April 2022. It was a Sunday, we did some transmog hunting back in those burning crusade drunk that back in those burning crusade dungeons. There we go. If I can speak, I'm a little bit sleepy, my apologies. Uh, I hope you enjoy the VOD. We had a lot of fun today, lots of chats about oh gosh, a ton of random things. Uh, but if you'd like to catch me online in chat, you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma. If you add slash schedule to the end of that, you'll be able to see what time I'm going live converted to your time zone, which is super convenient. I'm terrible at time zone conversions personally. If you want to catch me uh, offline, technically offline, I guess, um, you can do so uh, at my socials, Instagram, Twitter, tw uh, Twitch is where I stream, uh, Facebook, TikTok. Uh, all that kind of fun stuff, and of course I'm here on YouTube, you can drop me a sub if you so desire, but all those social links are down in the description box of the video. I hope you enjoy, I hope I'll see you live next time, but until then, bye bye. There we go. Could you maybe not switch my microphone source constantly, OBS? That would be really, really nice of you. I'm trying to be a professional streamer person here, and you're making it very difficult. But also, you are also making it possible, because without you as a program, I wouldn't be able to stream, so look, we'll just... We'll just deal with that. Hi! Hello! Welcome! I need to turn my captions on. Damn. I am really tired. I don't know what is going on with my body this weekend, but I am just tired and I have been like, so that's fun. How are you guys? What's happening? What is up? Is your long weekend treating you so far? Thus farly. Rogue, let us place Rogue right there next to the thing it is strong against. I'm gonna go turn in that place 20 units quest because that's now completed. Done. Collect. I like the other music. It's really nice. Okay. Make sure to follow the link in chat, the stream readers link, log in with your Twitch account and drag and drop your units to the battlefield. Because that's how you play the game. Let's say hello to friends. Uh, Jack's chat was broken, but a refresh fixed it. Welcome on in, Jack. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Kay has grabbed second, then Shiba grabbed first. <laughs> Welcome on in, Kaz. Uh, Jack has grabbed third, as it is Easter. Excellent. Exactly. It is indeed. Uh, happy Easter to those who uh, observe the Easter holiday. I'm trying to think of what the right word was. I think observe is correct. Happy Easter to those of you who observe the Easter holiday weekend. What's it? And uh, happy Sunday to those of you who do not. Because everyone deserves to be happy today, regardless of whether or not you are religious. Or just like the capitalism that is involved with chocolate eggs. Or like the chocolate eggs that are involved with capitalism. Actually, it should probably be the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I, I, I have, I have, there's chocolate eggs in the cupboard. Like, I'm technically supposed to be somewhat religious, um, I, though I am not practicing and haven't in many, many years. Um, but my family is hardcore Catholic. Uh, so they are all currently, well, not all of them. Some of them are out of the state. Some of them are out of the country. Uh, but the majority of my family members are sitting in one of their homes observing the Easter weekend currently um, but I mean I'm, I'm not actually sure what proportion of my family still like observes and practices and, and attends church and all that kind of stuff like I, I genuinely don't know um, we're close but we're not like 
I don't know, I, I just, that's none of my business, you know? Like, their religion is their own personal relationship with a deity, and why the hell has that got anything to do with me? So I don't ask, and it's not something we regularly discuss, but uh, growing up, yeah, we were, like, not not my individual family unit so much, but um, the, the greater family, um, the extended family, uh, yeah, hardcore Catholic. Um, so... Easter is a bit of a thing for my family. Um, right, now that I'm here, I've got to gather you lot. We're going to do mana tombs for today. We're going to do some loot appraiser challenges. Um, I'm going to start with, what I say, mana tombs. It is a, it's going to be a quiet day today, and that's okay. It's Easter. People are doing stuff with their families. If they're not doing stuff with their families, they're going out with their chosen families potentially or they're sitting in their underpants eating chocolate easter eggs and bunny rabbits. Uh, or, in Australia, the Easter Bilby. Can I- I just- I learned this year. I learned this year that, um, so the- the Easter Bilby, Google, Google Bilby, it's B-I-L-B-Y, it's an animal, small furry marsupial type dealy, uh, and it's an Australian animal. And they were, I'm pretty sure they were like endangered, like quite endangered. Um, Bilby's animal. Uh, sorry, I've also been very sniffly this weekend. Um, so I'm pretty sure they were like, yeah, the lesser Bilby became extinct in the 50s. The greater Bilby survives but remains endangered. But I'm like many moons ago, I'm not sure how long ago exactly, um, but a while back, like a long while. Uh, yeah, so Bilbies are slowly becoming endangered because of habitat loss and damage and competition with other animals. There is a national recovery plan being developed for saving them. This program includes captive breeding, monitoring populations, and re-establishing Bilbies where they once lived. There have been reasonably successful moves to popularize the Bilby as a native alternative to the Easter Bunny by selling ch chocolate Easter Bilbies, sometimes with a portion of the profits going to Bilby protection and research. Uh, and it's been successful. Like, they're not, they're still, they're still at risk. They're still quite, like, they're still, I'm pretty sure, endangered. Um, but many moons ago, we started getting chocolate bilbies. Uh, chocolate Easter bilbies, as instead of rabbits. Um, and thanks to that, like, raising awareness for the bilby through that, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, through making them out of chocolate and selling them to children, um, who are now my age and, you know, in their, in their late 20s, early 30s. And, uh... And you know, have the the income and all that kind of stuff to be able to contribute to things that we know and love, like the goddamn Bilby. Um, it's been quite successful, and the the number, the Bilby populations across the country are climbing, and I think that's pretty freaking awesome. So yay, yay! Even if you don't celebrate Easter, that is something we can celebrate on on this Sunday. Is uh, is that we may have potentially have saved an endangered animal with chocolate. And capitalism, but we'll ignore that bit. Um, <laughs> uh, where are we? Rut roll. Hello, Hypha. Angry fear. Too much chocolate. I have had no chocolate today. Thank you very much. Um, no, I've been I've been actually counting calories for about a week now. Um, and then popping things into the into my Fitbit app and uh, uh, seeing what the dealio is because I was having some issues with and and tracking macros and and stuff like that because I've been having some some bodily issues lately. And I wanted to see if adjusting my diet would actually help. And um, so, yeah, I've had I have had some chocolate over the last, like I've had like a mini Easter egg every few days sort of thing over the last kind of week or so. But um, no, no chocolate so far today. Probably some later, though, because it's, it's Easter and I can. <laughs> Happy Easter to you, 2K. Hello, I see. Is it going? It's going pretty well so far, Chaos. Thank you for asking. Um, just tired. Lots of cleaning and stuff. Mary Zombie Jesus Day! Wasn't that tomorrow? Does, doesn't he rise on Monday? I thought Easter Monday was Zombie Jesus Day. I like the fact I'm not at work! Yay! Yay, Hyper! We're somewhat religious. Also, there's a whole chocolate-based capitalism. We've got heaps of eggs and bunnies to eat. Phenomenal. Good. I'm glad you're benefiting. Benefiting, spending Easter with people like here at the family. Oh, that's so sweet, Sheba. 
That's so sweet. All the hugs, sugar crash, naps too. Oh my god, too much math. That's the best bit. I don't have to do the math. I just type in what I eat and it tells me the math. It does it automatically. It's perfection. Hello, Lander. Welcome on in. How am I feeling? Tired, but good. Tired, but good. Hope you're well. So to celebrate, pass over to the Jews and... Is it Mubarak or Mubarak? Or where? where is the... I'm not sure, but Ramadan to people who practice Islam. Exactly. And anyone who's not religious, happy Sunday. Because you matter too. Everyone matters. Everyone has a happy day. Yay! Fantastic. All right, where am I going? Uh, Luda Razor, this one. Challenge! Not ramparts. We're going to do mana tombs. And I'm gonna send the invite. Watch as it goes to nobody because I'm appearing offline. <laughs> I'm really good at this. There we go. It's sent to a few people at least. We'll see how that goes. Uh, potentially. Potentially. I'm not too sure. Offline is where all the cool people are. Correct, Trump. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a phenomenal day and weekend. Much the same. Hey, where are we going? Indeed. Indeed. Come out today. Please go factory four. Fantastic. I hope you have fun. Have fun. Look, even if no one joins me, I'm still gonna, like, I'll, I'll start the timer for me and do my, do my ATT. Because, yep. Called a lat muscle coughing from the bronchitis. Life is pain. I am, I am so sorry, Rump. I am so sorry to hear that. That sucks. Muscle, that is usually what, uh, like, lats, so referring to lats is specific, like a specific muscle. Um, I'm sure it is probably short for lateral, yes. Uh, they're shoulder muscles, right? you do lat pull downs and they're like you grab the thing and you pull down and the idea is that you squeeze your shoulder blades together at the back when you come down and then like and then go up with with control and it's a lat pull down so i'm assuming it's the shoulder muscles latissimus dorsi that's right yeah you yeah i'm not sure about the spelling but that's absolutely what it is that's absolutely what it is hey slug how's the game been think you're starting to play again it's been good i'm enjoying myself and i mean that's what kind of matters right as long as you have fun that's um that's it. Um, the ass area. <laughs> no. Login for like not a worry. Login as well. Fantastic. Hey Dory is technically near the arse area. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you if you if you define near as like within one meter, then yeah, everything on your body is near the arse. So that's that's great. Resend that invite, and we're gonna get cracking real soon because we're already I'm already a bit behind, but that's okay. Just expansion real day every day, every day. That's how time works. <laughs> that's how time works. Alrighty. Um, I am going to change this to rogue only mode. And I'm going to right, um Mana Tombs. There we go. What the fucking quests. Uh that's right, I'll on oh, spirit shards, wonderful. Um, so I'm gonna do it on heroic first, I reckon, and then one on heroic, and then a bunch of the rest of them on normal. Uh, I'm gonna zone in, and while so makeup look is toned down today, but it is still there. Um, so I have a blue. Like a pale blue, purple. It's got a bit of a purple shimmer to it, in in like the crease and stuff. I've got a purple that you can't really see at all, but it, there is a purple there on the outside corner, and then you can sort of see that bronzy browny sort of color, um, in the middle there. So what I'm calling this is like gray, purple, blue, purple, and brown. 
That's that's what I'm calling it. That's what it's supposed to be. It, they're all quite pale, but I'm kind of feeling it anyway. Um, I own this mount, and it flies. There you go. <laughs> Ashes! No! Um, all right, I'm gonna grab these quests. Let's be closer. A. E. Oh my god, my goddamn quest log is full. Are you joking? Um, I'm gonna abandon that one. By the sun well. Ah! Rump! Rump with the resub and at tier two as well. So generous. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. 32 months. Holy cow. God. Um, wait, I can hear that one. The head, which starts the quest. I have the blueprint that starts the quest. Okie dokie. Good. Alright, here we go. We're going to get started. If you want to join partway through, that's totally okay. Uh, all you need to do is, um, uh, you can find me on your friends list, right click and go down to the bottom where it's got like Ludicrous Challenge and you can request uh, an invite and it will automatically accept you. It's not actually like, I don't have to accept the, oh no, I'm in the wrong spec. Where it's assassination, isn't it? Banner knives, that's the one. Um, yeah. what? She's grey, purple, blue, purple, brown. Yep, correct. Correct. Oh, right. Um, gotcha. Let's share the best mount. I know, right? But no, that is, that is not the mount that I'm, I've got on my face. It's quite stunning. Oh my god. Hey, nice. Good way to start the day. Uh, that is a new, a new chest piece and a, nope, that was a duplicate. The shared appearance fist weapon. That's fine. Um, let's golden charger. No. Check and fly. Look, we haven't tried yet. Maybe. Maybe. 30 months ago, I had to get a new credit card. I got to a new, so it dropped my long standing sub. It did. It did. Bastards. Bastards. And it doesn't, like, it doesn't show your, um, your, like, total, like, because you know how if you drop your chain, it's still, and then pick it up later, it still shows, like, what, like, it shows your current chain plus, like, the uh, how many months total that you've subbed. It doesn't even show the old ones. I wonder, maybe it's because they implemented that after? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Blue Wind Rider. No. Dusklight Razorwing. No. Hey, Nick, how are you going? In just a second. Oh, tasty. Uh, dust clutter Ardmoth. Nope. Oh god, what the hell did Krasi get? A recipe. Oh, good lord. You lot and your world drop recipes. I swear to god. <laughs> you lot. Now we're just making up words? I mean, yeah. Technically, all words are made up. And Maya Flyer. No. We have to do that particular dungeon to do the Lutapraiser challenge? Yes. 
that's how lax work. Um, is that everyone does the same dungeon to try to get more gold out of it than everyone else. So mana tombs. Yep, that's correct. Um, and until the timer finishes, and then we'll switch dungeons. Fia, pick a number between 1 and 10. 7. If Rump ever asks any of the rest of you to pick a number, don't. It's a trap. Um. <laughs> but I'll... Ah! Oh, Rump! Thank you so much for the gifted subs! Oh my god! Hi, the sun well. Oh my god, so generous of you! Holy cow! Um... Is it Hustied? No, it's not Hustied. Hi, the sun well. Oh, Rump, thank you so much for the gifted subs. That is so sweet of you. Seven gifted subs. Hi, oh, the sun dear. Well. oh dear. Oh dear. Very generous. I appreciate you very much. Congratulations to everyone who got hit by the sun Hi, bomb. The sun well. If you feel comfortable having a chat, um, definitely thank Rump for the uh, gifted sub. But no pressure, of course. Of Hi, course, the sun well. Far more comfortable lurking than we accept that as well. Hi, Yay, Narthi, well. congratulations! Yeah. It would absolutely be a trap. Yep, I know, right? It's a thing. God, look, see, it was a trap for me as well. It's just a happy trap. Right now. But Hi, I the sun well. As I am a gracious host, I will tend to... Is it a trap or a boon? Look, I mean... Probably a little bit of both. High wind dark main, no. Twilight harbinger, no. Ooh! You transmog. Woo! I like that you can run out and yep, good. Uh and for decorate. Nope. We head, switch to Voldenai Dunescraper. No. Island Thunderscale. Nope. Sorry, I got them the wrong way around, but neither of them were yes, so it's okay. Laywoven Flying Carpet. Nope. Dungeon is on normal. Let's go. Dang it, even. It's okay, I understood. Down it works too. I am not doing well with this today. That's okay. Maybe it's just waiting to give me like a 10k drop at the end of the whole thing. Dan it too. Dan it too indeed. Gmod. Nope. Winged Guardian. Nope. Purple Netherwing Drake. Nope. Leatherbound thistle grub. Unfortunately, that is not the correct answer, Rump. Steed. Nope. Shimmer Mist Runner. Nope.
infinite time reaver. Nope. Huntmaster's loyal wolf hawk. No. Eclipse dragon hawk. Nope. I get it. Swift Gloom Hoof. Nope. The Hive Mind. Nope. Ooh. That's not bad. Not too bad. It's not last. Nurse. Vibrant mana ray. Nope. Wild seed cradle. What is this? You must forgive me, but I was not expecting company. As you can see, we are somewhat preoccupied right now. But no matter, as I am a gracious host, I will tend to you. Ah. Arcanus Mana Saber. Nope. Hello, fairy. How are you doing today? You're having a fantastic day. An epic battle. How exciting. Ah, I got the recipe. That's awesome. That's awesome. There we go. Shadow Bob drone. Nope. No, that's a lie. That's a shared appearance. I've actually got everything I need from that boss now, so. It's nice. Ooh. Won't say no to that. Griffin. Purple Griffin, moderately fast on Tuesdays. Purple Griffin, occasionally less than the top. Purple Griffin. Oh, Kaz is not the Purple Griffin. I can tell you that much. Shabab drone. Uh, no, I think that was your last guest story. 
to Nick, please. Uh, Ashervale Chimera, no. Nope. Archmage's prismatic disc, no. Nope. We're guessing uh, my mount makeup, like we do every stream, every time, uh, every day at the start of stream. Well, for the whole stream, my makeup is inspired by World of Warcraft mount. Uh, the colors on the mount will be the same as the colors on my face. Um, all the major colors from the mount will be on my face, but every color that is on my face will be on the mount somewhere, um, like on my eyes specifically. So today we've got like a, a grey blue, pale grey blue kind of shade, uh, purple and brown. And they represent a mount, and the first person to guess the mount wins a steam key. The only time I don't do this kind of stuff is if I'm like really not well. <laughs> days that I can't, like days where it's either I have the energy to do makeup or stream. Then, then stream wins, and I just don't wear makeup. But um, vast majority of streams we do this. It's digitally erased mustache. <laughs> no. Oh dear. It's no way. Ah, bugger. That's okay. And Cohen wave rate. Nope. Yeah, Dora, I thought, you th I thought that maybe you thought I didn't see it or something like that, but I was pretty sure I'd responded to it, so... Yeah. Space Jam DVD. No, but have you seen the new one? Have you, have you seen the new Space Jam? Jas and I watched it the other day on Netflix. What is this? Of course. What did you think? You forgive I was not expecting customers. As you can see, we are somewhat preoccupied right now. But no matter, as I am a gracious host, I will turn to you. So it was a movie, yes it was. Yes it was. I feel like there were so many references that I just didn't understand because I'm not a basketball fan and I'm not American. Like, I, I really felt like it was very specific, rather than like a Looney Tunes movie with a famous person, it was a basketball movie that happened to have the Looney Tunes. Um, and so there was a lot of stuff that I just didn't understand, which kind of, you know, but a lot of it was adorable and hilarious and I loved it. Like that was the only bit that kind of made me feel a bit kind of like, oh, this movie is not for me. Um, and every so often I was just like, it is a children's movie. It is not going to be. Super accurate. It is a children's movie. Just there were a couple of moments where I was like, that's not how that works. But, you know. I know. I know. Your clues are pretty rare. It might be nice to ride or kind of gross. It's all right. I'm going to give you an extra clue after I do this bit. Because it's been half an hour. And uh, no one has guessed yet. But um, it won't be those kind of interesting clues. Th those kind of clues are sort of subjective. Like, what I would think is gross, maybe someone else wouldn't think of as gross. So I tend to keep my clues pretty, like, black and white, pretty flat factual. Um, but uh, the mount that you are looking for is from Wrath of the Lich King. It was introduced in Wrath. Uh, Drake of the Four Winds, no. Violet Spellwing, no. Uh, American I'll teach you. Look, I would love to, but money. <laughs> um, yeah. I know, yeah, I'll, I get that, Nick. Like, I read them out in order. Like, no need to tag me. Seriously. Like, don't do that. I will get there. You know what I'm like. I read every chat message. Yep. Uh, this was definitely Ashes. Definitely Ashes, not Ashes. Bloodbathe, Frostbrood, Vanquisher. Nope. Isn't invincible, is it? No. Nope. Look, Hyper, I know you're a troll, but I've had some real fucking issues lately with me setting boundaries and viewers trampling all over them, so don't. Yeah? Cool. Thank you. Same goes for you, Rump. Come on, you're a mod. Like, seriously. Like, I've had to ban people in the last week for not 
respecting my boundaries, so can you not? Like, seriously, don't fucking encourage it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Like, I get it, and I know it's all in good fun and all that kind of stuff, but, you know, when you just kind of laugh every single little thing that everyone does off, people cross boundaries like majorly and it becomes an issue and then when you ban them it's like oh but such and such was doing this and it's you know having to try to it's, it's just not worth it it's not worth my sanity um so uh next scene drake nope blue proto drake nope This is a fun one. I feel like, I know I always say this, but look, here we go again. I always, like, when we get to this point and, like, there's been lots of guesses and no one's gotten it, I kind of start feeling like, did I do a trash job? <laughs> is this, is this not, did, like, no one's getting it? That's all right. We'll get there eventually, I'm sure. Eventually. Ooh, shiny. How much time we got left? 25 minutes. On the clock. Hopefully I can get a, get a couple more bits of transmog from in here before I leave. Move on to the next one. Let's see. Blind and not currently playing battle. Look at mounts is why I haven't got it. Of course, of course. Definitely recommend Warcraft mounts. Uh, in terms of because they have like quite a lot of the mounts have like multiple screenshots from different angles to like catch all the different colours and stuff. Um and they're, they, they're bigger as well, and you don't have to be able to log in to see it. And then for the clue that it flies, the first when I first talk about the colours, I also give you the clue about whether it flies and whether I have it. So I own this mount, and it does fly. Warcraft mounts will be able to tell you whether or not it flies, and then you can check Simple Armoury. And you can type exclamation Simple Armoury in chat to get the link to my one. Uh, and those ones will be able to tell you whether or not I own them. So if you find one on Warcraft mounts, you go, oh, this could be it. You can flick over to Simple Armory and check whether or not I've got it. Or you can just guess it, which is what most people seem to do because they don't want to get some, like, they don't want someone else to beat them to the guess. Which is really kind of cool and hilarious, and I like that people are excited about this game. <laughs> I have a lot of fun doing my makeup, so I, I love that, I love that people have fun with the, the guessing and stuff, you know? It's nice. We have fun together through slightly different means. Uh, my makeup's not trash, tis beautiful. No, but you know what I mean, though. Like, a trash representation of the mount. <laughs> it can look awesome, yet still be a trash representation. And I am I am comfortable with that. And sometimes it just plain looks like trash, but that's okay. I haven't been unhappy with the makeup look for a while now, though, so I think maybe I'm, like, practice makes better. You what know, is this? something like that. Oh, Icebound Frostbury Vanquisher. I was not expecting company. Timeless Proto Drake. Nope. Right now. Unwilled Wildling. No uh, that one's not from Wrath of Lich King. Host, that I one's a Shadowlands mount. Personally. Uh, Azure Drake. Nope. Um, WH. I don't know what that means, Shiba. Is that you yelling? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that might be you yelling. Uh, blue dragon hawk. I missed colors. I'm inferring from context. Of course, meaty. Uh, it's not the blue dragon hawk. Uh, the colors were like a pale blue gray sort of shade, uh, a purple, and a brown. That's what we're looking for. Me yelling. Good. Noted. <laughs> I figured it might be, but I also like didn't want to like totally assume. Uh, Arjun Hippogriff. Nope. Armored blue end rider. Yes. Yes. So. Dory said earlier, Blue Wind Rider. And when I said, give me a second, I was alt having to double check the difference between the two mounts. And my decision ended up being that the Blue Wind Rider is the, it's the same wing color, the same body color. It has like a dark blue mane, but it has no purple or brown on it. It doesn't have the harness. It doesn't have the, the armor on it that gives it the purple shade either. So I was like, sometimes like if it's, if it's like, you know, brown horse and swift brown horse and the, the color of the armor on it, like the saddle and stuff is basically the same color as the mount. I'll give you it because it's 
almost but these two were different enough that I decided no but but I know a lot of people don't celebrate Easter and that's okay um, I semi do slash semi don't um, but Today's a pretty rough day for me because I've just, I've missed so many holidays with my family, regardless of whether or not they're religious holidays or not, or what, it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I've missed so many birthdays, I've missed, um, I've, I've missed holidays, Easter's, Christmases, all that kind of stuff. Um, my cousin is engaged and I missed all that. So, I'm going to try to bring a little happiness and just, 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 just a tiny little bit. Um, so I'm going to give you both a both of you are steam key because Dory was damn close but not quite right so Shiba and Dory can I get a number from you both please um <laughs> threw me off the original blue render I guess I figured as much because I'm like that's the next obvious answer why is no one taking it like <laughs> but that's okay you were so close you were and that's why it was my next guess. Thank you. Do it for the chocolate. Damn straight. And that is valid as fuck. <laughs> I too love chocolate. Ah, oh, dear. Guess to both. Yes, absolutely. So Shiba's going with 20. Which is... This. It is. Okay. There's Shiba. There's Shiba. You are getting the Ambassador, Fractured Timelines. Congratulations. And 52 for Dory. 52 for Dory. You have one. I am wondering if I cut off the name of this in my spreadsheet but we're about to find out um just making sure that i've got your yes cool i've got the right i yep good um the game is called the swords of ditto mormos but i feel like it's supposed to be mormos something 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 i feel like i've cut the name of the title of the game off so i would love to know what the hell that game is called all oh, right, the time is still going. Oops, I'm very good at this game. Um, I hope you both enjoy your games, or whoever ends up with them enjoys them. Uh, where am I? The... Oh, nope, it's not letting me scroll. The swords of Ditto. It's Mormo's Curse. I did cut it off. The swords of Ditto, Mormo's Curse. There you go. That's, that's what you've got. Fantastic. I got there eventually. Congrats to both of you. And thank you so much for playing. It really does make me really happy. I like them a lot. I like, I like playing the game. You're very welcome, Dory. Not a worry. Great at all. Oh, dearie me. Let's squish some shit. What? Have I? Oh, bugger. <laughs> Guess who didn't check their inventory? I'm very talented, professional. Ah, brilliant, there you go. You seem to be on the same shard, fantastic. You're doing far better than I am, that's for sure. Look at me sitting at the bottom of the meters. Bottom of the, the leaderboard for gold, it's not really a meter, is it? Clean your bags. Yeah, I, thank you so much, Shiva. A bit late. Yeah, that's why I said shard, not server. Um, I'm assuming that a lot of us will be popped onto the same shard, especially given how quiet it is out here. 
Selling all my greys, selling all my greys, selling, 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 selling all my greys. There we go. Back here we go. <clears throat> oh, after this one, we might need to capture some. Wait, is everyone on the leaderboard? Is everyone who's participating? Are you all horde? I know Kraz is. No more most curse. Yeah, I found it on on the Steam, uh, on the Steam thingy. Your alliance. Okay. Or you might be on a different shard. I hope so. Um, because the towers are up so that we can keep getting spirit shards from the bosses. It's these ones. Spirit shards. Have four. Pretty sure that these, they all share an appearance, but I need, you need 18 to be able to buy thing but it takes it adds a huge chunk of percentage to your uh, ATT stuff because I, I know Kraz is Horde um, I know I'm Horde Chaos is Alliance Neck is Horde oh you can be Horde 49 and Alliance okay because yeah um like we can go and do the towers so that we can still get spirit shards, but if one of us can't, you know, that'd be kind of I don't know. Yeah, it'd kinda of, it'd suck a little. Um but fingers crossed, Chaos is on a different shard, and so Chaos can go get the Alliance Towers for their shard and we can get the horde ones for ours. That'd be nice. But uh we'll see. Because after this we are we're gonna do a lap of uh Orkin Dune. Do all four of the dungeons here. So I would very much like to get to 18 shards if possible. two pieces. Well, I guess it's okay if I still have a piece or three left, because um, I still need to do the whole quest chain for the um, keys, the Ethereum prison keys. There are so many BOE, like so many transmogs that drop from those prisons that I did not even realize. There's stuff on, there's stuff I don't have on fear, and I did this stuff repeatedly back when it was current. More than 4k behind. Uh, I wonder if that's because I kept stopping and doing other stuff, or if it's just because I have dodgy luck today. Probably dodgy luck, knowing knowing me and how much luck we've had. Come on, we had two two infinite time reavers drop on Friday doing um doing what time walking, and I got three what mounts on Monday. Clearly, I've spent all my luck, yeah, and the game's just like, the, uh, nah, you don't need this stuff. Right you don't need gold. What are you doing? But no matter, as I am a gracious host, I will tend to you personally. I have long for a good adventure. Uh, so you mean you have an alliance character that's level 49? I think that's what you mean. Awesome! It's high enough to do most of this kind of stuff, hey? That's awesome. As long as we're doing like lower, low enough, like a BC, you can absolutely pound through on a 49. Uh, Legion, maybe not so much. Ah, uh, 49 spirit- Oh, 49 spirit shards on alliance! Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. 
Um, yeah, I've got a few on fear and stuff, but just, uh, that's not going to help the rogue. <laughs> that's not going to help the rogue. But that's okay. Drew to 60. Fantastic. I've probably got one more run in me before I have to empty my bags again. The dust. Think. I think it's dust. I, I don't know what's going on, but my nose is like, my sinuses are so much worse than they have been lately. Two greens that are worth less than 100 gold. Good. Good, but I'm catching, I'm up to 8k. I'm just not getting any greens. <laughs> Five shards on my alliance mage. Yeah, I had four on uh, on this rogue. Because I've not really, I've not done these dungeons before on her, I don't think. Um. So it's special. Yeah, I've still only got four because the um, they're in contention now. They're not. Um, so none of us will get spirit shards while they're actually up for capture. Fia's got 75, so there's that. She just can't buy the bot leather stuff and have it count. Ping ping. Spirit shards. Oh, bugger. Okay. There you go. I must have switched. That's okay. We're going to be here for the next few hours. I'm sure it'll switch back again. The next dungeon will be kinder. Yeah, look, fingers crossed. Um, but as I said, I, I'm pretty sure I probably spent all my luck for the week. Uh, <laughs> and I've, I've crossed a couple of transmogs off the list for this dungeon, which is good. So, look. Hey, look, eight, eight and a half K is nothing to sneeze at. That's not a bad thing. Tavarok again. And who knows, maybe I'll get like a 10 K green drop or something. Never say never. Never give up hope. 500. I'm also not on a druid, keep that in mind. Well, it'll be interesting to see how many people hit lockout cap. So when I have time, yeah. <sighs> time. Wouldn't that be lovely? The inventory is full again. Which is lovely. Thing. Uh, first step is that you need to have uh, the add-ons installed. So there's Loot Appraiser, there's Loot Appraiser Challenge, and you also need to have TSM. With TSM, it needs to have come through like the start of the setup, so you need to be at the point where you have price sources available, and you need to have the desktop app installed so that it can pull the prices from the internet and stick them in the folder for your add-on to pull and put in the game. Otherwise, everything you get will be worth like one gold or one silver or one copper or nothing. Um, so, and that won't help. I mean, I mean, if you don't mind about that, then that's fine, uh, but it won't 
um, it won't you won't show up on the leaderboards. Uh, then you need to have me on your friends list. Then you go to me on your friends list and you right click them and you go down to the bottom, send request for invite all the way down the bottom. And that'll stick you in the current one or you can wait until the next one comes up. Thank you, Shiba. I need to... Oh, it does have it to say, yeah. To join in with fears, I can need Ludopraiser add-on, Ludopraiser challenge add-on, TSM setup to pull price data from the desktop application. So it does mention the desktop application. Okay, good. Wait, or did I update that last time? I don't fucking know. I'm I'm confused now. But yes. And then you got to add me. Yeah, there you go. Golden. Is that Shiba? But yeah, once all of that is done, you'll be able to join in. And you can either join in on the current one that we're doing by doing that thing, or um, you can wait until the next one and you'll get an invite with everybody else. Totally up to you. Mm, I'm going to do one more run. Um, I just need to empty my bags first. Like. Good fortune to our friends. <laughs> Many farewells. Farewell, friend of the Grummels. <sighs> Not very well today. <laughs> but that's okay. I got transmog. Check where Alexia was at. So she was at 43.24% completion. And now she's at 59.45. Not a huge improvement, but definitely something. Could be worse. We've got alliance people running with us at the moment. See the little alliance symbols? And uh, Zam, who has run with us a few times, is EU. Now that you can, now that the friends list, the Battle.net friends list is cross region, and because this add on operates via the Battle.net friends list, the add on got an update, and now it's cross region too. That's why I like doing them, because everybody. Everybody can join in. How awesome is that? How freaking awesome is that? Neat, right? Super neat. I'm, yeah, I'm really happy about it. Can you tell? <laughs> like, I know, I know that my audience spans, like, quite a few different areas and stuff. And so, like, it's really good to be able to include as many of the community members as I possibly can, as, as want to join, of course. Like, not everyone likes doing this kind of stuff and that's totally okay, but if you do, you can do it with me. No having to, like, fiddle around with having an EU representative of the Fiamily run what no, none of that crap. We just, uh, just do it all here. Predatory gloves, nether shade boots. Hey! I got the boots at least. That's good. I'll take him.
just under a minute and a half left, and then we'll be moving on to the next one. We're going to go to Sethic Halls next. If uh, if you are keen to join us for that one, feel free to head there now. Um, the plan will be that I'll head outside after the time is finished. Um, we'll all empty our bags, and uh, and then I'll kick off invites. Give it a couple of minutes, and then uh, after that, if you want to join us, you can do so via the friends list. Uh, remember to exclamation add me if you want my battle tag to add me so that you can participate. If you've already got the add-ons installed, of course. If you don't have them all installed, exclamation LAC. Get you all the data you need. Warp bow, kilt, or leggings, please. Epic battle. How Double ring. Okay. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Go twenty seconds left on that timer. I'm not gonna run again. I'm gonna take the L and move on. Uh, but I started this dungeon with forty three point two four percent completion with ATT, and I'm now at 64.86% completion. I'm pretty happy with that. It's not that, like, last weekend I got all the ones that we ran, they ended up in the 80s and 90s, which was amazing. But these dungeons have quests in them that require you to, like, go to Netherstorm and stuff first, which is just a pain in the ass. So I didn't do those. Uh, but that's okay. I'm I'm pretty happy with that outcome. Go. Complete. We is done. Done with that dungeon. So don't forget to empty your bags. Oh, mm, the <laughs> many deals for a friend of the Grummels. <laughs> towers are still up for capture, so I think we might kick off with that as well. I like those spirit shards, so I can finish out those um. I need to probably visit a, um, what's it to? So yeah, Alliance is definitely not getting the shards at the moment. It, nobody is because the towers aren't controlled. So. I'm curious, is like run on the current AH price? No, there are, like, so you can set which price source you want to use. So you can have it do that. Um, but I have it set to the, uh, I always lose the capture bar. Is it because I'm not? Oh no, there it is. The bar's come back. Okay, cool. Um, so I've got mine to the region global sale average. So it's not how much it's on the AH4, it's how much it sells for, but average across the entire region. So it should be, it'll be different for NA and EU. So like, for example, on my list down there, we had Krazy got a Dragon Wing Blade for 4,066, 4, and Rohim got a Dragon Wing Blade for 3,014. So I'm assuming... That's because it's two different regions, and that's why there's the different prices there. Um, but it should, if if three people from NA got the one item, it should calculate the exact same price for all of them. Um, that's how I make it as fair as possible. Um, and sale average, it represents how much you might actually get, not how much people think they can post it for, you know? Because people will post items for millions of gold just to be numpties, and it will never sell. So, yes. Uh, region average, yeah, I, I use region average, but you can set it to use pretty much anything else. Sethic Hall's next. It is Sethic Hall's next, yeah, but I'm capping these towers so that we can get the, um, so that the Hordies can get the Spirit Shards, because I need them to buy Transmog. Don't know about you. <laughs> uh, Meaty, Fade, Cat, Silver, and Thor, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shits. But yes, definitely Sethic Hall's next. Hope you all got an enormous number of tokens. Congrats to all. 
Need to mail stuff off to my rogue to unlock. Yeah, I I have. Uh... Luckily, I'm on my rogue currently, but I will need to handle that stuff later. I'll probably I'm just gonna ship it all off to Fia and um, using like to farm up some gold eventually. Yeah, definitely a, a way to do it. And if you do like a, a dungeon for a couple of hours and get your like your looted item value, and it also shows you like up here, you can see 1060, 10670 per hour. You can, like, if you keep track of that for a bunch of dungeons for you and your server sale prices, you can kind of figure out which dungeons are more worth it per hour for you to do. Um, but of course, that does require a little bit extra effort on your end. Um, loot appraisal challenge doesn't do that um, natively, doesn't track it. After uh, do my kids looks like they're on warrior. Fantastic, Chris. That's okay. Not a worry at all. And like, I mean, I'm sure you have been. I noticed you went AFK earlier. If you need to duck out, like, no harm done. Go for it. Have fun. Um, strange, my server already has the horde with the towers for another 50 minutes. Yeah, it'll depend on, uh, like, because the timer starts when the capturing is finished, someone might have been actively doing it for you, but they weren't on my server, so I'm just grabbing them. Um, wrong screen. Ah, oh, I did press the button. Yeah, bugger. So, um, up here is where I was talking about the 10670. Um, up on there. But yeah, um, I did push the button, but maybe it just maybe I didn't push it like properly, push it hard enough or something. Thanks for the notification. Uh, look at my hunter and play. I'm dealing with a little buff heads. Perfect, perfect. How much estimated chocolate do you think they've eaten between the two? Kilo, three kilos. Uh, okay, yep, I'm gonna have to do a tidy up. I've got I've got the friend request. Give me a second and I'm gonna um do a quick scan and see who I can So my my friends list, I I do not take it personally. It's it's very much like when were you last online? If you were online over a month ago, bye-bye. Um so yeah, if I remove you from my friends list, please do not take it personally. It is not a personal thing. It's, um, uh, also if you have yourself as appearing offline, make sure to flick yourself online every so often. You only have to do it for half a second. Um, in fact, you don't even have to go to online, you can just go to, like, busy or something. Um, otherwise, even if you've just, if you've just added me and you've been appearing offline for three months, and I have to go through and check for someone who's been offline, I will remove you again because I won't remember that I just added you because that's how my brain works. Brother, that's how my brain doesn't work. So, <laughs> so yeah, it, but it's absolutely nothing personal. It's like, we have a cap of 200. It is what it is. Uh, a bag of mini M&Ms, very happy sheep, fantastic. I made the mistake of going onto Amazon Australia and found like a bucket, two kilogram bucket of um, the trolley bright crawlers, like the little sour worms. You know, definitely not. I will eat them in one sitting and I will hate myself. As much as I would have expected if we gave them both a big rabbit, they ate less than a quarter. Oh, wow. Wow, maybe they're learning that like, if they eat it now, they won't have any later. That's amazing. The thing about BC Dungeons is that you don't need to use any teleport in or out of. Yeah, yeah, I, that's, I love BC Dungeons for that, that specific, yeah, they're brilliant. Such good design. I don't know why they don't. Nowadays, they do usually put an NPC at the end that you can talk to who will port you out, which I, I also accept that. But like doing just one loop and then skedaddling out, perfection. Um, I've got a 19 hauls. Good job. There you go. Time remaining six. Is that hours? I'm okay with that. Brilliant. To Sethic hauls. We're going clockwise. Uh, I'm an ears only kind of chocolate bunny eater. But it's all chocolate. Like, why is that? Just, I just go crunch and then eat the bits, regardless of whether, like, that's, yeah. I just destroy them. Good afternoon, Trud. How are you today? Uh, Sethic Halls, didn't we say? This one. I'm gonna minimize that one. Uh, and I'm gonna pop it on Heroic. To that. Calls. Send invites, and I'm gonna scoot on in 
to the dungeon. Dream walk out and in, yeah, for very good afternoon. Happy Easter, Mari, to you too. One of my friends had one of the other mods randomly sent them in that 25 pound box of mini MMs. Oh my god. I just like scoop them up. Because they behave like water when there's enough of them, right? Dad loving shoulder bunnies always get the ears. Ah, have it for me now. Eat the ears, hand it off to someone else to enjoy. Oh, that's funny. Alright. To Issa, Isfa. Oh, I can't do a quest because there's a breadcrumb. That's right. I as in I won't be able to do the breadcrumb quest. I don't really care too much about that. Okie dokie. Ready, check. If you want to join us after I hit this button here, feel free to join via the um the like friends list thing. Uh, how are you going this fine Sunday? Yeah, not doing too badly. A little bit sleepy, honestly, but overall, uh, overall pretty good. Hope you're doing wonderfully well. Hey, Rorak, welcome back. How are you going? It's in the box. Your small glass and scoops them out. Yeah, I mean the body heat would definitely like melt the coating. The at least the dye on the coating and all that kind of stuff, which is not super great. It makes a mess. But um, yeah, that'd be so much fun to play with. Good evening. Hello, Gabby. Happy Easter to you too. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, doing all right. Doing all right. Bit sleepy, but um, but I'll uh, I'll survive. I have thus far. I'm sure I can continue to do so. <clears throat> yeah. Looking forward to sleeping tonight, gotta tell ya. Um, but, you know, insomnia, it's not exactly something I can do anything about. I've, I've tried all the tricks in all the books. Uh, all the doctors have kind of said, I'm gonna do this, and I'm like, cool, doing that, not helping. Or try this as well. Just none of it helps. None of it helps. But I'm surviving, um, so just gotta keep on keeping on. Nice, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Laughs are just terrifying. Um, my body still looks up I'll turn in. I'll turn into that as long as I can, of course. Of course. Insomnia, that's horrible. Yep. Yep, since I was nine. Now 32. had a, a colleague in an old job once ask me, like, how do you function as an insomniac? Like, how, like when I haven't had, like, like how, how does it, how does it feel? When I haven't had sleep, I feel terrible. I'm like, so when, when you've had, when you've had a really bad night of sleep, like, how, how does, you, how do you feel? And how does your body operate? And like, oh, it doesn't. It's just, it's terrible. I can barely get myself out of bed. I can, like, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, cool. So that's what I feel like every day. And they're like, how though? And I'm like, there's what else am I supposed to do? If I just sleep, if I just stay in bed all day, then I'll lose my job. I'll get fired for non-attendance. I'll I'll not have any income. I'll not have any money. I'll lose my place of home. Like I'll lose my home because I can't pay rent. I won't be able to afford food or bills or anything. Like I have to function. I have to just get the fuck up and get shit done. I don't have a choice. That's, it is what it is. And people who, who don't have insomnia, who've never experienced it, they don't understand it. They don't get it. And so they don't know that that's, they just kind of feel like, oh, they must just be sleepy all the time. Like, it must just be sleepy all the time. But it's, it's really not that. It's so much worse than that. But, like, there's nothing else we can bloody really well do. We just have to get on with it. Yeah, it's great fun. <laughs> awesome fun. Power in drink 
Yeah. Power in trinkets. Well, I have two of those, so I must be very powerful. Uh, I dread the day my body gets used to the dose of melatonin I take. I've got a mate who suffers from insomnia hardcore. Never had that worst. Uh, it happens to me sometimes. I wake up real early, can't get back to sleep. Yeah, it's... When you're when you're really really tired at the end of the night and you're really looking forward to getting home, or you've had a really long day of work and your body just it doesn't it's not it doesn't ache, it just sort of like, ugh, you know if your body feels heavy, and and you're like, you know you struggle to keep your eyes open a little bit, and sometimes you get like hot or cold, sometimes you get really hungry, um, like it just all these random. Little fit. I just realized I didn't. Um, that's like, I just, I deal with that all the time. It's a permanent feeling. 100% of the time. I am, I'm chronically ill. I mean, I have, obviously I have a chronic illness, but, um. Oh, I didn't do a, a I didn't do. Um, obviously like I have autoimmune condition. I have like a chronic illness, but. Um, I'm also always sick and stuff like that. And there's there's a good chance, like Hi, the sun very well. good chance as part of that. Ah, crud! Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome on in. Welcome back. Like there's there's a good chance that me being sick all the time is because of the autoimmune stuff. And there's also a really good chance that it's because I can't I never get proper sleep. It's not bad. Um. So my body doesn't get that time. Like, you know, sleep is when sleep is when short-term memories are committed uh, converted to long-term memories. Which is why my memory is crap. Um, sleep is when the body kind of takes count of everything that's going on and spends that energy repairing because it doesn't have to spend energy moving your legs or digesting food. This is why you're supposed to like if you if you want to have a better night's sleep, you need to eat earlier. Don't eat within two hours of bedtime because your body will be spending that energy digesting rather than resting. Um, and, and yeah, it, like rest is when any little, little tiny issues with your body around the place, like cells that haven't quite done their job properly or whatever, sleep is when your body goes and fixes that shit up. So if you don't have good sleep, your whole body is off kilter. Completely. Nice, Insomnia is serious. Like, it's a serious condition. It's not just, oh, I didn't sleep well. It's fucked. <laughs> Completely and entirely. Um, but yeah, great times. It's brilliant. Love that for us. Um, uh, what would you like for dinner tonight? Uh, food. Thanks, mate. That'd be lovely. Um, now, whatever, whatever you feel like you're in the mood for, Jas. Um, I'm. I know, like we've got, like the meat isn't, like all the meat isn't frozen yet because we only bought it yesterday. Um, so yeah, I'm not too fussed. If you've got a craving, go for it. Um, otherwise, yeah. It's easiest to cook. Pretty really good. Crackling, yeah, I can't have crackling. I've got a tooth that's still got a um a temporary filling in it before I go and get the crown and stuff put on it. So I can't like there's a pretty good chance crackling could break it. Um And I also have a massive bit of gum exposed, so you know, sharp edge of crackling could be really bad for my implant site. Um <laughs> So, none of that just yet, but uh, soon hopefully. Pretty sure it'll be okay with the implant site eventually, um, before I get the the post put on it, but um, I definitely need to get the, the top one fixed before I can crackling. I have had some, like we've, we bought a, uh, a roast pork thing back when we had no power because of the floods. Um, we bought a roast pork thing from, you know where you get the chickens from Woolies and stuff and, and this, like in the supermarket, the roast chooks? We got a roast pork from there. Um, 
Because it was just easier to handle. No, no bones. Like, we're just we're lazy. We're exhausted after everything. So we wanted something easy. Um, so we make roast pork sandwiches, which was, oh, so good. And it had crackly on it. Um, but it was crap. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, understandably so. Like, proper good crackling takes proper, like, attention. And in a, in a supermarket setting, you don't have the time to be able to sit there and, t and do proper, like, take proper account of everything. But it was salty, and um, there were some parts down the side of it that were a bit, like, chewy and a bit softer, rather than crunchy and sharp and, and bad. So I kind of, I did, I did have some of that. It wasn't crackling per se, but it was still delicious. A thing to tide me over. Oh, crap. How are your trinkets? Um, love me. Take fish. As a response, sounds like a win then. Oh, excuse me. Oh, thanks, Josh. Um, get it late enough though. It's cheap. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Missing two skins. I have more. Yay! So crappling. Yes, correct. It was crappling. I love that sheepa. That makes me happy. Crackling, but yeah, like doing proper crackling. Ah. You gotta pour the boiling water over it and let it drain, and then dry it all off, and just get the cuts just deep enough that it gets through the skin, but not all the way through the fat. And like, it's just you've got to get it so particular to get it right um, that you can't do that in a supermarket setting, unfortunately. Oh, you too, Josh. You too. Um, I'm doing all right. Bit tired, but. Alive. Um, um, I have um, many, many wares. Um, May your feet find good trails. Hi, the sun well. Ah, oh, Jackie with the resub. Thank you. I hope you're having a fantastic day as well. Wonderful to see you. Where's where Good fortune to our friends is Katie. Hello. Hi. Didn't do this after the last dungeon. Like a noob. So, who has entered? Oh, that's a soul bound. Um, who has partaken in Logitech's month of gaming promotions? My sp beautiful sparkly gold nails on today. And uh, I made a post on Instagram yesterday and Twitter last night as well. There are three different ways, the different competitions you can enter. Three different comps you can enter to win a variety of bits and pieces. Um, I'm not associated with the giveaway directly in any way. Um, I am, of course, a Logitech ANZ affiliate, uh, which is... Sorry, pay attention to what's going on with them usually. Um, but... I'm not associated or affiliated with the contests at all. But there are three you can enter. First one is a puzzle that I did pretty much day one. Um, and you follow the bunch of clues and you go to the end and then you enter your... Um, if you enter your Australian or New Zealand address, uh, they send you a little prize. I'm assuming that they're going to be sending the prizes out at the end of April. Um, because I did it a little while ago and I haven't received anything yet. I forgot to reset the dungeon. Um, but 
there's that. So there's a puzzle that you can go through. There's a link on their Twitter account. I've also posted it last night on my Twitter and it's in my Instagram from last night as well. Got to copy and paste it from the Instagram caption though. They don't like links in their, in their descriptions. Um, if you purchase any Logitech G or Astro, if you're in New Zealand product, so uh, it's just Logitech G products in Australia, but in New Zealand, if you purchase an Astro product as well, um, you'll get a code on your receipt and there's a website you can go to enter your, um, enter the code from your receipt. Ooh, hello. Uh, and you can, you go in the drawer to win a gold mouse or keyboard. There's two different types of mice and a keyboard, one keyboard type, one type of keyboard, but there are multiples of each um, that are up for grabs. Uh, so if you've made any Logitech purchases this month, be sure to grab that receipt and check it. Um, or if you've been waiting around to, to do it, I mean, if you're waiting for me to have an affiliate code, I understand. But if you need to make that purchase this month, definitely, uh, you know, go, make sure you enter that code into the website. And finally, there is a last one that doesn't require anything tricky or purchasey to enter. The third one, all you have to do is fill in your details and uh, let them know, I think it's in 25 words or less, why you should win or something. Like it's, and I'm sure they're just looking for, you know, name answers and things like that. So um, jump on in and do that as well. Uh, and if you've entered one, you can enter the others. You can enter all three if you meet all the requirements. Uh, but yeah, there's uh, lots of things. Oh, grabs. Some Logitech peripherals, some Logitech branded merch. I don't know what the prize is for the puzzle. I'm assuming it's going to be something fairly low value considering how many people are like successfully completing the, the puzzles. Um, so, you know, probably some like stickers or, or maybe like a, a hat or a mouse mat or something. Definitely, you know, again, low value, um, but that's okay. Oh! Oh guys, oh guys, we're getting close. I still have that common boss drop stuff, um, but I'm at 12 out of 18 now. Um, so, there you go. Should I take advantage of that if you're eligible? Uh, how how's it going and how's is he going? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm a bit tired, but that's okay. Uh, what's new? <laughs> and uh, yeah, AT is going well. We ha I had a bit of really dodgy luck in the first dungeon. I just wasn't getting any drops or any gold for like gold making stuff for the lack or any. It just I wasn't doing well. Um, but this round I seem to be doing a whole lot better, so I'm pretty happy with that. How are you going? Uh, good afternoon, Duke. Hope you're doing well. Love to be here. Yay, Jackie. I'm so pleased to hear that. It makes me very happy. Love you now. Oh, thank you, Isla. And welcome on in. Welcome on in. They're, um, so they're, they're a little, um, shiny spark. Why? Oh, because the microphone. Right. So they're definitely very shiny sparkly at the moment. They're, it's a gold polish, like a metallic gold polish with like gold glittery bits over the top as well. So it's, look, it's just gold on gold. And how can we say no to that? Um, I did a gold inspired makeup look for the social media promotional posts and pulled some faces and uh, had glitter freckles, which I'm so happy about. I love that. It's so much fun. Putting glitter in my face is just like, why not, you know? Fun. Um, uh, got stuck. Oh no. I'm sure you'll crack it. You've got, I'm assuming you've got the rest of the month to get there. A um, couple of things that I've noticed people talking about when they're stuck at particular parts without, this is like with no spoilers, um, take a step back, like give it a day, walk away and then come back to it with fresh eyes. Don't overthink it. If, you, if you're really stuck on something, forget everything you think you know and try looking at it from another perspective or another kind of like think about it differently, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, all up it took me, I think it was about an hour to get through the whole thing. Um, but that was also, there were a few bits and pieces I had to fiddle with because my, some of my settings on certain things weren't quite right. And so I had to fiddle with those to get it to happen correctly. Um, 
But yeah, it's, uh, it was good fun. It was good fun. I enjoyed it a lot. I like, but then again, keep in mind that I'm very puzzly minded. Like, that's what I do. It's my jam. Can I have the shoulder pads of assassination, please? No, of course not. Oh, that four way golden selection. A fear picture definitely will be channeling in a thespian for some of them. <laughs> well, that's like my my entertainment, my love of entertainment. Um, I I was like, as as were most young Australian girls. Um, I did dance. So did my mum. So did my grandmum. Like it, it just. Uh, I, I did dance, and uh, I moved from there into like the school productions and stuff like that. Um, and I never like I wanted to. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to perform as my career. Uh, and I was told when I was choosing my year twelve, my my VCE. So I was in Victoria. Um, so in Victoria, it's the VCE, the Victorian Certificate of Education, is year eleven and twelve, your two final years of high schoolery. Um, a HSC uh, in other parts of Australia. I think they might call it HSC in Victoria now too, but when I did it, it was the VCE. Um, and I wanted to, to choose drama. I wanted to choose drama as one of my subjects and my stepfather told me that I wasn't good enough. And so like not to, you know, don't waste an entire, we six subjects we had to pick, don't waste an entire subject choice on something that you can't make into a career because you know, you're not good enough. Um, what he meant to say was that you know, 0.0001% of people make it in the entertainment industry. It is exceptionally difficult. And I haven't been trained since I was two uh, or anything like that. And I don't have that family history of, of the entertainment background, all that kind of stuff. So it would be exceptionally difficult for me to break into it. And there are other things that I was better at. But he was an arsehole. And so he said it the way he said it. Um, so I didn't. I didn't take drama. I took biology instead, and I ended up in uni with uh, friends at biology and biomedical science. So, you know, lucky I took biology, because otherwise I don't know what I would have done at uni. Um, but now, I literally entertain for a living again. <laughs> like, I, it may have been a, an unorthodox pathway uh, into, into a, a role, a job that didn't exist when I was in high school. But here we are. Here we are. Um, so yeah, I'm, I definitely have a, a performance background. I loved it. It was, I was extremely passionate about it. And you know, my stepdad was probably right. I, I wasn't super good at it. But this way I get to perform in a way but I'm not performing as a character. One of the things that I had a lot of, what I remember having a lot of trouble with when I was younger was not seeing the character as me, not seeing me as the character. Like, it, like yeah, I, I had a lot of difficulty, you know, instead of like, how, how would character Y feel, it was how would Fia feel. Like, I couldn't separate those two. Um, so being able to essentially perform as an aspect of myself kind of seems perfect right why not but yeah I, I had a lot of fun taking it i took like god 27 goddamn photos um to get those four that i was happy with i, I kid you not but um we got there we got there press that keep it to myself for the puzzle thing where have you heard it? Because I mean, I got some insider information from my my co contacts who, you know, said, "Hey, can you can you please do this?" Like, I wasn't paid for those posts, to be clear, but they did ask if the affiliates could give some support in some way or another, and that's how I chose to support. Um, and they gave us some some background info, but they didn't tell us what those prizes were. And the prizes for the other stuff, the other two, are listed on the entry page. Um. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Love the gold blue post. Thank you. I had a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I have all my old pieces from here as well as plate. Yay! Well done. Well done. I've got one to go. One piece. Comment somewhere. Ah. Okay. Um. Seeker spoke in Discord about thinking they were stickers, like thinking there is going to be like a, a sticker sheet or something like that. And I said, yeah, it'll probably be something 
uh, relatively low value like that. Um, but, oh well, we'll find out for sure when they arrive. My last cloth piece, yes, do it, Kazzy, look at you go. Look at you go, smashing it. gonna send us some Logitech branded Easter eggs or something. That'd be kind of cute. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. Clearly, all I was looking for was the solution, and I got there, and that was it. Wiped from memory. There's a mountain. In ah, gotcha, gotcha. Right. Okay, that makes more sense. See, um, I got the mount not realizing that it could drop. Back in BC, I was like, oh look, I got loot. Wait, this is epic. What is this? Oh, that's Mount. Uh, the druid I was running with was pissed. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I, uh, I got there pretty quick for that, unfortunately. Uh, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it. Uh, Hannah, Dano, Shield, Cat, and Silver, congratulations to all of you on your bonus sheet. Uh, ah, skin chest. Skin chest time. Need my battle mage skin. Woo. Especially considering this is ending in like two days. Make sure you place those units, guys. We want... Oh, if you want those skins, now is like your time. Let's just... Now is like your time. Oh, nine instances. we have to figure out the easter egg challenge um i don't know but considering that they're calling it the month of gaming i am guessing that it's going to be till the end of the month but i don't have confirmation on that um i have sent an email back to my affiliate people with the links to my Twitter and Instagram posts, but I can absolutely go back again and ask if they know when it closes. I'd probably, like, I'd probably aim for ASAP, but without stressing, if that makes sense. Or you can tweet them. They've been really responsive with tweets. Go back to the original link tweet and just say, like, hey, I'm, I'm a little bit stuck on one of the parts here. How long do we have to finish it? Epics on the battlefield, amazing. Gonna we'll smash it. So they're the first email overthinking it gave up. That's why I looked a different way and figured it out. Yep. It's right overthinking it, right? I that was that was the first place I got stuck. Like the first place I was looking at and I'm like, I see, but like, and then I was like, oh but what if? And yeah, yep. Good morning, Flip, how you doing? Welcome back. But yeah, definitely recommend giving it a go. If you like puzzles, double easy. Look, even if you don't like puzzles, you might get it easily enough. Like, your brain might just be that kind of brain that 
works it out so easily it doesn't even feel like a puzzle. So, you know, and who knows? We don't think there's free stuff. Who knows what it's going to be? Well, you too, Jackie. You too. I'm I'm all right. I'm very sniffly. Um, we've been doing some cleaning and I think it must have kicked up like a whole lot of dust or something. And uh, so that's that's super fun. But overall, I'm doing pretty well. This sunny day, beautiful, wonderful. I hope you're having fun, Flip, and I hope you have a great night tonight too. Doing all right? Good to hear. Good to hear. Have you done the Logitech puzzle, Jackie? any luck with this dungeon that's okay you've you've taken my place from last dungeon we'll just rotate everyone will have one dodgy dungeon and we'll be fine story a lot chaos yep and so now next turn chaos has to steal it from somebody else that's how it goes trinkets yes that's my 17th spirit shot. I need one more. Bow you bastards. Trinkets. One more. Well, what's from Heroic that I don't have? Uh, right. The Belt of the Raven Lord. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Um, the first thing that I my brain isn't coming up with anything different. Fair. Uh, so, Jackie, there's a, there's a Logitech, there's a puzzle that Logitech A and Z are, um, have, have put together for their month of gaming in April. Um, so you like, you follow the clue, you sign up for an email and then you get the email, which has a clue in it. And then you go to the place and there's another clue and you go to the next place and there's another clue and you go to the until uh, you get to the end and you put your name and address in. And they, if it's Australia or New Zealand, they send you something fun. We don't know what it is yet. We don't know what they're gonna send us, but it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fine. It's not showing, he's caring, exactly. Good morning, Chris. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a lovely day. Oh, it's not, the puzzle one has not got anything to do with gaming gear, I don't think, because it's open to so many people and they're saying that they're absolutely going to send you something. It's probably going to be like stickers or something. Like it's not, the puzzle thing is not, it doesn't say that it's, um, it's not a giveaway like that. It's just a complete our puzzle and we'll, I just noticed there are eggs on the ground in here and they don't look like I mean I know that there are eggs from the nests and stuff but they kind of almost look like Noble Garden eggs. Noble Garden hasn't started yet though right? No it's starting yeah no okay. Good! Good alright. Uh that they shouldn't have a lovely day. Fantastic happy birthday to you! Yeah, there are there are two other giveaways, Jackie, that do deal with like gaming gear. Um, but one of them you have to have a like one of them you gotta make a purchase and then use the code on your receipt. And then the other one, yeah, you just you enter and tell them in 25 words or less why you should win. Um, but the puzzle one, like everyone who completes it gets something. So no idea what they're actually gonna send us, but um It's a little bit of fun. Hmm. Twelve and a half minutes left. I'm gonna go absolutely buy that, um, the spirit shard thing though. So it's a leather belt, right? Yeah, I have so many leather wearers. I'm just imagining what I'm gonna have to do, like, I'm, I'm eventually I'm gonna have to run through every leather wearer, one after the other, to get that belt. To clear off this dungeon. But hey look, we're hella close, 90.47 is great. Yeah, I know. They're getting close. After this run will probably be uh, time to clear out. 
But after this run is also when I get my 18th spirit shard, so I can go buy that helm as well. So I'll probably do it all at the same time. Things loot the stuff. Things loot the stuff. Things loot the stuff. Trinkets! No! Spirit shard! 18. I've got 19 now. Good. Power. Power in trinkets! Got night, just under 10 minutes left. Uh, we are going to be heading to slabs next. But, um. I'm gonna. Buy this thing crossed off the lists. Because there's so many that it'll cross off. Oh, anything. All four of these dungeons oh, have these three items on the list, and one purchase clears all of it out. <laughs> Then you just go up, and it'll give me a chance to clean my bags as well. I have many, many wares. Oh goodness! Good fortune to our friends. If that had dropped, I'd have finished the dungeon. Ah, grumble, grumble. Ah, uh, gold farming, yeah, and transmog as well. Two birds, one stone. Running loot appraiser challenges. You come get the voodoo. Bye Opa. bye now. Mailbox.
up Nithwing Drake and choose the fourth one. I can I have absolutely many do that. lucky dudes you like. May your feet find good trails. <laughs> many deals for a friend of the Grummels. Awesome. <laughs> like you. Uh, oh no, shit, okay. Well, um, well, friend of the Grummels. Netherwing. It would help me if I spelt it right. Netherwing Drake. Choose the fourth. One, two, three, four. Pebble. Wait, stream is still a thing? Yep. Why wouldn't it be? Uh, good morning, Sark. How you going? Come on in. For a while, you said 55 walking druid, for sure. For sure. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Holy cow. Lady Chaos, what the hell did you have drop? Druid. Bloody hell. Cat swiftness. Far out. What were you saying about not having good luck? It was, I told you, it was just waiting. It was what I was supposed to get last dungeon. Like, sounds like a plan, enjoy. We'll see you soon. doing really well. How are you going? I've got about four minutes left on this one, which is Setha Calls. And next we're going to be going to Slabs, Shadow Labs. to the one. Good evening, Seeker. Welcome back. We've been talking a lot about the uh, the Logitech puzzle. No, no spoilers. We've just been talking about like getting stuck and, and all this kind of stuff. We got a, a bit of a breakthrough today. Was it today or was it yesterday? Oh, God, I don't even know. Good morning. 
Thank you. Brilliant. Yeah, time zones are trippy sometimes. Yeah. birthday time zone. That's... Power in Technically, it's your birthday for almost 48 hours as it goes, like, right through all the different time zones. Like, from the time that the sun, you know, the time that the day starts on the earliest time zone to the time that it finishes on the last time zone. Like, there is the... What do you mean by birthday time zone? Yeah, that's not how birthdays work. <laughs> That's fine. You do you, boo. Uh, there you go. 20 seconds to go on that clock. We are going to... Well, I'm going to leave it there. Feel free to finish up your final runs. Well done to all. That is a ridiculous drop. Like, good lord. 10k region sale average for formula. Enchant boots. Cat's swiftness. Oh, Fia doesn't even have that one. Jesus, there you go. Did my bad. All right. Um, let's... I have many lucky dudes you like. Clear this out a bit. I reckon that's clean enough. Good fortune to our friends. We are going clockwise. So the next one is going to be Shadow Labs. We are going to take a brief pause here um, just to let saved instances tick down a little um, also things like grabbing good prizes um, here you know, snack or a drink or taking a bathroom break all that kind of fun stuff you might need mm. and into slabs Brilliant, and speaking of which, I'm going to be right back.
silly things again. Firstly, where actually is that? All the settings I put on prior to stream. Ah, uh, right, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Just should be yes. <laughs> uh, did you buy new eyes? Did you take them from... I took them from... It, it's still chair. It's still chair. It's just the chair just looks different now. Okay. No, not a new set of eyes. It's, it's the same eyes. Because uh, they're all attached to the contraption that holds it on and stuff, so... I figured that'd be a hell of a lot easier on my part. Um, Labyrinth. There we go. Shadow Labyrinth. Invite sent. I'm going to scoot on in. Field. Yep, there are indeed. Uh, do you have any plans to play Wrath when it comes out? Uh, classic. Classic. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Never say never. But like, not uh, not currently. See how we go. What? Who come back? Okay. How's my safe distance kind of going? Eight for eleven. Ooh. Jesus. <sighs> yep. Yeah, all right. We're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Hey, Christian. How you doing? Uh, okay. These. Ready, check. Hey, Yuri, how you doing? Welcome back. Three, two, one, go. These runs should take longer. You gotta run back as well, so hopefully I won't hit the lockout. Let's go straight. Just, <laughs> Just woke up. What about you? Uh, well, it's quarter past six p.m. Uh, on Sunday, so I've been up for a while. But uh, yeah, not doing too badly. I'd like to go back to bed. Fatigued, but that's okay. It is what it is. We're just having a chill Sunday, so not like it's uh, expected of me to have super ridiculous high energy or anything. So I can just hang out, run dungeons, get transmog, get gold, and just have a nice time. What have you bloody well looted, Krazy? That's an update itself. Stuff of good. Congratulations. Button push. There we go.
Howdy duck. That is this. This is going to get afternoon nap. was definitely needed. Yeah, I had a bit too much to do, unfortunately. I wasn't able to take a nap. But, you know, it is what it is. That actually was what I needed. It was the last item from that boss. Nice. Enjoy your alert, cat. Yeah, the exclamation mark has to be the first thing in the message for it to work. Yent, congratulations to Fade, Hannah, Thor, and Aelin on all of your bonus shit. Moving to the next map. Cement makes a shot. Next, oh. All those epic units. My goodness. Back when we started playing Stream Raiders, I, I thanked each individual by name when they placed an epic unit. It's now it's just it's just too much, which is awesome because I mean it means we've grown, but like also kind of bad, you know. Everything I need from that boss. Next tomb. <laughs> Hopefully, Murma will give me some stuff though, because, like, come on. Is winning. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a, it's a time. But I got to look at this 90.47%. There's one item in the whole last dungeon that I need, and it's on heroic, meaning I can get it once a day. Yeah. Yeah, Kras has gotten like a lot of the, like a lot of world drop recipes and stuff. Yeah. As I need here now, unless it's a complete instance, why does it have to do this is just your challenge runs? Yeah, look. Look, I you don't have to if you want to stop there, you don't have to keep going. Like, there's no prize for coming first or anything. So yeah, like dragon rights. Good job. I got a new one. Look. Wrathfire hand cannon. Now Murmur. Give me some stuff. I've been lucky. No, no, there's more tunes to run. Yeah, okay, that, that works too. That That's works good too. Point. Different armor type. Oh. 
I do like that it keeps you running, I'm pretty sure, as long as it's on the same, like, Battle.net account. Like, I think that's mm, quite good. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I, I think that's how it works. I think it's wrong. But, um... It's, uh... Oh, yeah. Here's a funny one for you. Yeah. My blood DK out seems like it was damage. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. Oh! I got a new. Got two of them, but it's still new, so we'll take it. Run all the way back out of the dungeon. Go fast. I'm sprinting. I'm going as fast as I can. Do you allow me to switch and stay in the comp? Yeah, of course, of course. That's pretty neat. And it, you like, it means that you, we're playing together without being like specifically together as well, which is really nice. Like, you know, we're achieving our own goals separately and not stealing transmog out from under each other or any of that kind of crap. But we're still managing to play together in a sense. I really like what, even if you're not a gold maker, even if you don't really care too much about the gold, being able to participate in something together with other people is a really nice feeling. At least it is to me. What is the question? Fruit. <laughs> Alright, fruit it is. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I'm just, I'm definitely feeling more like the clear, Eat, sweeter passion, stuff. Fruit, grape. What kind of bubble tea should we have, guys? The options are peach, passion fruit, grape? We have grape. Grapefruit or lychee. Peach, passion fruit, grapefruit, lychee. <laughs> lychee from Panda. La yeah, Panda wants lychee. Like, really wants that Ooh, lychee. Oh, you know what I'm really excited for? Um, when we get the lemon. Baby. Da, 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 da. You heard me talking about bubble tea. When I last, when you, you left last time. Oh yeah. So I like, like, yeah, exactly. I've enjoyed these with the Xbox farming more than anything. Me too. I see. Good. Me too. But yeah, it keeps us accountable. It's like I'm no, not a paladin. You can't be bored of the dungeon yet. You have to keep playing. Yeah, <laughs> yep. <Yeah>, it's yep. <laughs> so Lychee, K says passion fruit. Hello, you in the background. This is Jas. He's he's head moderator and best friend and housemate and person. Hello, Yori. Look at help me! Yeah, look, you're not gonna, you're not lying. There was a period, I think it was this week, he got home from work and I was like, I need help. He's like, what's wrong? What, what's wrong? And I'm like, I can't kill the thing. And then, you, by the way, we didn't, didn't proceed do to do no, the thing we because we got distracted with something but, else. But, 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 you know there are four hunts and I had two out of the four done? I got another one done accidentally. Good job. So it's just that one last one that I need. So when it swings around next time, I'll keep an eye out for it and I'll get you to come help. This time I'll actually do it. We'll actually do, yeah. With whatever we have. I don't even know what we it were distracted It was probably with. cleaning or food. Or food. Yeah, those <laughs> are the two things that we tend oh. to get distracted by. Oh, Jesus. That was not a new one, I don't think. Go forth. Neither was that. No, shared appearance. Shared appearance. Nobody cares. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Anyway, Jas I'm is a legend. Thank you. I appreciate Very you. Very legendary. I'm still debating if I DPS with blood or not. DPS is blood. You just gotta take taunt off your bars. It seems better by. Yeah, yeah, just take taunt off your bars and you're fine. The only problem is that in blood spec, you will naturally generate more threat than if you were in frost. So you may pull aggro. Like, that's a problem. Raz, you're not allowed to come to raid on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll figure it out. But yeah, that's. It's so just. It is, it is actually ridiculous. Oh, I, I agree. It's yeah, absolutely I ridiculous. But, um, yeah, just, look, have fun with it, as long as you don't fuck over the rest of your raid group. But you know that. You're a decent human. Um, stinky Jazz. Why is Jazz stinky? Aside from the fact that I am a little bit weird. Okay. <laughs> look, that's neither here nor there. When you work hard, your body produces sweat, and sweat produces stinky. It's fine. Children questionable food choices. It is Easter Sunday. They gotta eat this. You're spots. allowed. You're allowed to have. You're allowed to have chocolate eggs for dinner. That's a thing. You okay. gotta eat this buds first. You can scoot in a bit further if you wanna actually be on camera. Over so you can see the yes. Hello. You can't really see him probably because he's in the shadows. But if I do this, I'm about to get. Yeah, close your eyes. 
care. The sun <laughs> has uh, woken up today. Can we, can we tell it to go away again? It's down. It's gone. It's gone. Fine. Well, you shouldn't have looked directly into the bloody lights then, should you? I closed my eyes and I still can't see. <laughs> What? Uh, come to raid on Monday, apparently, because you, because Jas wants to try out his blood tanking blood set. Oh, sorry, yeah, blood, blood DPS set. Sorry, blood is tanking. Um, but because you're in blood, even if you're just DPSing and not taunting, you will naturally generate more threat. So the only danger is that while he's DPSing, while he's pumping it out, because we all know Jas is a ridiculously good player. Like to be fair, um, and he will likely pull threat off whoever's supposed to be tanking. I mean, I do it anyway. He says hi. Hello, Kay. I mean, you do do it sometimes. Ooh! Oh, it doesn't matter. I was about to say you gotta stop the spell. No, I didn't. It's only worth 240 gold. Like, fucking. It's blue. It, it should be worth more. Third. Really? It but you're in yeah. the third. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't actually need anything from these first two bosses. It's only the last two. Man, I, I don't, I don't even think you'd be able to lag her off anymore. It, it's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> so you taunt, you hold it for however long the taunt lasts, and it goes back to dress. Oof. I mean, hey, as long as you can hold it long enough for whatever debuff he needs to drop, drop, then you're fine. That measure plus dungeon. Yeah. I average. Okay. Good job. <laughs> yeah. I, I I don't have any tier pieces. I'll uh. Yeah. 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 My tier is just gonna make combustion be up all the time. Crazy thing, what do I need to participate? You need to type exclamation L A C in chat. It'll tell you everything you need to know. When I have time. When I have time. When the fuck do you think that's gonna happen? <laughs> what time? What date is Thursday? Thursday is the 21st. Well, it's not till the 22nd that I'm gonna get socials pop up on my again so you might be right you might just have Thursday. oh good i'll have an 18 game at least this is a really bad idea though. how's the work is everyone in their own dungeon yes we're not in a group or anything like that it's all done by a battle net friends list thing um you just have to be on my friends list and you'll be able to make everything function properly how many of the new viewers are gonna give Fia a follow on the socials? That's a very good question. No, we finished it on Friday. Oh. Yeah, we finished it Friday. There'll be a new one tomorrow. Okay. The new one tomorrow is We're fun. Gonna be on time to stream. I think it because it's day off. I think I think it might explode a little bit. I think we might get pretty. I mean, it depends. So there are there's there are two types of viewers. There are two types of viewers who watch me, right? There are the people who like WoW and watch nothing but WoW, and so they're here because I stream almost nothing but WoW. And then there are people who are here because they like me and who I am and what I'm doing. So that second group is gonna chip in all of the goddamn embers come tomorrow, and the other group will chip in literally none because it's not WoW. So. It'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see. Yes, you can be. Um, cross faction, cross realm, cross region. It is anyone, anybody who plays WoW can join in for the appraiser challenges. Anybody. <laughs> You and a massive deal for her. Exactly. Yeah. Follow me, particularly on Instagram. We're trying to get to a thousand followers. And I kid you not, I know it sounds ridiculous. Trust me, I wish it weren't so, but it is what it is. Follower numbers on Instagram trump almost everything else. Like they're so, it's such a big bloody deal when it comes to brand sponsorships and deals and, and 
all that kind of stuff. And so for me to be able to become a full-time content creator, unfortunately, I need cash. Like you all, I need to pay rent, I need to pay bills, I need to buy food to pay myself, uh, to feed myself, all that kind of stuff. Buy food to pay yourself. Shut up. Look, but if you again, spoke as much as I do, you'd make boo-boos too. Payment and food's never a bad thing. Yeah, until you need the money to pay the rent. And then food instead. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you the can't pay rent to food. Um, <laughs> no, you can't. In a restaurant. That's not... That's paying rent and food. But no, it's not. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so... Like, every, every individual follower counts and is one step closer to that, that first milestone of 1k. Hang it out. Oh, did a crunch. I do that sometimes. You do. do. Hmm. But yeah, it takes 10 seconds. Either you type exclamation socials, you click the, all my links, you click Instagram. I think it's wobble. The, I think that one shakes and wobbles, so it's like really obvious which one it is. Um, and then you click the follow button. Um, or you can scroll down to the where it says like about Fiyama and there's an Instagram thing there and you can click that and then click follow. It, it's, yeah, 10 to 15 second stops. It costs you nothing and it could actually change my life. I know that sounds stupid, but it actually, like, it's the truth. Excuse me, don't need an add on anything. Did you read the thing when you typed LAC? Uh, so K underneath you, K typed exclamation LAC. That is the information that you needed. There are, there are several add-ons you need, and there's a whole bunch of, like, yep. Hey, Daz, welcome on in. Um, yeah, back. There you go. The Koalatron response tells you everything you need to know about these challenges. That's why we wrote it. Uh, as people should follow, does this raise support? I mean, I would love that. That would be amazing. Can we be both? Absolutely. Absolutely, you can be. Um, hello Primey. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a lovely day. I need to empty my bags again. What was the hardest transmog item that you farmed that you currently got? Um, to be totally honest with you, I don't think there is one yet. I have because I've words. only been farming transmog for like five or six months now. And it's mostly been just across the board, I want my ATT number to go up. So anything that's dropped, I've been happy with. I haven't really been targeting individual items yet because I don't really use them. I, I use the same set across all my tunes, uh, except for my main, because um, I'm a Venthyr and I really like the, the vampire set because I'm Venthyr. So yeah, it's... Uh, I'm really sorry, but I don't think I have an answer for you on that one. How about you? What's the hardest transmog item that you've ever farmed? Because give me something to be fearful of in future. Because no doubt it'll get to the point where I've got like one item left to go in a raid or a dungeon. And I need to go get it. And I'll be like, oh my god, that's the one that Primey was talking about. Crap, I'm, I'm screwed. So, yes. What was your hardest one? So you can answer the people that are here for chair. Look, yes, those are also, that's also a category. What's a TSM and how do I make it those things? Click the link in the message and it gives you links to all the add-ons I see. Please read it. I wrote it for a reason. I promise you, everything you need to know is in that, like, the thing that Koalatron said. It's all there, I promise you. Um... So when, when you read the thing that Koalatron says and it tells you here's a link and then you click that link and you go to download them, on the download page, each of those add-ons tells you how to operate it. I, I didn't leave anything out because I'm trying to make this difficult or anything like that. It's, I, I swear to Christ, everything is there. Everything you need. It's real super simple. Um, hello Chaotic, welcome on in. Welcome back. Hope you're having an awesome day. lowest city for this one. I think it was um, consortium rep for the other ones, wasn't it? Not, I don't, it doesn't matter. But, um. <laughs> 
It's the little things you notice every so often. choice again hmm. oh, which one do I want I did well I didn't say that specifically but I did say hello and said I hope you're feeling well welcome back I don't tend to say good day in my day-to-day -day life Effects. Which one do I want to use? Yes. Oh, why? Did you what? Do you see the camera? As soon as I clicked, the camera broke itself again. It must be something to do. G-Hub's probably- G-Hub had an update, it's probably tried to take control of my bloody camera again. Settings. Disable this device in G-Hub. Thank you, it did. It automatically took control again. Not okay. Okay. it entertains them. Yeah, I, uh... Be sorry. I guess most of the people I speak to don't think I have an Australian enough accent to make it worth saying, if that makes sense. But that's okay. I'm fine with that. So what do we think of Void Echoes? <laughs> no weird does what it says on the tin <laughs> it's voidy and it echoes yeah look constantly and that's totally fine it's totally fine it's uh yeah it's just not something that I tend to say commonly and so it's not something I tend to say like as a do you know what I mean? And like I have nothing against the phrase. It's just not really a part of my vocabulary. That's okay. There is echo, correct. Booyah, yeah. Uh sit them from the UK, brilliant. Wonderful. Okay, the time is up. So I'll turn that off. There we go. Yeah, it's the, uh, I have the uh, Blue Microphones Yeti X World of Warcraft Edition microphone. And aside from it just being an actual genuine work of art with all the runes and stuff, it's beautiful. Like, it, it's legit beautiful. Um, it comes inbuilt with a bunch of WoW-specific fun stuff. Uh, so Yeti X has come with a bunch of voice effects. Uh, but the Yeti X World of Warcraft Edition comes with a bunch that are a bunch of extra ones that are inspired by... Uh, World of Warcraft characters or creatures or whatever um, and it also has a bunch of sound effects in the software uh, that you can only unlock by having this particular microphone um, that they're like hard loaded onto the microphone. I'm not sure exactly how it works but uh, if you're a creator of any kind or even someone who's like a D&D &D DM or something like that and you would like something to enable you to make some fun voices that you can't quite produce yourself. Um, uh, Yeti X is a fantastic way of doing that. Um, it, it has like all the, you know, it has the default voice effects, but you can create your own custom ones using all the bits, like the sliders and, and check marks and stuff as well. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. 
It's a lot of fun. I know one more male item to go now as well. Well done. Look, I've still got three, uh, two, two male, uh, sorry, two leather pieces and then a pattern, a bop, a tailoring pattern, which I think is going to take like a while to drop. But that's okay. We'll just keep trying. Just keep trying. How's everyone sneaking Easter eggs? It's, yeah, it's awesome the sneaking the Easter eggs off the kids. Oh dear. That's funny. I uh, see so there is a place we have here in Denmark where that microphone is. There you go. There you go. I was uh, lucky enough that Blue Microphones actually reached out and offered me the mic um, early last year. I've had it for just over a year now, I think. Um, yeah, Blizzard started featuring me on the launcher here in Australia and New Zealand, and shortly after that, um, I, I was approached by a member of the PR team that handles Blue stuff and, and Logitech stuff, because uh, Blue, Blue Microphones is a subsidiary of Logitech. Fun facts with fear. Uh, and yeah, they uh, said, hey, we want to send you this microphone in exchange for some posts and stuff, and I'm like, yeah, I'll do that, absolutely. Here we are. It's a beautiful mic. It like again, not just the design thing. So like with a with the standard Yeti X microphone, um, you've got the dial on the front that shows you like you know where you gain and your volume and all that kind of stuff is, and it's like dots, like circles. Um, for the Wow Edition, they're runes, like runes, which is freaking cool. Um, the microphone is a different color. It's like charcoal with gold metal accents, as opposed to I think it's silver for the regular ones, and the base which is so heavy it could kill somebody. Let's just put that out there. Um, I've got it up on a boom, but the base that it comes with if you wanted it sitting on your desk um, or in front of you while you record or whatever is also that charcoal and gold. And then there's like laser etched runes around in a circle on the on the base of it as well to match the ones on the... It's just, it's so pretty. It's really pretty. And it's a really good microphone. Really good quality. It's plug and play. Um, I, I sounded just great, like just just fine, like plugging it in and just going with it was totally okay. I did make some tweaks after I hopped into a voice call um, with Rump, one of my mods, and just kind of said, okay, how does this sound? And he's like, better. How does this sound? Worse. Put it back. How does this sound? Better. How does this sound? Yeah, okay. I just realized I don't need to empty my bags. What am I doing? Um, so, you know, just went through all that and made all the tweaks and stuff and... Uh, yeah, and that's that's what you that's what you hear today. Um, but I'm really quite happy with it. Uh, very very happy with it. Um, I just have the cash for it at the moment, sadly. Oh, understandable, understandable. Look, good quality tech costs money. Like, you get what you pay for. Um, it is well worth uh, kind of saving up for peace, especially if it, like you know if you're doing something that requires like high quality video and stuff like that it is it is well worth setting aside some cash until you can like pay for a, a, a quality studio mic um, yeah there are a few on the market that people talk about being pretty awesome if you like you know google uh voice acting microphone there's there's so many lists and so many of them are really really similar but uh personally i can definitely vouch for this one Unfortunately, I don't have a discount code or anything like that I can offer you. I am affiliated with Logitech, but uh, no discount code just yet. Hopefully, sometime soon. I hope you don't think it's Set up stream setup. Once I get a job, my own house, I want to make a cool setup. Of course. Yeah, look, good setups are fucking expensive. Like, fucking expensive. I am, like, supremely lucky with the opportunities that I've been given and the amazing like, community members I've managed to attract to stream and stuff. Um, like the, the microphone came from, from Blue. Um, the camera was purchased with donated funds that were donated specifically for an upgraded camera. Uh, I've got a mini stream deck that my dad gave me for Christmas a few years back. And then more recently, I've got a regular size stream deck that was sent to me anonymously by a viewer to my PO box. Um, the keyboard and mouse I use, the the 
beautiful G915 and my G502 Lightspeed, both wireless. Um, I'm a Logitech affiliate, <laughs> and so they gave them to me. Um, the the I've got Elgato key lights uh, that were gifted to me by Zeren, who is one of our amazing viewers here, and the nano leaves behind me, nano leaf panels. They were sent anonymously to my PO box. Like I'm just my community is generous doesn't cut it. it you get to a point where the word generous just does not cut it um it's overwhelming and it's just <sighs> yeah oh and the headphones of course the headsets also from logitech i've got another headset here um I've, so this is the g733 and i've got a g435 as well both of them gifted to me by logitech like it's just <sighs> yeah No words. No words. It's, it's thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars worth of tech. And I just... I've been streaming for six years. Let me be clear. <laughs> it has taken me a long... This is not, this is not like, you know, stream for two months and you'll get a ton of free shit handed to you. It, no, that's not how it works. For some, like for a very, very select few who end up going viral because they're playing the right game at the right time with the right setup and stuff, then it can definitely happen. But it's so rare. This is this is six years worth of work um, to get to this point. But I am, I'm just so grateful, so immeasurably grateful. So like bubble tea is almost ready. It smells like dinner's ready too. I can smell it. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, you gotta like, gotta invest in your setup. If your stuff isn't, if if your if your tech isn't where it needs to be, then the stream won't be either. It's it's that simple. Um, you can stream on a potato. You absolutely can. But you just like you need it. It needs to be made up for somehow. Like it's yeah. It, it, streaming is it's fickle. Viewers are fickle. Uh, Meaty, Kata, Silver, Fade, Aelin, and Hannah. Congratulations to all of you on your boomer shit. Like, you can absolutely stream on a potato, um, but you got to remember that you've got 10 seconds, less than maybe five seconds, to make an impression on a new viewer when they come in. Uh, and if they come in and they see your setup, uh, and they, well, not your setup, but if they see the quality, like the graphics, right? You need, your computer needs to be able to firstly render a game the game that you're playing, for example, World of Warcraft, and then it needs to render the frames to send to Twitch or wherever it happens to be that you're streaming. Um, if it can't do both of those things, it's going to focus on one or the other. Either the game will look great, but the stream will be dropping frames left, right, and center. It'll be massively low bit rate. It'll just be everything will be trash. Or the game will look kind of average, but the stream will be flawless. Uh, and so many people I see, like, oh, I can't stream. It's like, just turn your game graphics down, like, to the minimum. And they're like, oh, but then it looks like crap. Do you want to stream? <laughs> if you want to stream, that's what you with your setup is going to have to do. Like, your decision. It's okay, you don't have to stream. Streaming is 100% entirely optional for the video gaming experience. But if you want to, you need to make sacrifices. What's that? Oh, a green that dropped with them. Um, but yeah, look, it's, you'll be fine. You'll, you'll have your priorities where they need to be. Um, you don't need a fancy ass setup to stream. Uh, if you're, if you're like, if your number one priority is getting back into streaming, don't buy the LEDs. Don't buy the pretty shit. Buy the cheap shit that works and that does what it needs to do so that you can get yourself online. And then if you're making an income from your stream, or once you get to the point where you can make an income from your stream, you can send all of that towards upgrading your setup. But you do not need pretty stuff. You do not need a pretty thing to, to stream. Especially if you don't have a camera. Like, you know, depending on how you want to set up. Remember, RGBs do nothing for the quality of your stream. They look great, but they do nothing for the quality of your stream. Better off spending less on something that isn't pretty, so that you but that get the, but that gets the job done. Because every little unnecessary feature that you get, you're paying for. 
Like, um, I'd be looking at, like, if you're, if you're truly busted and you need, like, a whole new setup, personally, I'd be looking at the Office line that Logitech does, not Logitech G series, but, like, the Office lines that they do, um, because they work. And they will work for a decade or longer as long as you take care of them, and that's something you don't have to spend money on for a decade until you get the money together to buy your pretty fancy flashy thing you want, right? Spend less money on good quality stuff that is potentially kind of ugly, but that, that get, bleh, but that gets the job done. There's the words I needed. Um, these go well, smooth. Waiting with the streaming. Launcher, there's a photo of fear. Yes, it me. Hello, I'm on the launcher. How? Like, oh, mind blowing. Everything frames drop every five seconds. Yeah. Yeah, laptops are, look, they're, they're, it's possible, but they're not great. Laptops are not super awesome for streaming. Uh, especially those that, I'm not sure what laptop you have, obviously, but if it has onboard graphics, you got no hope. <laughs> you do need a separate graphics card. Um, but even if you do have a separate graphics card, it's, um, a lot of the time it'll be a heat thing as well. Like, laptops don't have super great ways of cooling themselves down. And they'll just overheat and not work properly. Partners began on underpowered laptops and such. Yep, 720p, still good enough in 2022. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, what's it now? 720p. Most people that watch me, I'm assuming, watch on 720p. I do. So I think I, what, that's why they think I look okay. Because <laughs> it's dodgy quality. Thank you. There you go. He's not wet. He's not what? Wet. He's grape jelly. Grape syrup? We don't have grape syrup. It's purple though. Yes, because of the jelly juices. Ah. You? Yes. Yeah. Right. The color threw me way off, but it's really <laughs> tasty. It you did it on purpose, I see. Hmm. Oh, five minutes left. Do you reckon it's time for one more run? Look, I lost my luck again this run, this dungeon. Hmm. We're paying for ammo. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you're back. Welcome back, Jack. 95% of gaming branded items. Whoa. About 40% overpriced. Yeah. Yeah. And I would assume that most of the um, research and development that goes into gaming branded stuff is how do we fit more RGB lights in here without making it too big and bulky. <laughs> but... They do look really good, and a lot of them have fantastic response times and all that kind of stuff, but yeah, it's, um, you've got to go with what your budget allows you to, while still getting the operational effectiveness. Like, it is what it is. Many farewells. This is only two decades old, still works. I'm just got laptop streaming was fine. That uh, might also be full of dust, which would contribute to the uh, overheating thing. Is it true? You can see us. Um, who told you that? My laptop. Oh, maybe it's just that your laptop laptop's actually dying then. <clears throat> Windows reinstall, clean out, repaste if you can. Yeah. She got overheated just for gaming. Yep. Yeah. So even with your additional cooling, it uh, like I said, yeah, laptops are not good at cooling themselves down. So it sounds like you baked it. <laughs> sounds like it's just, yeah, it was not built for gaming in the first place. And so it ran over overheated um, while you were gaming, even without streaming. And then, yeah, but you know, it's laptops aren't really high powered machines. They're designed for like portability, you know, portability over power. And for streaming, you do need some power. You do need some power. Mm. Um, Jas made all that stuff. Yep. Jas is an awesome cook. Mm. 
since it is three years old now. Three years is not that long for a laptop. Like, I had my laptop for more than five or six years, maybe, and it was still running perfectly fine. I just never used it for stuff that it was never intended to be used for. Like, stuff, like, stuff will last a very, very long time if you take good care of it, but running gaming like run, running like gaming on a laptop that doesn't have like seven inbuilt fans on the base of it um it's just it's going to overheat they're designed for portability not designed for high power stuff and gaming is high power stuff um regardless of what you might think uh or anyone might think gaming is uh it does take a lot of juice a lot of juice it's time to go static here. Oh no! This is a good cook then. Jazz is a good cook. He's it's fantastic. How many computer we can have? I think we've got some new speakers too. Fantastic. Wonderful. Ah, 720p on YouTube looks quite poor and dated. Yeah, but like sitting, like letting something render versus something streaming live is two very different types of... It's two very, very different activities. Computer will not progressively get slower over the time just with age. Overheating will cause thermal throttling, but original performance should be very terrible at the start of my set. It does usually involve cracking open the laptop though, and I know that not everyone's comfortable with doing that kind of, like, that level of, of techie stuff. Uh, that's incredibly open-ended, I'm not sure. I am confused, Linda. <laughs> Uncertain. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Um. I'm not comfortable with crack it open because I'm not educated in electronics yet. Uh, I'm not educated in electronics either and I've built seven computers. Um, the thing that people seem to get a little uncomfortable about laptops with is because it's all little and it's got lots of screws and there's a case around it so you can't see the, it, the bits in the side and there's not a lot of free space in there and stuff so people tend to get a little bit afraid of that compared to a desktop like a tower. But there's no difference really. You've just got to, like, if, if you're feeling a little bit nervous, like, taking photos of every step along the way, every time you, like, move something or move something, so that you know, and then you can go backwards through the photos to put everything exactly back where it was, so it fits in the case. But laptops are no different to desktops. If you've built a desktop, you can fiddle with a laptop quite comfortably, in my opinion. Unless it's, like, fucking MacBooks and stuff. They solder everything down so you can't move it anyway. But, um, most laptops will be fine. You just got to get the screws out and you'll be fine. No built a computer? Right, well you don't need to be educated in electronics to do it, is what I'm saying. It's not a, like... I have a, I have a science degree and I work in accounts. <laughs> like, I don't have any electronical, computery type of education whatsoever. Um, but it's... Yeah. Um, the other option is, of course, you can take it into a computer repair store and ask them to just clean, all you want to do is ask them for is, is a clean out, like cleaning it all out. So, you know, dusting and, and all that kind of stuff and then putting in new thermal paste. Thermal paste is the bit that goes between the processor and the heat sink. The heat sink pulls the heat away because the processor gets bloody hot, really bloody hot. And the heat sink pulls it away and has a ton of surface area so that the, the air passing over it can take the heat away more efficiently and effectively. But if that paste, it's a wet paste, if the paste dries out, it doesn't conduct heat from the processor to the heat sink properly. And so the processor will get too hot and it won't be able to get rid of the hot properly and it will overheat, basically. 
So if you take it to any kind of computer maintenance repair store, that kind of thing, and ask for it to be cleaned out on the inside, like physically cleaned of dust and debris, and then new thermal paste, they will charge you for it, obviously, because it's a service that the store provides. Um, and they will do that for you, and it will improve performance, is what Jack is saying. Um, this magic smoke. Definitely don't want to release the magic smoke. Smoke powered. Can't can't do that. Yeah, my dad laptop I have at the moment. So, but uh, building computers like Lego so the individual pieces are much more expensive, and there's a lot less of them. And they go in very very specific places. They don't just clip together wherever you feel. There's only one way to hook them up properly. Yep, exactly. I said I join you the next thing. I have you my friends choose. Oh, I'll do nothing. Ask him first time worries. Um, you'll get a thing in the add-on when I when I launch the next one. You'll get a thing saying like, do you want to join this one? And you like you click through it. Um, it'll be very obvious. Can manage to plug an IDE cable in upside down? One of the 39 pin cables. I've seen RAM inserted backwards too. Yeah. IDE cables are RAM backwards. Yeah, look. Look. The, the worst I've done, right? I, um... When, when I built my... I think it was two or three builds ago. I built everything and I put it all in and I put the sides on and I'm like, yeah! And I pushed the power button and nothing happened. There's a power button and nothing happened. And I'm like, I oh know, what have I what have I done? What have I done wrong? And I pushed, I went to push the power button again, but I don't know how. I slipped and I missed and I pushed the restart button and it roars to life. And I was like, I got power and restart mixed, like switched. Hello! only thing that I got wrong. <laughs> Which is the Boogie most important bit, down. the on part, you know? It's fine. She ended up with 38 pins. Oh god. Put the stick out, put it literally right back in, somehow backwards, and ate a motherboard. So sure how that rotated. Oh god. Hello, Zam! How you doing? Tiny little cable's so annoying. How annoying do you think it is with these? My claws. Like... Trying to, uh, I have to do it with needle nose pliers. I usually have to do it with needle nose pliers because I can't get a proper grip on it with my nails and I can't reach the the pin and and I'll have my nails like bashing against another one. Yep. So I just do it with pliers. But I'm I've like made jewelry with pliers and stuff like that, so I know how to be delicate. <laughs> okay, guys, empty your bags. Last one we're heading to is Orkanai Crypts. Do I have access to... No, one hour still. I'm gonna go head up to the... There's a mailbox up at the hold over here. Stonebreaker hold. Um, I'm not sure. I think maybe Illyrian Stronghold probably has the Alliance mailbox, which is the closest one. Um, but we are gonna be doing Orkanai Crypts next. Go. Invitations have been sent. Oh, shit. Let me try that again. <laughs> Sorry. I balked it. Um, there you go. There's the, the invites. Uh, you need to navigate into your Leader Praiser Challenge add-on and uh, accept from there. And then... Um, if we kick it off before you've had a chance to accept, Lotar. you can add yourself through the friends list as well. So desire. Make sure to empty your bags. <clears throat> Slabs was a bit of a 
Eh, not as bad as ne as mana tombs, but that's okay. Uh, Organite Crypts, however, this is the dungeon that inspired today's runs. So what I've been doing is going by, I've got a, a spreadsheet that tracks all the dungeon and raid things across all 12 classes. And uh, the lowest out of everything right now is Orkanai on Rogue. So what I did, I grabbed Orkanai and I said, okay, well, I can do those four. And then we can do another two dungeons after those four are done. Um, so this is the dungeon that inspired us. I'm hoping I can push these numbers up like a lot, but we, we will see. We'll see the, the avatar of the martyred with these four drops here. Uh, are going to be a bit of a pain in the ass because um, that only drops on heroic. It's not on, uh, on normal. Uh, builds only make never power on first time. Always rush and forget something. I love that. That's awesome. The only thing you don't want that's pretty good. I'm a perfectionist. I like it's not always a good thing because there are things that take me much longer than they should to get done. I can acknowledge that. Um, but in some cases, it, it definitely works in my favor. It means not having to crack open the case again. <laughs> hmm. There are definitely men with long nails as well. And of course, anywhere else on the gender spectrum too. Long nails definitely do cause troubles in PC builds. Um, like, don't build a PC if you're not willing to have them chipped or broken or anything like that, because likely you are going to damage your paint job. Um, <laughs> like, usually I would build a PC and then like the next day fix it, like do redo my nails, because they get busted to hell. I feel like someone was doing like decided to join. Brilliant, Zam. Glad to have you. Some solar build PC dropped the CPU onto the CPU socket, bent all the pins, bricked the motherboard. Oh dear. I am so sorry to hear that, fairy. Jesus. I like motherboards that have a little plastic header that all the front panel stuff goes into. We have to hook it up to the motherboard. Yep. Yep. Um, that invention is so damn amazing. I doubt the person slash people who came up with it get the credit they deserve. Which me, what did I break? Is it because I'm in offline mode? Ah, uh, potentially. Yeah, potentially. Uh, but what you can do is you find me on your list and you go down to the bottom and go send request for invite down the bottom at the of the right clicky thing uh, and in the friends list. Um, um, you should be able to invite yourself through that thing as well, through the friends list. Yeah, right click and feed. Yep, that's the one. Building PCs every day. Yeah. Blood loss, even the best cases are out to kill you. Yeah, look. Look. What am I looking for? 15. Yeah, I thought I'd be okay. Uh, I'm going to zone in, and then once we're in, I uh, will do a ready check, and then we'll get cracking. <laughs> Remember, if at any point you decide you want to join us, you can do so by right clicking on my name in your friends list. I'm going all the way down to the bottom. Send request for invite. It's not a request I have to approve. It'll start automatically. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> cases I feel like it slice you open you don't even notice we drip blood on the case yeah yeah it's such a fine cut and it just misses all the nerves and you don't feel anything yeah worse than a paper cut Question. Um, 
I've always avoided using vacuum cleaner on the outside of a case of a PC case to de dust. Um, is that, was that just like a paranoia thing with static electricity or is that actually something that can fry it by using like a, a, a vacuum cleaner to get not inside the PC, but on the case on the outside? Um, Cause I've been, my sinus has been so irritated lately and I'm thinking about doing a computer clean and see if that helps because I spent so much time near it. Um, but kicking stuff up into the air by dusting, I feel like is going to kill me. Spin too fast. Uh, air in a can, hold the fan when you do it. Uh, yeah, that's for like targeted little itty bits. I'm talking about the entirety of the outside of my case. It's a mess. Inside is perfectly fine. Inside I clean fairly regularly. Outside, not so much. This will overspin, obviously, while off. Yeah. So it's just the fan. So if I cracked it open, and use the vacuum to immediately suck up that because the other thing is air in a can will push it out like elsewhere it's still gonna kick it up into the air and it'll still kill me um but if i if i turned off the pc cracked it open stuck my hands inside to hold the fan and then vacuumed it'd be okay is that what we're saying because i always thought it was a static electricity problem and static electricity and electronics were a bad mix um but this was also advice i received Potentially two decades ago, so that might be bullshit now. <laughs> Can you take the outside off? Not all of it, no, just the two sides. Uh, and it's the front and back that need kind of doing as well. Interesting, the outside of wet wipes may avoid the ports, of course. Take outside the apartment. My PC is incredibly heavy. I have to brace on, like, to move it forward an inch. I need to brace both feet on the ground, grab a very specific holy part on the back, and then just lean back and let my body weight drag it. <laughs> it's, um... <laughs> Yay! New transmog! It's not something I can take out to the apartment balcony. Um, I can I can move it a few inches, but I, I'm going to actually damage something if I try to proper move it. Every time it's been moved, it's been done by movers, who have usually done it two at a time. Yep. It's a big she, She's She's a big one. She's a big baby. I'm not backing anybody to do that because I'm grounded. Ah, so much is back in the community. It's totally an 80s, 90s paranoia. That's why I was asking, but now Jack is saying don't have it near a PC without the PC being grounded. Fry components as well with you accidentally touching them after using the vacuum without being grounded. Which I can't do in an apartment building. Can I? Wait. Fear's tower is as big as fear is small. Fear fits in the tower. <laughs> if I curl up small enough, I fit in the tower. Let me let me put this in perspective. Um She, she a big, she a large, How which is great because it gives me lots and lots of space to like fiddle around with her internals, right? But um, not so great for the movement thing. But I don't really move her that much, so it's fine. You see, needs to be that large, does it? No, it doesn't. It's a case I bought to match somebody else's case a while back. And I still have her because the case is incredible and perfectly fine and works well and all that kind of stuff. All the external ports are doing fantastically. There's even. no turning back now. Uh, I, f I, I always do this. Maladard, the avatar of the modded only spawns when he gets to a certain amount of health. Every time. God damn it, I just remembered to. Anyway, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, it's a case I bought to match somebody else's case and everything on and, on and around it still works perfectly fine. It's just dusty as hell. So, excuse me, um, because the whole place is dusty as hell. Like we, we can literally dust and a week later touch it. I, d I dusted my desk a week ago. One week. Yep, so this place is it's i'm pretty sure it's construction dust um a, a, like 
teamed up with the fact that I molt like a cat. Um, <laughs> so yeah, but there are there are so many apartment buildings that are being constructed in my very near vicinity at the moment, and so it's just everything is always dusty all the time, which is probably why my sinuses are so angry. Um, but yeah, so I've it's probably time to do the thing, but yeah. <clears throat> Australian plugs three pins for PCs, yeah. Yes. Who means that you have to dust daily? Yeah. It's it's so bad. So unbelievably bad. I can't help the congestion either. I hope it's not. Not when Jas and I went and did that mystery picnic thing. I did not sniffle once the whole day. And we're in the car on the way back and we hit the city and I sniffled and I went, wait, have I sniffed at all today? It was like, I don't think so. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. I'm really sure I'm allergic to Queensland, but that's fine. An entire suburb built there is a while ago. Asthma had a hard time for years. Yeah, everything just gets kicked up and it doesn't settle for a long time. Finally, the PC plugged in, turning the switch on, PC off, then just make sure you either wrist strap or touch a metal part of the case relatively frequently. Oh, I'll be holding the metal case, I would say. Like, I'd probably hold it as I move the, the vacuum around. Um, because the vacuum is pretty maneuverable. It's just a regular vacuum, but the hose on it's pretty good. Um, so I detach all the other stuff and just use the hose and, and do that and hold the case as I moved it around sort of thing. As I attempted to move it around. <laughs> cool. Okay. I can do that. Brilliant. Now to find a time when my PC is allowed to be off. <laughs> uh, if not, case is full metal, you should have no issue. Oh, um, no, it's not. There are, there are definitely some plastic. In fact, most of the outer case is plastic, I think. There are definitely metal bits and pieces here and there, but most of the outer case is... That's metal, that's plastic, that's plastic, that's metal. Yeah, it's all a bit different. <laughs> It's a sham appearance. It's not real. It's fake. Fake news. Other option is having like you know you guys know those um like the pledge rabbit dusters they don't do very well with big chunks of dust but they do really well with like super 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 fine dust particles they trap it rather than kicking up into the air and then like do that while the vacuum is kind of near and pointed generally at just to grab any of the bigger bits that sort of detach and wear one of my masks, so I don't have to breathe it in while I'm doing it. I'm sure the mask is overkill, but I just, I know I'm gonna sneeze my ass off. Uh, Miko, Fade, Thor, Chris, Cat, Dark, Meaty, Dunno, and Little, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Just do my PCS out and blow it all away, yeah. Yeah. One day. Okay, it's just, um... Yeah, I'd, I'd literally be having to do it every week or two at this point, and it's just, it's a nightmare. I did like the wet wipe idea because that way it doesn't kick it into the air, it dampens it so it kind of sticks, but it's, um, yeah, I don't know. I just don't, because I know there are parts of it that have that, like, rubberized coating, stupid. It's an old case. Good case, old case. And the last thing I want is to like degrade and make the, the rubberized stuff actually sticky. Because then, then you've got no hope getting the dust off ever in a million years. 
<clears throat> I I am not a fan of rubberized coatings on anything. It's just so silly. So silly. How's the air purifier doing? Um, yeah, it's good. I don't know. I don't think I've seen much of a difference in terms of like how much I'm sniffling and stuff. Um, so I think it's just too much in the air around here. The other thing is I've had it on the ground the whole time, so maybe I need to like raise it up a little bit so it's getting more more airflow or something like that. I mean, the airflow should be fine anyway. I don't have it up against a wall. I usually have it in the middle of the, like an open area of floor. Um, but it definitely smells different in here. Like it smells cleaner, if that makes any sense. Not that, not that my room smelled dirty, but it smells fresher even though I don't have the window open very often. Um, so, and I, I have it running, like, almost all the time. There's a sleep mode, so I can turn it so it's still doing it, but it's quiet, like, it doesn't make any noise. It runs a lot slower to, to know, lower the noise and stuff, so that's nice. But, um, yeah, I know it's definitely doing something. I'm just, I don't think it's actually helped with the, the sinus issues, unfortunately. But I do like having it. It's also, like, a little portable fan, because the air it blows out is nice and cool. <laughs> So when it's been really hot in here, like I can point it at me in my chair and it's like a little personal fan without having to turn the aircon on, which is really nice. So, so I'll, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. Nice? Yeah. It is it is a great little machine. Like it's a really good little machine. I just, I'm not sure that what I wanted it to do is actually going to work, but that's okay. What I need to do is speak to my doctor, but that's okay. Yeah, talk about surfaces, fully appreciate surfaces. If you're supposed to pop, oh yeah, absolutely. The only space in here that I have as a flat surface where I can put it is here where my dinner currently is. And then it's literally going to be like 20 centimeters from the microphone. Ah, oh. <laughs> mm. yeah. Yeah. Smell, so, yeah. Having bottled water, windswept look. Yeah, look, just as such. But yeah, I do, I do quite like it. It's, it's super nice to have. It's super nice to have. And I imagine that it'll actually, it, because it was mentioned earlier, like Queensland is dusty as hell. I didn't realize it was all of Queensland. I genuinely thought it was just kind of where I was because of all the construction. But if that is a Queensland thing, once I do finally move to Melbourne, oh boy, it's gonna work so well. Like without all that bloody dust in the air and stuff, it's gonna be great. The other really good thing is that when it comes time to change the filter, when it when it starts beeping at me the that the filter needs changing, it's probably just going to be a case of pulling it out, dusting it off and sticking it back in because it'll think it's dead because of all the dust, but actually it's not dead yet. So that's nice. That's nice. So I'm going to put your dinner. Exactly. And I need my dinner near me so I can eat it. I might... Mm, actually... Now that I think about Outsiders it, are forbidden. I wonder if I could clear the area. I'll have a play around with it. The only, I think the only issue is all the other flat areas in the room have like walls and things around them, so it might impede airflow. But I'll have a play with it, Outsiders see what I can forbidden. figure out. Numb indeed, Zam. Dinner's no really just his Poor coin. Videos, people who never change their purifier filter opened up. It's been wrapped in the shipping plastic the whole time. It's a good. Oh my god. Yeah, this one had a big ass sticker on the bottom and on the side and everything. It's like unwrap your filter. Blah 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 blah. Um, yeah. <laughs> it was really angrily like stated everywhere. Happy Easter, nurse. Welcome on back. Yeah, this, they, they knew. They knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. All right, I did that. Check. Stretch. Stretch. Oh. Right. 
Or to turn two long pieces of cardboard in there saying remove before use. Yeah, because, you know, like how many people used it with them still in there, set fire to the cardboard and, you know, it, it's, yeah. And, you know, I'd like, you know, part of my brain is kind of like, oh, maybe they're idiots and ha ha ha, isn't that funny? They're so stupid that they, but like, there might be some people, for example, you know, think of, think of a mum who has like three or four kids under the age of five and, and she just, she got a new toaster because the last one burnt out and she's just bloody exhausted and she just grabs the toaster out of the box and plugs it in and tries to make the kids toast and there's cardboard in there. Do you know what I mean? Like it's... I can't really just sort of laugh at people's stupidity anymore because I know how I feel and there are people out there who, who are feeling worse than I feel and I just know. No. Noble Garden starts soon. It does. It does start soon. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. On expansion announcement today, we're going to be doing some egg collecting on stream. Uh, there's a couple of quests that you can do and then you can hunt for eggs. Uh, and the eggs are a currency for um for some transmog and stuff, so we're gonna do that and because it's the year of the event, and I'm trying to cross off all the events off my list and get all the collectibles done this year. I don't think it's gonna happen, but we can try. We can try. Saw a photo today of a pizza box that said "open box before consuming pizza." How high do you reckon they were? <laughs> the people who inspired that um. Yes. Oh, thank you, Landa. I appreciate it. I enjoy streaming. I really do. We were actually discussing this before. Um, I did a I did a tarot spread for myself um, on dealing with fatigue, and you know it was like, uh, what is the core reason for my fatigue? What is what is uh, how can I how can I break this cycle? How can I blah blah, blah all this kind of all the you know the five cards I drew, and um, one of them was like what's missing. I can't remember exactly what the question was, but one of them was like what's missing. And I'm like, what, what do you mean what's missing? And Jas was looking at it with me and he's like, well, how, how do you define yourself? And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, well, you're a streamer, right? I'm like, yeah. He's like, yeah, but what else are you? And I'm like, assistant accountant. And so what we kind of boiled down to was that streaming is such an integral part of who I am. Not what, not not just what I do, but it's such a core part of who I am and how I define myself um, that I might need to find some time to do some other things. Uh, <laughs> but look, this is um, this is why I'm having this meeting with uh, the marketing manager. Hopefully, because socials is what takes up most of my time. Socials is like a big chunk of what takes up my time, apart from actually like actually being live the next biggest chunk is dealing with my socials um so hopefully she can give me a bit of insight on how to make things simpler maybe i'm doing too much somewhere and i really don't need to and it's going to be far more effective to do a ton less like writing captions if i write three paragraphs of a caption how many people actually read that probs not many maybe two lines is enough so like you know, cutting back, and I know that doesn't sound like much work saved, but I sit there trying to think about how to word these paragraphs and try to get them just right and blah, 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 blah. I'm, I'm silly. Uh, but we all knew that already. So yeah, it's, uh, all that to say, my days are better for streaming as well. Um, I, I really do enjoy it so very much. I, I really do. So much chocolate. Arison, but chocolate is a sinful so Why is chocolate sinful? Where on earth have you found that chocolate's sinful? Uh can't wait till 5 p.m. on Tuesday. My just to put it in perspective, nurse, my exceptionally Catholic grandparents, like I'm talking mass five to six times a week, devout Catholics, had a bloody bowl of Fredo frogs that they would sneak into our pockets as kids as we were leaving their home after a visit so that mum didn't see that we were eating chocolate and they'd and that if they were devoutly catholic and they were giving us chocolate chocolate's not a fucking sin i'm sorry that's not a thing um <clears throat> uh, can't wait till 5 p.m on tuesday 
mean, even for those who hold religious beliefs, two parts of the day can be separated if they so choose. Absolutely. Absolutely, for sure. Uh, not just Shamir, an influencer. <laughs> is fiercely always. Hello, Mia. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Bah. <clears throat> Um, so to warn, to pre-warn everyone, we've still got 25 minutes left, or you know, 23 minutes left on this timer. But the next dungeon we're going to do for a lack, you're going to hate me, uh, it's Black Morass in the Caverns of Time. You don't have to join us if you don't want to. That is what I am choosing to do. You don't have to join us, but that is where we're going to be going if you want to join in for the next one. I'm curious to see how much we can actually make out of them. We're just like, devoted to chocolate, that is all. I mean, that works. Mods of VIP choice. Ooh. Uh, Jass, Sheba, Rump, Jack. Do any of you have a choice on what voice mod to use? How do you determine if someone is a VIP? Uh, Jack. <laughs> Jack was the first time I've ever... Actually, no, I think my mum. Also, my mum's account has a VIP badge, but uh, she's not here. She'll be with family. Um... Jack was the first time I've used a VIP badge outside of giving them to family accounts to verify that they are actually... Because my mum's Twitch account is Fiamma's mum. And and dad's is Fiamma's dad. And my stepfather, my mum's husband, is Fiamma's stepfather. Or st Fiamma's stepdad. So no back now. the first time they came into chat, I thought they were trolls. <laughs> so... so <laughs> um... But yeah, there's a little gem badge that they have. Like you guys have sub badges and um, and and mod badges and prime badges and stuff like that. There's also there's a VIP badge. But I thought that they were trolls, so I thought that I would give them badges to indicate that they're verified as my actual family members. Um, <laughs> it was kind of funny though, because you know I've got Fiamma Dad chatting in, and I'm like, hi, and he's making all these little comments as though he's my father, and I'm like, um don't know if you're a troll or not. And I get a text from dad saying, what's a troll? Sticky out tongue face. And I'm like, fuck. So, <laughs> so it was actually dad. Um, but you know, you can never be too careful on the internet. Um, um, just watching, brilliant. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Actually liked BM. I don't mind it, but it does take a while. There's a lot of standing around and it's not super like efficient for gold farming, but I want transmog, so yep. Uh, but yeah, the the, de the determination of a VIP, it's a magenta colored badge with a little white diamond, like the, you know, the side profile of a diamond cut. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's that kind of a, a, a badge, -y badge, but I never, I never gave any out because I was afraid to, because, um, I'm really kind of like, I did, I, I'm the you know I my brain works logically right so I needed some kind of requirement like what what is a person like what do they need to do to earn a VIP badge or to become a VIP um, obviously you know there there are subs but that's not like you've got a sub badge that's what that recognition is for um, mods can't be VIPs so there's that out the question family made sense because then it's you know a verification that they are actually who they say they are. Um, but then beyond that, like, do I, do people who have been massively supportive? What, what does that mean? Like, people over a certain number of watch hours? But I don't have that many, like, you only have a certain number of VIP badges to hand out, and I had a lot of people with a lot of hours. Um, and then there can be people who aren't here very often, but who are super, like, valuable, but then, and all this kind of, and I'm like, how do I, how do I do this? Um, do I do it by bits? No, because then it's a badge that can be bought. Uh, or like bits or donations or whatever, that's a badge that can be bought. I don't want, I mean, technically sub badges can be bought, but that's, you know, that's in the intent of that, right? So it kind of, there are bits badges now, they weren't back then. Um, so it got really, really difficult. I'm like, what if I give someone a badge, give them the VIP badge, and then someone else says, why does such and such have one and I don't? And that was enough to completely scare me off giving them out at all. 
because I didn't want to upset anybody. I didn't want to have to explain to people. I didn't want to, I didn't want to do that. But the reason Jack has one is because he has, like, with all the, with all the spreadsheets and stuff and the add-on and not only that, but I mean, the, the massive amount of help he's given us in the past and getting keys done and all that kind of stuff. But it was specifically about the, the spreadsheet because that spreadsheet isn't something that's just helped me. That's been a massive help to the community. There's an add-on that pulls data to help you figure out the spreadsheet easier, to, to get your data in there easier if you're not a spreadsheet person like I am or like Jack obviously is. And it was just, it, and it was all this stuff, this program, it's literally programming and he put so much effort into it without so much as anything being expected in return. And I just, I felt like I wanted to acknowledge that somehow. And I talked it over with Jas and he said, I think that that's reasonable. And so that's why Jack has a VIP badge, but he's the only one outside of my family who has one at this point. I feel like now that I've done that, I feel like I should give more out, but I also am really afraid of the whole, why don't I have one thing? Because I'm, I know, I know the vast majority of this community isn't like that. But there are people out there who aren't part of the community yet. And that, in future, you know what I mean? Like that's kind of, I don't feel like, I don't want people to feel like they have to go above and beyond doing something that they don't want to do or feel like or, or can't or whatever to get a Twitch badge. Like it just doesn't, you know, I, mm, I'm, can you tell I am awfully conflicted about this? <laughs> can you tell? Oh Lord. Anyway, there we go. That's, that's what that is. Um, come, I'm like not getting any money on the score thing. Don't know. Uh, could be multiple things. You're not looting stuff, or the stuff you are looting is coming up as fewer gold than it's meant to be. Uh, I did, it did say in the thing that you need the TSM to be talking to the desktop app, so if you didn't talk to the desk, if you didn't install, install the desktop app, like TSM tells you to, then it won't be functioning. Because the desktop app pulls the price sources from the internet and sticks them in the add-on folder, so that the add-on can read it and tell you how much things should be. So if you didn't follow all of the setup instructions for TSM, then it will not work. That is what I have found to be the most common reason for it doing that. Um, but beyond that, I'm, I'm really not sure. Um, I kind of just tripped on this Tesla here. Oh no, Scarlet, are you okay? Um, even if it's not hard. Uh... That's got nothing to do with anything, Chris. The Alliance Not Horde thing has no bearing on anything. Uh, Ludopraiser challenges can be done cross-faction, cross-server, cross-region. EU players and NA players are both in this Zam nest here. The second on the list is from the EU. So it's got nothing to do with anything. Um, uh, holy cow, thank you so much for the sub! Welcome to the Fianati. At tier two, nonetheless. Hi, the well. Much appreciated. And a gifted sub as well. Congratulations, Flip. You have received a gifted sub. Thank you so much for your generosity, Chris. Much appreciated. So kind of you. So kind of you. Um, was that Fia's mum? Yes, Fia's mum does have a, does have a, a badgy badge, yes. Uh, and Fia mama, yep. Yeah. Cathedral, blingy, rolled a d20 and got a 19, so that didn't work. <laughs> Uh, well, Sheba, Sheba got in first, so let's go with Cathedral. Uh, Cathedral of Light. There we go. I'm pretty sure this is kind of like a, just a gentle echo. As though, as, as though I were standing in a Cathedral of Light slash church. This is sacred ground. Ah, uh, you get clans and just set up to get docs on stream, apparently. <laughs> Look. Look, we discovered, we you discovered something magical. You are not us. prepared. Edry, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in, everybody. If you haven't been here before, I'm Fia. It is lovely to meet you. I hope you're all having a wonderful Sunday, regardless of what you observe in your faith or lack thereof. Totally okay. You hope you're having a fantastic Sunday. Um. 
What was your stream? What was your stream? What were you streaming? And how was your stream, Edry? I'm very good at this for a streamer right here. Uh, I don't know how much it says. I just did. I mean, I do it all the time. Do not, do not worry. Ajax first one. Yeah. Yes. Did it twice before? Yep. Yep. Because Jack is awesome. Jack is awesome, but you know, I, I'm sure that you can understand why the fury is there because you've all, you're all denizens of the internet. You know how this works. <laughs> People should get VIP after redeeming a thousand hydrates. If I could track it, I would absolutely do something ridiculous like that. But you, I can't track to see how many how many hydrates a person has redeemed. There's no way for me to do that, uh, like retroactively. And I'd have to like keep a manual tally. And goddamn no, <laughs> no. Um, uh, being six hundred special is awesome. Jack definitely deserves the badge for the reasons you discussed, which is helpful and informative when we have questions. Yeah, Jack is an awesome part of the community. Like there, there is no doubt, and not not the only awesome part of the community. You all are, and there you go. This is why I have completely yeah. Okay. I have thought about dropping a few more badges on people. Um. And I do have, oh, I do have some ideas. In, I'm not going to tell you because that's not fair. But if if I were to give out a couple more, I know who they'd go to and why. Like, I, I have that in my head. Another hydrate. But, um, yeah, I, yeah, it's a, it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. Speak of did yes, can I easily get a badge if I wanted one here. Indeed. Indeed you could, and you did. Look at what you did. Well done. High five. <laughs> I love giving myself a high five like that. It's just so much fun. Uh anyway. We'll still just be there. <laughs> yeah. And X. X also drowns me. Sam and X. Uh, I don't even know about you here, though it's cool. Yeah, you've got the founders badge, Lander. Like, good lord. Those ones are rare. The app don't know how to make the two communicate. Um, they will do so uh, automatically, um, and it should tell you in TSM how to make them talk. Like there's instructions in the in the add-on how to how to do it. Um, if not, then on the download page there'll be instructions. Um, but yeah, it's um, they don't withhold information. They definitely don't make it difficult because if if they made it difficult, a hell of a, a hell of a lot fewer people would use their add-on. Um, and they have a premium option, TSM. I don't use it. Uh, I don't. I don't pay for it. But there are people who have who use the premium option for TSM, and they wouldn't if it was difficult to set up. Um, like there wouldn't be enough people using it to justify having a premium option. So yeah, they, they all the information is there. You do need to just read it though. Unfortunately, um, it's been like seven or eight years since I set all that up and now it just goes like because you only again you only set it up once and then like you said and then it's done but um I I don't recall how to do it because it was like nearly a decade ago yay um but it'll all be there on their on their website or the download section whatever yeah um that was just funny absolutely yeah look I always laugh at myself when I do stupid things like that hey like I'm like what are you doing buddy why you do this so my hydrate may use my embers for sound commands. <laughs> X has a few sound commands. Just just a few. Just a few. I can easily get a badge. Indeed you can. Indeed you can. Look at one of us. Sam is the second on the list that needs to change. <laughs> yeah, you're in second place. Look. You're not far behind. You're only, what, 700 behind Thor? Um, thank you for the casting of Shiva. Hello, Lunaric. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Hey, Edgy. Well, very well, thank you. How are you? you it's a ray. Can't tell me or not. On the quiet side, everything else seems louder. That's odd. I did have to fiddle with my mic um, because I knocked it with something and I couldn't figure out exactly where it was. I'll have to have another play with it after stream, maybe. Um, I have a feeling... Yeah, I think I should- I think I know what we're supposed to be. Um. But I can turn... 
that down so that at least um, I'm louder than the background noise. How's that? Better? Um, playing D&D, &D, we're going great right at the end, we have a couple of Tunneler and TTTV players. Tend to kill anyone with TTV in their names. Oh, DBD, gotcha. Gotcha. It happens. Yeah, look. If that's what they need to have fun, I, I feel sorry for them. Like, if, if shitting on people who enjoy a particular thing is the only way they can enjoy themselves, then that's pretty, that's pretty sad. I hope they find some joy in their lives sometime soon. Um, it was a bit echoey for me. Fiction seemed quiet to me at all. The echoey was the sound, uh, sound effect. <laughs> the echoey was the cathedral sound effect. Um, yeah. But yeah, the, um... Okay, good to know that I don't seem quiet. It might be that I seem quieter than usual or something. Um, can I have, I have absolutely moved my mic. So maybe I've moved it away and didn't realize that I actually moved it away. Um, unlike most, most streamers have their microphone on like a boom sort of like here and they can like move it around to, and da da da. Mine's up here. Like mine's actually up above me like a, um, I think like a TV or film set where they have like the boom mics that hang over the, the scene when they're recording stuff. Um, so that's mine's up top. Uh, cause I can't, I would just get in the way if I had it here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so it's a little bit different and I have to have it just so, so that it doesn't, um, because if it gets in the way of the key light, it casts a shadow on me. If I have it too low, it gets in the way of the camera and you can see like the, the pop filter and stuff, or it can block part of one of my screens and, uh, block part of chat, which isn't good. So it's trying to find a very specific place for it is quite tricky. Um, my setup is fine-tuned, uh, but yeah, if it's, uh, I can definitely have a look at moving it around tonight to figure it out. A rare Pokemon. Thank you for my insurance, you've made for us before. It just seems like your sound alerts are louder than normal, your subs and stuff. Okay. Interesting. I haven't tweaked any of their volumes, but... Maybe it's just that they sound louder compared to me because of the... Interesting. I've turned those down now though. Like I've turned all my desktop audio Stay down. Stay a while and listen. How's that? <laughs> still loud, still just as loud to me, but it might not be for you. Uh, what's the price add-on? Uh, yeah, the winner prices. Um, oh, you don't have to do a, a video command again. You, like, uh, sorry, a, a text command again. If someone's done it for you, you don't have to type it out again to make it happen. Like, like, Koala Tron will say the exact same thing. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. We're doing some Ludipraiser challenges. Uh, literally zero transport from this dungeon. Oh my god, Zam, really? <gasps> I've got one piece left from normal, but I've still got all those bits from the avatar from Heroic that I accidentally killed the end boss too fast and didn't spawn the avatar. So that's fine. But it's okay, there was another the other dungeon here, the Sethic Halls. The only thing I have now. What? Where's that? need to refresh um there's only there's literally only one belt from anzu and again that's heroic only so i'm gonna have to just run these on like leather wearers just one after the other after the well there's a mace leather mace leather so leather wearers and mace wielders one after the other because on heroic you can only do it once a day so the mellow muse bundle yes yes don't forget no ooh, hang on that's wrong i need to change that um, the code is different now. Code is Fiamma 15. What I want is the Sinopia palette. Like, I've got, obviously I've got the treasure chest one and it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. It's very toned down and neutral and stuff like that. And the Sinopia palette's much brighter. That, I mean, the pop of blue, sure, but all the reds and oranges and stuff like that, I really want to have a play with it and see how they do more pigment because even my my quad the athena quad the green's a bit darker but it's not like a vibrant green it's like a toned down khaki kind of it definitely looks like it's green on the eye but it's not 
green, if that makes sense. You know, it's like a green toned shadow. So I really want to see how they go with like brighter colors. But, um, uh, Throne and Mellow are having some issues communicating. So we'll, I'll have to sort that out. <clears throat> and I want it, but need to save cash. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. I feel like once the dentistry's done, I need to like buy myself a new piece once a month. Like, <laughs> get Twitch payout, buy one thing of makeup, put everything else away. But I have too much makeup. But I need more stuff that I can like, you know. By the way, in case you noticed the, uh, the, my hair, I, um, Wailera Dreamwave. I'm affiliate now, so that's nice. You can use code FIAMA to save 20 bucks on your, on your own portable curler. It charges by USB, which is fantastic, and it's really light as well. There is a compact version as well, but this is the original, OG. And, uh, I have to say, it's like, this is, I curled my hair yesterday. I've curled my hair yesterday, I slept on it. Uh, v, Little, Chris, Kledgy, Dupe, Silver, and Dunno, congratulations to all of you on your ball mission. Um, oh wow, Fusion's Moving Castle. <laughs> Loyalty, Super Boss Chest, make sure you place those units to get a ton of scrolls. Um, but yeah, I curled my hair yesterday and I didn't even use it on like the highest setting. I, I turned it down a setting because I wanted to see what it did. Um, and I then slept on it. I've brushed them out. Like I brushed my hair and they're still, they're still holding on. And there's no, there's no, um, styling product in my hair either. Like I didn't use a mousse or a hairspray or anything like that. I, it, my hair's a little bit oily, but it doesn't get oily down on the ends and that's where it's sticking around so much so that's kind of fun um <laughs> totally fine here's one millimeter long don't anything i'll be investing in the color you know what northy i think that's pretty i think that's fine like i i think yeah no like and this is this is the big thing with anything that i'm affiliated with if it's not the right product for you don't buy it just because of me like good lord I want you guys, the reason I have these, these like programs and stuff that I'm a part of, it's because they're products that I believe in. So if you are looking for something like this, then here is my recommendation. You know what I mean? But no, definitely I'm 100% not offended. I do not think this is the right product for you personally. <laughs> I ended up having to buy a replacement watch today. Five-year-old watch battery. Watch, hang on. Five-year-old watch got battery cooked and fried the chip. I use it so often every day since purchase. I felt like I must have more than a luxury. Fortunately, I had a birthday gift voucher. Yay! Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. I'm so sorry it died. For a second there, I thought you were saying five-year-old got into a watch battery. Yeah, that would have been a bit... Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Oh god, I just saw only 30 seconds to go. Oh, and I've started a new one. Bloody, okay, that's fine. Um, once you guys have decided that you've finished, you can head to Kevin's Time if you want to go with us there. Uh, we're going to be doing Black Morass to start with. Um, I am going to finish this run because uh, there is still that one last item from the last boss that I'd like to take off, if possible. Gosh, no, thank fuck. Yeah, that's, um, whoo, that would have been a little bit more interesting. Excuse me. Yeah, I have to say, like, since, so Zeren bought me Fitbit off my throne wish list. She was not supposed to do, but did anyway, and that's fine. And I'm very, very thankful, very grateful. Um, but it was on there to remind me which model I wanted to buy myself. And so he went and bought it and I'm like, okay, sure. Um, <laughs> but I appreciate it, of course. Um, but I've been using it like a lot, like this whole, this past week, I've been logging all of my food and everything as well. Um, which has been enlightening, honestly, it's been really kind of eye-opening. Um, so that's really nice. I'm learning things and it's, it feels good. Um, but I just, oh, yeah. 
there was there was a point where it a couple weeks back where I hadn't charged it a few days and it died. And I was like, it was sitting in the charger and I'm like, can I put it back on yet? And I felt like I couldn't do anything without the Fitbit on because then it wouldn't be logging my, my steps and stuff. I'm one of those. I'm one of those now. It's a thing. It's fine. Um, I'm trying to be healthier. Like, my body is sick. My body is incredibly unwell and I am very unhealthy and I know that. And I that's, ne that's never going to change. I'm always going to be unwell. Uh, chronic illness. It's a great, it's, it's great, super fun time. But I figure if I can do what I can to make myself as healthy as I can be, hopefully that will mitigate some of the shit that I have to deal with when my body decides to riot. Um, so yeah, that's kind of, and I've slowly like one by one, one by one, all the features of the Fitbit, I've been kind of learning how to use each of them. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm to the point now where I'm using almost all of them, uh, which is which is super cool. Uh, my next step is to try out the three month trial of Fitbit Premium that they offer with all new Fitbit purchases and uh, see if it's actually worth using. Um, see if the insights it gives me actually help me make better choices or anything. It probably won't, but it's free and I can cancel it before it's done and be fine with it. But, um, yeah, we'll, uh, I'm curious to see just how much more information it gives me. Because it gives me a pretty decent amount of information as it is. Uh, Zem's so not in the second place anymore. No, Zem is not. There is no turning back now. Where oh, well. Alright. The Black Morass. That's, no, I want dungeons, this one. I'm gonna half the dollar around because that's usually where it tells me to go anyway. Uh, Dingsy's Paladin, congrats, Landa! I hope you don't mind me asking, were you born with autoimmune or did it gradually happen? Uh, neither, actually. <laughs> neither. Um, I, it's genetic. It is genetic. So technically I was born with it, but I didn't have any symptoms or anything and it, nothing even popped up until much later. Um, when I was 25... Uh, I was doing a stream, much like this one, and after stream I went to get up, and as I stood up, um, it felt like, you know when you, when you step and you go, oh, that's a twisted ankle? It felt like that except in my knee. Um, and I was like, oh, that's a bit weird, and I thought maybe I'd just been sitting on it funny or something, and, and so it, whatever. So I just ignored it, and over the next two or three days it swelled up from... So my knee is about that size at the moment. It swelled up to about that size. It was, the, the circumference was double. It was literally double what my normal knee was. Like one knee was like X centimeters and the other one was two X centimeters. Um, and I was like, oh, well, I've probably just twisted or whatever. It'll be fine. I could just be gentle with it and it will go away on its own. Two weeks later. It hadn't, it hadn't even, it hadn't even gone down a little bit. It was still very much there, very much swollen, and it hurt. Um, like any, any time I put pressure on it, it hurt. It didn't hurt normally. Like if I was just sitting there or whatever, it was fine, which I was very thankful for. I'm going to empty my bags while I'm here. Um, but if I tried to put any sort of weight on it at all, it hurt like hell. So I went to see the doctor and he looked at me and said, how long has this been like this? I'm like, oh, about two weeks. And he's gone, why didn't you come sooner? And I'm like, because I thought it would just go away. Like, I've never had anything, like, it's just swollen, you know? You know when you get a swollen ankle, it just goes away. But it didn't. So they ran a bunch of tests. Um, they thought it was rheumatoid arthritis. It wasn't, my rheumatoid markers were negative. Um, so they went with reactive arthritis, um, which basically, you know, your, your body, um, you get a cold and your immune system goes, Ugh! Attack the cold, and then the cold is dead, and then they go, attack the knee. Um, that's reactive arthritis, in fewer words. <laughs> Obviously, it's a lot more complicated than that, but that's just the easiest way to explain it. Um, but then I was put on meds for that, and a different type of meds for that, and a different type of meds for that, and no it, it did bring the swelling down a bit, but it didn't go away. They also drained the fluid from my knee and put steroids directly in the joint. 
that's all I'll say about that. Um, and what was supposed to keep my... It's gonna come up there soon, in a second, I know it is. What did- who- who did this? Um, there was enough steroids to- that it was- was supposed to keep the swelling down for a week. Uh, and it kept the swelling down for 36 hours. And then it ballooned back up again. Anonymous! Why is there no sound? Oh, for goodness sake. Have I- I've broken this, haven't I? Ah! Ah! What is it doing? For God's sake. Anonymous! Everything is broken. Give me a minute. I've obviously turned it down too much. Um, Anon, thank you so much for the gifts. I... Good Lord. <sighs> that shouldn't be... It should be fine. I don't understand. Why did that not make sound? sound and I'm so sorry that absolutely should have I think look I liked the the throne like that thing but I think I might just go back to using the Streamlabs notification because it just worked it just worked there was no fiddling around needed it just happened um but someone did hit me with a mellow bomb so we've got an eyeliner in Midnight Snack, the Sinopia eyeshadow palette, and the brow definer in Auburn, and the tinted brow gel in Dark Brown. Thank you so much, Anon, from all of them. No message. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Boogie down. Thank you so much. Oh, good lord. That is so generous. Thank you so much. God, I really, honest, I really, really hope. Um, I've been I've been going back and forth with Throne and with Mello for a couple of weeks now because there were a couple of orders that were placed through Throne back at my birthday, which was in February, and they still haven't arrived because Mello has flagged it from Throne as a fraudulent transaction. So um, I'm hoping that getting them to like I'm, I'm trying to get them to connect but i can't like i'm talking to this person and saying can you email them and then they're saying we're trying but they're not responding and i'm like can you email them like it's just it's been a total mess um i'm i'm yeah i'm trying so hard though like i'm i'm trying so hard to get this to work um so i'm i'm really hoping uh that they allow everything to go through um but we'll, we'll see how we go see how we go and if not i'm i'm sure we can figure something out um thank you so much that is so kind of you and on thank you so much um but yeah so the the and then it wasn't until much later that we realized it was so they i, I tried the meds for reactive arthritis and nothing really happened um i mean something did it brought it down a little bit but then it um it just wouldn't kind of yeah so the the diagnosis i have currently is psoriatic arthritis, um, which is like a side effect of psoriasis, but I don't have psoriasis. <laughs> um, so it's, it's all a little bit messy as to exactly what I have. What I do know is that the medication I'm currently on helps. It works. Um, and I know when Hello. my next batch is due because my knee starts to get a little bit wobbly. Like it starts feeling not quite right. Um, feels it's not it's not tingly it's really hard to explain how it feels it doesn't feel bad per se but it doesn't feel right um so yeah it's not something that came on um gradually it's not something that i was born with it happened suddenly one day 
just my knee just went wobbly and that was that so yeah it's uh i was in remission for a while like no no symptoms really uh no no outward symptoms at least um and then i got a mozzie bite i'm allergic to mozzie bites I got a mozzie bite first time in years that i'd gotten a mosquito bite and um that would scare you shellless. Three days after I got the mosquito bite. Because the mozzie bite got all swollen and it spread and it got really angry at all the stuff that it usually does when, when I'm allergic because I'm allergic to them. Um, and three days later my knee started to swell up again. So I was in remission for 18 months. Almost uh, over 18 months. And then um, one little fucking mosquito. And I'm back on injections every month. Yay! <laughs> ah, it's fine. But my rheumatologist has said that um, the studies show. She didn't tell me what studies, but I trust her. Um, my rheumatologist told me that the studies have shown that if there is a longer remission. And then the, and a recurrence happens. If it can be brought under control with medication again, there is a really good chance it goes back into remission. So um, a few months from now, they're wanting to uh, wean me off. Rather than just taking it away like they did last time, they're going to step me down and wean me off it, um, see if my body can handle it. And if it can, um, I might be able to get off it again, but uh, no, no offense to anybody here. I'm not going to be telling you guys when that's happening because um, I, I didn't share that I was back on my medication for three or four months either, or maybe even close to five months actually, um, because I didn't feel comfortable talking about it. It was a really kind of heavy period, and I just wanted to deal with it myself and and cope with it and you know figure all that out without. And I'm fine with questions. I'm okay with if I don't want to answer a question, I will just say no. Like I'm, I'll tell you I'm not comfortable, and there's no hard feelings there. But I didn't. I didn't think I was in a place where I could can't. I could cope with the constant questions and the the oh, are you okay? And all the the pity and sympathy and all that kind of stuff. Like I understand that it all comes from a fantastic, awesome, really great place. But no, fuck off. So <laughs> at that point, that was where I was in my mindset. I just wanted to handle it myself. Uh, I didn't even tell my mum for four months. That I was back on the meds so um yeah that's kind of and mum is a higher priority than you guys sorry but that's the way it is uh so yeah if like if and when that stuff starts to happen don't expect that I'm gonna tell you because I'm probably not going to because I'm gonna want to get through it and cope with it and deal with it and see if it actually works go through that treatment process and if it does then maybe I'll share good news or whatever but um it's, as you can imagine, it's incredibly personal and it's an incredibly, um, it's hard. It's not nice. It's difficult. And as much as I know that you guys would be supportive and great and all that kind of stuff, sometimes that's just not what's needed. Regardless of the amazing intentions that I know the vast majority of you have. It's nothing. It's not, not about, it's nothing to do with you guys. It's not you, it's me. Uh, <laughs> literally though. Um, all right, so I've got this on heroic. Let's kick her off. Uh, we're going to the Black Moor. No, that's not how you spell it. It's like that. Good. Accept. Send invite. There we go. I'm gonna zone in. Uh, ouchies indeed. Yeah, it was not. It was not super pleasant. Um, saw so the video you did explaining it was a roller coaster. Yeah. Yeah, there's a highlight, I think it's called the knee story or something. Um, if you want, that was way back when, that was a long, long time ago. Um, I'll have to rewatch it and see where that got up to in terms of the, the saga, because I'm sure there's been so much more since then. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's my knee story. That's my autoimmune story. I used to be an adventurer like you, then I took an immune system to the knee, Northy. I love it so much. Oh my god, that's amazing. And I love the emote that goes with it. It's just, oh, it's beautiful. Anonymous is apparently generous. Amazing. This one's a Fiamma shopping spree. I know. What on earth? The hacker group. Yeah, they really, they seem to love me, don't they, dude? <laughs> Can't 
kind human indeed. Thank you so much to whoever you are. And I don't ever expect you to, like, unless you accidentally put yourself as anonymous. In which case, feel free. But if you don't want to be known, then that's totally okay as well. That's why there is the anonymous option. But just know that I appreciate you so much. Like, thank you so much. And it's funny because I just used my, I've used up my last eyesh uh, eyebrow pencil as well. Um, I've, I've got powder in, like, I've got an eyeshadow powder thing. It's my last, my last brow color product, which, oh my God, isn't that amazing? I've used up all my brow stuff, but that's perfect. Getting actual, like, yes, amazing. Amazing. Well, there should be a limit. A limit on, I'm confused. What do you mean? What sounds for you, especially, this is gonna be, I know, I know, right? Limbs for the limb god. I have really come in the position to do so. Can she have to go bananas? It is so amazingly generous. So amazingly generous. Uh, and I do, I like, on that note, if they're in a comfortable, comfortable position to do so, like, seriously, as I've always said since day one of streaming, like, six fucking years ago, take care of yourself before you take care of fear. I massively appreciate subs, donations, and bits, and gifts, and all Like, I really, truly do, obviously, but... Not at the expense of you having to live off two minute noodles for the month. Like that's not okay. I need you guys to be all right. It would eat me alive. Like the guilt and all that kind of stuff would absolutely destroy me if, if that was the case. So please do make sure you're taking care of yourselves before you take care of fear. Um, that's yeah, very, very important. Very important. Uh, yay, clean up. Yeah, you did. Well done on, well, it's a raid. Well done on the raid. Good. But it was is good for nothing. I wish they were good for nothing, but they are a major part of an ecosystem. So yeah, but no, seriously, um, I have three different types of mosquito repellent in my handbag now. <laughs> Anytime I go anywhere that's near like still water, it's like roll on the stuff, spray on the stuff. Like, yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing. I've returned, welcome back. Does food affect it? Does food affect what? I know that was like five minutes ago, six minutes ago. I'm catching up, but I, when I catch up, does food affect what exactly? Because probably yes, but I want to make sure I want to make sure I'm answering the question properly. Completely understandable. Thank you for thank you for acknowledging that. I thank you for validating my feelings. It is it is important to me that you guys know it's not about like it's not because I feel yeah. I don't. It's not that I don't trust you, but I just it's sometimes it's a personal thing that I have to do myself. With Jess, he doesn't get in. He, he can't get out of it. No. <laughs> um, oh, look at all the emotes. Beautiful. Thank you, Shiva. Autoimmune AIP. Oh yeah. So there is. There's um, AIP. It stands for Autoimmune Protocol, and it is a diet. It's not a weight loss diet. It's a. It's just a way of eating. Um, it talks about uh, leaky gut. I have. I've done a bit of research into it, but not like a ton. Not a ton. A ton. Um, but when I first kind of. When I first read through it, I'm like, oh, hell no, I'm not giving up potatoes and tomatoes or grains or nuts or and no, go away. Mm -mm. I'm not restricting myself that much. Um, but then later on, when I was having like a lot of issues with my body and stuff, I'm like, you know what? Bugger it. Let's give it a go. What have I got to lose? Oh, no, I don't get to have tomatoes for three months. Like what's what's, you know. And if I start feeling not great, then I can just start eating other stuff again. Like it's it's fine. So um, with my doctor always super, super important. If you're going on anything that's super restrictive, talk to your health professionals first and during super, super important. So I talked to my doctor and he felt like it was okay for me to do this. Um, and so I did, I tried it and I was on AIP very, very strictly for four months. Um, and in that time, there were a lot of parts of me that were healthier. And there were parts of me that were not, I had so many cravings. Four months of zero added sugars, zero added sugars, not, and no bubble tea. Four months, no bubble tea, no chocolate, no candy. Um, the only sugars I had were those that were naturally occurring in fruit and uh, in veggies and all that kind of stuff. Uh, no dairy, so no lactose, no, no, no sugar from there. Um, I did have some coconut yogurt. I think there's some, doesn't taste very sweet, but there's, you know, obviously it's a thing. Um, four months, zero added sugars, and I still had sugar cravings. Still. 
after all that time. Um, so that was fun. Uh, but there were other things that, like, the whites of my eyes were actually white. My skin cleared up. I didn't get a single spot, like a single pimple, the whole four months. Uh, I lost a ton of weight. A ton of weight. Um, I got back down to the lightest I had been in years. Um, but it wasn't in an unhealthy way. I was very, very healthy, and I was incredibly strong. Um, this was, I was doing pole at the time as well. Like I was actually going to a, a gym and doing that with instructors and stuff like that. And it got to the point towards the end where an instructor who hadn't seen me in a couple weeks um, said, you are looking really lean. Like I had, you know, you, when not, not a, like a six pack because I didn't have super strong abs, but I had those, the just the two lines down the side of my belly because like that's how much, like I had the muscle there already because I had the core strength, but I lost all the fat on top of it. Uh, I was, I was fit. Um, still not aerobically fit. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been aerobically fit, but in terms of like muscular strength and all that kind of stuff, I was, I was doing pretty damn well. And all of these tricks and stuff with pole that I was having a lot of trouble doing, I could do with, with ease. And then we realized it was because I'd lost something like seven or eight kilos. Um, and I, I don't weigh much. Like I'm, I'm small. I'm not like eight kilos doesn't sound like a lot, but when it's like, more than 10% of your body weight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I lost eight kilos and he was something like 12 to 13% of my body weight or something like that. I, I can't remember exactly, what, but it was like, it was a lot. It was a lot for me. And uh, when we realized that I was doing all these things, it wasn't because I'd gotten so much stronger. It was because I was lifting less weight because I'd lost the weight. The tricks became easier. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it was great. And then uh, my birthday, my 30th birthday happened and I decided to take a weekend off and I had Pop-Tarts and sushi and cocktails and all that good stuff. And then I went back on it, but then the world shut down. And the stress from that and my comfort is food. I am, I, my, my comfort is food. There are no two ways around that. When I get stressed, I eat. Um, and so I have, like, I, d I don't necessarily like eat to excess or anything. Like I don't binge, I, I don't think I've ever binge eaten. Um, thankfully, because I know that's, you know, a really serious problem for a, lo a lot of people and heart goes out, you know, um, but, uh, I, yeah, I wanted spaghetti. I wanted, I wanted like my mum's pasta, mum's spaghetti recipe. And I, I wanted pop tarts and I wanted, uh, apple pie and I wanted, like, I wanted my comfort foods and none of them were AIP. But I ate them anyway. And so I just, that's what I did because the whole world had gone into a shitstorm and I didn't leave the apartment for eight months. Like the, there's a, there's a line at the door of our apartment where like the, the metal barrier between like the tiles of our entryway and the carpet of the hallway of the apartment building. I didn't cross that line for eight months at the start of the pandemic. No immune. I was shit scared that I would catch it and die, literally. I mean, we had it really good here in Australia, especially in Queensland. We had so few cases, but that didn't mean I wasn't irrationally, potentially terrified. I still think it was rational, so did my psychologist. Um, but yeah, it, so I just, everything went <clears throat> But uh, at this point, I think 80% of what I'm eating is AIP. Bubble tea is not AIP obviously, but pork, uh, cauliflower, broccoli, and carrot, uh, kale and baby spinach, uh, cooked in olive oil. That's all good. Um, breakfast have been berries and coconut yogurt. No, carrots and avocado dip, like not an avocado dip, like actually avocado that I dip the carrot into. And um, we found a um, the nightshade free curry recipe that has been shared in Discord. That's AIP. So there's no tomatoes, there's no potato, there's no um, so nightshades. Um, they're all part of the nightshade family. No black pepper, none of that kind of stuff. Uh, made with coconut milk and I have it with sweet potato mash, which is also AIP. Uh, potato is not, sweet potato is. Uh, great source of carbs. Uh, but yeah, so everything else that I'm eating is AIP. Occasionally I've got some chocolate eggs and I've been having like a little baby one every couple of days. I've got my bubble tea, obviously not AIP. Um, I've got a water additive to because I hate the, like water tastes like dirt in Queensland. Um, so I've got like a, an additive that's like almost like a tea concentrate that I add to my water. 
um, to kind of just flavor it just a little bit. That's not AIP. Um, but yeah, there are a few bits and pieces here and there, but for the most part, I've been pretty good. Um, it's all just, yeah. The idea is that, it, you know, anything that could be a potential allergen, you eliminate it. And then once you've eliminated everything, you start adding things back. But I haven't eliminated everything, so I can't start adding things back. But that's okay. I'm happy where I'm at at the moment. But yeah, it's a, it's a time. It's a time. All right, where was I up to? AIP. Um, da, 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 da. Afternoon, Draz. Hello. Actually surprised I haven't made a sugar-free bubble tea yet. Well, there, there. you can make your own sugar-free bubble tea. Um, it's just that traditional bubble tea has a ton of sugar. Um, so if you brew tea, tea is fine. It's got no sugar in it. It's just the tea. Um, with bubble tea, you then add like a fruit syrup and then you add um, like your, your fructose syrup. You can take that out. That's just literally 100% sugar. Uh, and then you have jellies, like coconut jellies, and they've been flavored with syrups because they sit in the syrup the whole time. Yep. Um, and then ice. Ice, of course, is sugar-free. So you can, instead of putting this in, so you can just take out the fructose entirely. Instead of the syrups, you can make your own, or you can just add juice. Still not sugar-free, but if you want the fruit flavor, you're going to have to do that. Um, like, even lemon juice still has fructose in it, but you can do that. That's quite a bit lower sugar than a, fr a fruit syrup, obviously. Um, and then when it comes to the jellies, I don't think any of the coconut jellies are sugar-free, um, but the tapioca balls... I'm not sure if they're... Give me a second. You you watch this. Uh, <laughs> they Some people, when they make tapioca pearls, they add... Um, they add brown sugar to the pearl mix, but I don't know if these guys do. They don't have any mention of the ingredients. They are tapioca pearls, so they are made with tapioca starch. A lot of them will use like a, a black dye to, to make them the darker color, um, like a black food gel dye or something. Uh, but they may also have brown sugar in them. So I'm not too sure about that. Um, but that is something you could absolutely reach out to them and ask about the, um, the ingredients. But there are ways to make it sugar-free. It's just not as fun or tasty. <laughs> um, Love to see my abs again. Oh, so would I, Kraz. So would I. That's why I've been tracking my calories this week. Dunno, Meaty, Ali, Zam, Dupe, Seeker, Loopy, and Adam. Congratulations to all of you on your born on shit. I noticed I was inching towards, inching slowly, but surely towards my heaviest weight again. Uh, and I'm like, no. So I've started doing tracky stuff um, just to just to see if it's like, Plus, like actually seeing my macros roughly and all that, and it also means that like if I'm if I'm having like body issues um, with any of the bits and bobs that I have, I can take that to the doctor as well and say this is what I've been eating. Is it my diet? Um, you know, having that printout's got to help something, right? We should get this cracking. I'm so sorry to everyone who's been waiting on me. Um, I did zone in, didn't I? Let's do ready check and crack on. So sorry. Um. Actually, again, we've been struggling from the other side. So the fun thing about AIP is that what they, when I said it's not a weight loss diet, right? What they call it is a weight normalizing diet. What you're doing is eliminating all of the, like, low, like all this crap, you know? So, you know, like your, your junk food and all that kind of thing that isn't, it doesn't have very many nutrients. It just has a ton of calories and all this kind of stuff. You eliminate all that stuff, but you're replacing it with super nutrient dense foods. Like one of the things they really bang on about is um, uh, bone broth and and stuff like that. You know, so because you're eating all these whole foods rather than taking a bunch of um, supplements, all this kind of stuff, um, 
a lot of the a lot of the studies that they did. Again, I, I this is this, we're talking years ago now, and I don't recall the exact studies. And I absolutely encourage you to do this if you're looking at any kind of diet to do it in conjunction with your goddamn doctor or a health professional, um, and not just you know take a random fucking internet person's opinion on it. Like, don't do that. It's really bad. Um, but it was touted as a weight normalizing diet. So if you were having if you were struggling to gain weight. It would help you put that on because it had all those whole foods that were really nutrient dense and all this kind of stuff. So, look, maybe it's another potential. Like if you're if you're working with a medical professional, maybe it's worth having a look at it as an option to potentially um, help an out your situation. Maybe, obviously, again, up to you and up to your medical professional. Very important. Do similar food I'm supposed to be eating. Good diet for my diabetes. Stuff happened. I spiraled. I'm taking a day at a time. Yeah, yeah. I I spiraled as well, and I've just I'm I've had enough. I'm so sick of it. I have so many clothes that I really truly love that don't don't quite fit me anymore, uh, and all this kind of stuff. So I've pulled all those clothes out of my wardrobe, and they're sitting to the side. And then when I hit a weight milestone, I'm gonna try them on again. See if they fit this time. Um, like I know what I weighed. When I was like doing it, I know what I weighed when I was doing AIP, so that's kind of where I want to get back to because I know it's possible. I know that my body can be healthy at that weight because I've been I've done it before. Um, so that's what I'm focusing on again with health professionals. But at the moment, I'm not really like cutting anything out per se. I've just I found some really awesome, really tasty recipes. Uh, that I happen to get out of my AIP books uh, and off the interwebs and things like that. Uh, good to see you. Uh, hello. Interesting Twitch name you have. Welcome on in, boy. Welcome. Uh, make sure you're free syrup for coffee, so why not the fruit syrup? Uh, I'd say it probably wasn't the taste that they were going for. It had some kind of strange aftertaste or something like that. Um, everything that they sourced for the bubble tea stuff, it's all from Taiwan as well. Uh, everything is from Taiwan. Uh, so if they don't give a shit about sugar-free crap, <laughs> then they won't. That's like, they won't have it for, for sale. Because Taiwan is where bubble tea comes from. Wait, I'm getting, have I got that right? Have I got that wrong again? I keep, look, I know this is really horrible, but I always, my brain flips Taiwan and Thailand, but I'm pretty sure I'm right this time. I'm pretty sure it was Taiwanese. That's the next one. Yes, Taiwan. Taiwan from the early 1980s. Where everything was fat free, but not sugar free. <laughs> so yeah, it might just be that that's not a thing that they make, and so they didn't get it, sort of thing. Um, this one. Oh, it is zero grams sugar in their ingredients. Oh, that's the pearls? Amazing. There you go, so the pearls are sugar free. That's good to know. Oh, uh, because her own abs, not your abs. <laughs> I mean, everyone can have abs. <laughs> uh, I think my lack is broken, so the impact defeat doesn't do anything. Really, didn't do anything. Either. Oh, what? That's so odd. Um. Screw 
scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. Did that work? Simulation. Yeah. I mean, like, the worst they can do is say, like, no, this isn't going to be suitable for your situation. And, hey, now you know. Like, <laughs> you know? What's what's the problem with that? <laughs> In the game at the moment. That's okay, dwelling. You don't have to. It's the beauty about video games is that there's no requirement. You play it if you're having fun, and you don't if you're not. It's beautiful, isn't it? I hope you're having fun with whatever else it is that you've been doing. Find joy elsewhere. I have over half a bottle to this day that I set myself on crack because we can't drink it. Well, how would they get addicted to it if they can't drink it, though? Or un unless it's, like, obviously like, later on set. Yeah, that's fair. You absolutely can, like, okay, so lemon black tea is one of my favourite things. Even, like... Hey! When I go to restaurants and stuff, especially like Asian cuisine restaurants, I always get, if they've got a house ice lemon tea on the menu, 100% get that done, finished, complete. Um, if you can find a sugar-free creamer, you can blend, you can make your black tea, add your sugar-free creamer, and then brew up the tapioca pearls and add them. And the beautiful part about Bubble Tea Club in particular is that you don't have to buy the kits. They sell everything individually as well. So you can buy their black tea, you can buy their pearls, and then just grab your own sugar-free creamer from elsewhere and whip it all up yourself. That's, what, that's one of the things I really love is that they sell everything separately as well, so that you can, if you need to make dietary substitutions, you 100% can. Um, and if you want to do like fruit stuff, Definitely recommend getting that black tea again, adding some lemon juice, like front up lemon juice. I don't know how much of that you're able to have as a diabetic. I know that there is fructose in lemons, but I can't imagine there's much because they don't taste super duper sweet. Um, but adjust to taste, you know, maybe one tablespoon, maybe two, who knows, to taste, you know, give it a try. If you need more, add more. And then again, pop those pearls in. Easy peasy. And the best bit of all that is you don't need to buy any kits. You just buy the black tea and, and the pearls and then go elsewhere for your sugar-free creamer and your lemon juice, and you've got two flavors of tea right there. <laughs> Obviously, if it's not the product for you, don't do it on my behalf. Like, that's... Seriously, it's fine. But if you are really keen to give it a go, those are the ideas I've got off the top of my head. Um, off no worries. Rest well, Adriana, even though that was like three minutes ago. I hope you are resting soundly and and, and comfortably and all that kind of fun stuff. Can't find sugar-free creamer anywhere. Ah, okay. That might be the tricky bit. You can still do the fruit. The creamer might be interesting. Um, can you have... Can you have milk? Like, I, how, I'm not sure I'm not diabetic and I don't have anyone in my family that I know of who is diabetic. Um, I do have a couple of friends who are, but I don't know enough about their, like, medical situation. Because what I used to do, back before I could actually get creamer, because Australia is not, like, cream is not a very Australian thing. It's very American, but you can't really get it too many places in Australia. Um, we just add milk. Um... I didn't want to add milk to stuff because it got too watered down, like the flavor. I had tea, right? I had I had some teas that I wanted, but adding milk to the tea just watered down the tea flavor too much for me and I didn't like it. So I got myself a bag of powdered milk. It's milk without the water. And I mean, I'm sure there's probably preservatives in there and stuff like that too, but it's, it's milk without the water and then you can add that and the tea acts as the water so it doesn't water down the tea flavor but you still get the creaminess. And of course you add just as much as you, or as little as you need to get your right kind of dealy. So I'm lactose intolerant. Lactose free milk has heaps of sugar in it. Can only have coconut milk. Um, coconut milk is a lot thicker. So you can add that to teas and stuff without it. Just, but it does make them taste a fair bit like coconut. Um, but if you can get, if you can find like powdered coconut milk or something, that might also work. But yeah, I'm, uh, look, I'm trying to help. 
Um, if it's not going to help, unfortunately, that's it. Uh, but look, best of all we can do is try. Um, but, but, but light cheese. Well, light cheese are, like, even naturally, the fruit are extremely high in sugar. So I didn't, can you not have those, like, can you have light cheese? <laughs> if you can have light cheese, get yourself a can of light cheese and blend it up and toss it in the black tea or the, or the green tea or whatever flavor you want to have. Like, easy. Just add lychee juice, like, same thing as lemon juice, just substitute lemon for lychee, fuck. It's not that hard. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I don't see how that's a joke, dwelling, but that's okay. Have fun. Uh, for lectures, how everyone like taste tablets, curse the coconut, makes everything taste like coconut. Yeah, AIP, the only dairy I could do was coconut. I couldn't have any, like, wheat or anything else like that either, so I had coconut flour. Um, you could use coconut sugar, but that shit's so expensive, oh my god. But yeah, everything was just, everything was coconut. Everything. I made banana smoothies with coconut to try to ease my sugar cravings. Um, with, with a, a pinch of cinnamon. A thwack of cinnamon as well, but yeah, everything was just coconut. Coconut yogurt, just the lot. Cocoa aminos, coconut aminos are a fantastic substitute for soy milk. Uh, soy milk, sorry, for um, soy sauce. Um, so when you're cooking and stuff and making up marinades, um, coconut aminos, cocoa aminos were a, a great substitute for soy sauce in those. But yeah, it was just a whole mess. Uh, Black Mass invites failing not reaching me. I think my own client just bugged something. Yeah, I'm gonna see how this is. Oh, no, don't worry at all for. Look, Zam had the same issue. Zam couldn't get an invite in either. So I don't know what happened there. That's really odd. Really odd. I'm gonna just say coconut is gross. When it's literally half of what you can eat, you get over it real fucking quick. <laughs> And who asked Shiva? <laughs> yeah, look. I, um... Coconut is so exceptionally versatile. And there are definitely ways to use it to make it not taste like coconut. But, um... Oh, you just, you just get used to it. Like... Yep. I had, um, I made shortbread, shortbread cookies, shortbread cookies with coconut flour, coconut milk, coconut oil, etc, 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 and they were, oh, they were amazing. I hadn't had any kind of, like, those kind of carbs for such a long time, so having the ability to make cookies, I did not care that, like, seven out of eight ingredients was coconut. <laughs> It was just like, give me the cooking! <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, coconut is just so, oh my god, so versatile. And coconut water with fruit juice. I don't like coconut water plain. It's, it's not, mm, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Uh, but add a little bit of like lychee juice or add a bit of strawberry juice or passion fruit juice. Oh, perfection. Uh, Coco Coast was the, the brand. It was 90% coconut water, 10% fruit juice. And it was like the only prepackaged drink that I could purchase at Woolworths that was AIP friendly, except for Horta. Um, so, yeah, I, I drank a fair bit of that. Um, but yeah, that that little you know little bit of juice really just transformed the whole thing, which was really nice. But yeah, coconut is um, yeah, get used to it. Coconut is a vegan diet, also. Yeah, yeah. It's just so expensive. And half the coconut stuff you get has sugar in it too. Because it's that sweet coconut candy kind of, like, you know, bounty bars and stuff. That's that's the coconut that most people are looking for. And so it's mostly just, it's even, even shredded coconut I found with bloody sugar in it. And I'm like, can you not? <laughs> but, you know, you eventually you find it, usually at health food stores, and it's just so expensive. So expensive. Good then, like I was just tired of talking about halfway across the cup. Yeah, I reckon so, because that that like Zam is EU as well. 
I think Mar Black Morass just had an issue with, with the EU folk today. And he's just like, it is grumpy! It is! Welcome on in. I hope you're having a lovely day. Happy Sunday. And up for water flavored yum. Yeah. It has to be flavored though. It has to be flavored. I can't stand plain coconut water. It just tastes like seawater. I don't know, there's just something about it that it's kind of, it's just a touch salty and I. Bleh. Like, I'm okay with, um, I know it's it's a very, like, electrolyte drink or whatever, right? So, like, Powerade and stuff. But Powerade and stuff has a ton of sugar in it, too. And coconut water doesn't, so it just tastes like salt. But, yeah. Sugar from the fruit juice? Perfection. You like liquid a challenge? I am indeed. Indeed, they make cookie with coconut stuff. Straight up coconut or dried coconut. Just, ugh. Fair. Fair. I, I feel that. I feel that. But I, I quite, I do quite like coconut. Not gonna lie. Um, but... I hadn't had a whole lot of it prior. Like, I had coconut milk in all my curries and stuff, obviously, prior to the whole AIP thing. But once, yeah, once AIP kicked in, I have a new appreciation for it. Because <laughs> it's just so versatile. Uh, thank you so much for the explanation, Jute. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Mm. Hello. Very low scoring affair for one and all. Unsurprisingly. There's a gate working on transmog. It's fine. Oh, I am now honored with keepers of time. Throw me. On my ult. <laughs> Complete, I believe. <clears throat> Out we go again. I've only got three items left. Like a locust swarm. That's very exciting. All my designs, all my carefully laid plans, will at last fall into place. I've finished this dungeon on fear. Oh, that's a good feeling. And I'm at seventy-two point seven two on on the rogue. Which will cover a lot of the leather wearers as well. This is exciting. A rogue or a rouge? Definitely a rogue, but I'm wearing rouge. It's not very red, it's more pink. <laughs> Getting some luck in here. I've had none, I've got no like green drops. I'm making no gold. But yeah, I've gotten a few. I've gone from 45.45 to 72.72% completion. So I'm doing all right. In terms of that side of it. Gold, here and are. Uh, accidentally, what? The bong. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. I'm um, pretty sure I used the bong in a game and then it made my character high and then it did something, tripped over something which knocked something else, da, 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 which ended up killing like three or four people. And I was like, oh no. Yeah. It was a horror game, so it's fine. I uh, got some transmogs. Yay, Zam! Go Zam! Woo! Uh oh, there we go. Ah, uh, gold is a fun side game. Give me the transport! Right, I know, yeah. <laughs> I'm the same. Get revered! Well done, Icy! Good job! Ah, uh, I've got three... three left. And the... there's no, like, bonus heroic only loot, so... Could finish this dungeon. How bonkers would that be? Will be released upon this ripe Who's excited for me to update my data in the spreadsheet to see what we're doing next week? <laughs> I 
We've got one more, we'll do one more dungeon after this one. We might make it a quick one though, depending on... I did, I blabbed for too long, unfortunately, and ran down some of our time. So I apologize for that, but um, I don't think you guys are going to be sad about that considering that the next one is Old Hills, Redfoot Hills anyway, and no one wants to do that, so that's fine. One transmog left! Ah, well done, Panda! One from the- oh my goodness. That's so close. Fia's actually got, like, my main, my mage, has so many BC dungeons, like, clocked, 100% transmogged. Um, so it means, like, quite a few of my other clothies also have them clocked, because that's how it works. There aren't too many class-specific things in BC. Um, but... Yeah, well look, I, I kind of have a feeling that these lacks are going to be working through BC dungeons for a while to come because it seems to be my lowest percentage on a lot of tunes because a lot of these tunes didn't exist until a couple expansions after. But we'll see. Is there any reason to come back to all these instances again outside of Xmog? Oh, and we'll all be pissed. Our, our ATT list will go from this to this and it'll all be like 98.2%. Just because that one last thing to get. Be fine. Be fine. Drops. Uh huh. Best of luck with that. Okay. Melmortis, Twilight Longbow, please. One down, two to go. Copium, yep. Keep, 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 keep breathing on that, honey. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Deep breaths. Not long now till we find out. Not long now. I kind of, so it's going to be 2 a.m. I, I realized I must have done a miscalculation somewhere. It's going to be 2 a.m. Um, I think what I did was I'm, I, I, look, I took the, the time that it was going to be at and um, c converted it that it got it, like, got it into Melbourne, Sydney time somehow or something. I don't know. But the launcher told me it was going to be 2 a.m., not 3 a.m. So that's fun. Um, that's worse, by the way. That's, that's worse for me. Uh, <laughs> so I'm not going to have, I'm not going to be sitting here and, and doing a live stream reaction bullshit. I'm not, I, I thought about recording it, but like hell, I'm going to be sitting up with like makeup on with the camera on recording my reaction or any of that kind of crap. Um, but I did think about recording audio of my reaction. <laughs> And just overlaying it and just, I thought that'd be kind of entertaining, but we'll see, we'll see. You two of that longbow, nice! I have one. Your housing it once again temporarily. Quit for a few hours! <laughs> yeah! Yep. Ah, uh, Torex is so good that nobody has ever seen them! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I think the closest we'll ever get is the garrison. I am in agreement with you on that, and I think the reason for that was that the garrison was them kind of trialing to see what they could do with it and see if it was possible. And vast, well, not vast majority, but the majority of the vocal player base came out in staunch opposition to the garrisons. They hated it. They yelled about it. Obviously, what they were saying was that this is not what we wanted when we said player housing. But why would Blizzard make something similar to something that? attracted the ire of so much of the vocal player. Like, it just doesn't make any sense, you know. I don't know. But we'll see. Never say never. Bugger. Did not get the gloves. But that's okay. Mm, it said that we had to wait until the 20th, not the 19th. N no, Panda. It's, um, it's the 19th in the United States. But it's the evening, so time zones mean that it's the twentieth for us in in Australia. It's being the the live stream is happening because it's happening on Twitch as well as I think it's on YouTube as well. Um, but it's because it's being live streamed. Everyone gets the information at the exact same time. It just so happens to be the twentieth for us because it's the crack of dawn. It's literally two in the morning because time zones. Two in the morning for AEST, East Coast. So Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, 2 a.m. 
Uh, I don't think it's in the works, never. I'm sure the garrisons never person never consider them to be housing, not the same as many people want anyway. No, I agree, but it was a personalized thing where you get to go by yourself. You can have your friends over to see your garrison, blah, blah, blah. And everyone hated that they were, it felt so isolated because they spent all their time in their garrison and they didn't, there was no reason to go to the main city and all that kind of, like they, they hated that part of it. That was what so many people were angry about was that it was so isolating. That's what player housing would do. That's the part that, like, yeah. But regardless of whether or not that's what they meant, that's what they said. And so Blizzard can't kind of infer what they meant from that. They just have to take it at face value. And I'm for me on the West Coast of Canada. I thought maybe we had to wait a day. No. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's, uh, it's, it's like how we get the, usually we get a, an expansion launch at like 5 p.m. Well, we were getting them at 5 p.m. and now we get them at like 8 a.m. Um, but it has the date the day after, but it's the same time. It's just that time zones exist. So we're all good. Uh, it was a totally because of water. Guild wide garrison equals player housing. Potentially, but then people are going to get the shits because their guild leader doesn't let them, con you know, do it the way that they want it. And the look, we've, we've talked about player housing a lot and we can continue talking about it till we're blue in the face. Fact of the matter is we don't have an announcement around that. Um, it would require a ton of manpower on Blizzard's end to actually make it happen. And considering they've had negative responses to stuff similar to it in the past, personally, I don't think it's going to happen. And if it, even if it did happen, so much of the player base would go, Oh, you're copying Final Fantasy. <laughs> because that's what they do. And no matter how good they get it, there's going to be a massive chunk of the player community that doesn't, that it's not the way I wanted it and therefore I hate it because they can't make everybody happy. I don't think it's going to happen. I, I really, like, people have been asking for this for over a decade. Over a decade, if, they were, if it was going to be possible, if they were going to do it, they would have done it by now. But if they do, then hey, people get what they want and you best not fucking bitch about it. Please and thank you. <laughs> we will see. We can't we can't know until they make the announcement. I keep forgetting we get so few drops in here, I don't even need to check my bags. Yeah. Watch it. Um, Blizzard's announcement about the announcement has all the info you'll need. Um, there was a thing that popped up on the launcher. If you clicked off that and ignored it, it'll probably be on the launcher somewhere. If you flick through the bits at the top, it'll have a thing there like expansion launch announcement, blah, 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 blah. If you click that, it'll give you the info you need. The time has come. Gul'dan, order your warlocks to double I'm surprised. Their Moments from now, the gateway will open, and yeah. horde will be released upon this ripe, unsuspecting... People bitch about, ev about every single thing. Every single thing always. Yeah, I know, and this is why I don't envy the developers in any sense of the word, because, like, they can't make everybody happy. No matter what they pour their blood, sweat, and tears into, it's never good enough. Never. And, like, good god, how much must that suck? Like... I'm, I'm surprised turnover rates in, in development companies aren't higher than that. It, it, oh, and have, like, people not just leaving the entire bloody industry because of the vitriol from players. It's disgusting. Oh, you're welcome, Pennant, not a worry. You mm. ain't nice, Icy, well done. I disagree, I think we can agree, <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Cat dog quote. Ah, oh, dear. Oh dear. Um, but with the note on the merging Horde and Alliance, that's not what's happening. Like, it is still integral to the game. Like, if you merge Horde and Alliance, PvP... 
<laughs> the whole the whole story behind PvP is is done. And MMOs are like, yes, okay, it's a lot about the gameplay, but the gameplay, if there's no like solid reason behind it, a lot of it can just end up feeling like crap. Even League of Bloody Legends has background stories as to why each person does what they do. Like, <laughs> you know? So I think like the ability to play with our friends in certain in, in dungeons and stuff like that, but even then they're eliminated, they're not letting it happen in the dungeons, uh, in the raids like um ICC because of the blimp fight, the loot ship. And um uh Desire Law, Battle for Desire, because it's specifically a different experience for Horde and Alliance players, all that kind of stuff. There's no like it's not being merged. It's, it's not a merge. It is still important for the game, in my opinion. Um what it is is allowing players to have some fun with their friends in in older some of the older content um i know that they are doing it for most recent dungeons as well right it does make sense for horde and alliance to team up against external threats which is what we've done in a few raids so far we have teamed up for example as a horde player and crazy is also a horde player so um as as horde players we've teamed up with the likes of jaina to, to defeat bad guys and stuff like that. So teaming up with Alliance people to go into dungeons and to defeat a oh, larger foe. Exactly. Makes sense. But having it out in the open world and in PvP and all that kind of stuff, like mercenaries, you stick a mask on and it's hilarious. But you know, that's, a, that's a good solution there. You are going undercover and you're pretending to be a member of the other, the other faction. But yeah, out in the outside world, yeah, it's, it's still... Yeah. It would be nice if everyone just got along. But if everyone just got along... Well, look. Some stories would be a little less interesting, maybe. Uh, I really, really wonder what the new state will be for the new X-Pack. Me too. And we will find out soon. Life is always more to do. Ah, uh, that's probably the wrong word. Uh, potentially, yeah. I, I, yeah, potentially. <laughs> but yeah, the, the teaming up of uh, and all that kind of stuff. I get that. Uh, come on, strangers like you guys. Yeah, I'm not streaming, so I'm forged anytime soon. Yeah. <laughs> A cold world of Lovecraft, is it? Not enough squids. <laughs> Look, um, I am for anything that allows me to play with more people, especially when those people are my viewers. So cross faction, cross server, cross region, all that stuff. I'm 100% for that as long as they do it in a way that makes sense for the base storyline of the game. Because as soon as you mess with that story for me, it damages a core part of the game experience. Like, I I am, I am, like, I love my storylines. You guys watch me on launch day or um, like patch launch day every time we get a new the patch with the what's it's storyline campaign quests and stuff like that. You know I live for that shit. I am I eat it up like nobody's business. It's I love it. I love it so much. And so if they watered down the the story for gameplay purposes, I'd have some feelings about that. I'd have to experience it to make up my mind, obviously, but I would definitely have some concerns about it. Then I'd give it a go and make up my mind about what I think because I'm I don't, I'm not a huge fan of, like, oh, they said this is going to happen. That's going to be crap. Everything's going to be terrible and it's going to be hard. No. <laughs> no, I, I'm very much a fan of let me play it. Let me get into it and touch it and feel it and see what I think then. But that is just me personally. I know that 98% of the internet has a slightly different opinion to me on that particular point. <laughs> so let it be a fan. There's lots of squids in that one. Yup. I tried to trick it asking the boss for the loot I need and he bloody dropped it. Yeah, it absolutely is, Ali. I guarantee, like, I've, the first boss in here I asked for loot and then I haven't asked the last two because I haven't realized it was a boss before I smacked it. Um, and I haven't dropped. So, yeah. You've gotta ask nicely. You've gotta ask. But sometimes you ask nicely and they don't drop it and then you blow a raspberry at them. It's tradition. So do you guys, even if it's only audio, do you guys want like a reaction track 
for the announcement video. <clears throat> Hello, Zalk. How you going? Welcome back. Yeah, I want a reaction now. Well, you can't because I don't have the thing to react to. <laughs> I don't have the thing to react to. Discord watch party. <laughs> hmm. I would. Except I guarantee you half the time it would just be me, be me saying, shut the fuck up, I can't hear it. And nobody wants that. Everyone would just get really upset with me. And then I'd lose like half my viewers and the community disintegrate and that'd be the end of that. So... <laughs> it's probably best if I don't have other people talking to me while things are happening. Aranus, girdle of the death dealer, please. Pretty please. And what should I react the next day? Avoiding spoilers would be a pain in the ass though. No, I want it live. I'm... I can't, like, um, there's probably going to be a point in my life that I can't get up at 2am to watch something from a video game developer. Um, but while I can, I am passionate enough about this game that I want to watch it. I want to know when everyone else knows. That you could do like some others and rewatch it with stream or something and react even after you've seen and had a chance to just it might be a fun thing. Mm. Mm. I wonder. I might ask Liz um, what their deal is with restreaming stuff. Because, um, uh, yeah, sometimes like reaction stuff is all well and good, like videos and stuff. But if it's n like, it, it'd have to be, it'd have to count as transformative to be under fair use, and I'm not sure I'd talk enough for it to be transformative. <laughs> um, and sharing content you don't have the copyright to, um, is also a a big area. Everyone during the thingy and unmute after. Just mute everyone. Could do the watch party, but radio style. People in here, you can't talk unless you've got permission. Ooh. Okay, all right. This we're getting somewhere. The time has come. You guys can just listen. Order your warlocks to double their efforts. Moments from now, the gateway will open. To me and Jas bantering, and me telling Jas to shut up regularly. <laughs> it's Discord. We have access to text channels, and you can also set the voice chat to mute everyone. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to figure out how to do that. I can, I'm pretty sure I can do that. I've got, like, we've got the, the... I hate that you can't mark DMs as unread in Discord. Can we just, like, can we talk about that? Um... What time is it again? Uh, 2 a.m. AEST. <laughs> so then you can put me the channel like we do for Chopper Drive. Ah, oh, yeah. I'd probably just edit the um the live channel. Um, not to self, can I already know. Not an optimal target. No, it is not. We are absolutely here for the transmog. Um, <laughs> if you are no longer interested in being here, that is totally okay. Where is the channel? Edit channel. <laughs> Missions. Oh, people can't join live automatically though. That's a no. That's a um, what's it only channel. Why do you wait, Mages? Just think of how many lives could be 
I reckon I'll figure something out, and if I need help, I will ask for it. Uh, Chrono Lord, I don't have anything I need. No worries, Thor. Rest well, we will see you next time. So I'm assuming what I would do is just set permissions to anyone can join and no one can speak. After. Potentially, yeah. Potentially. Because I've seen, I've seen like radio channels before, but I think maybe it's a community only feature. And we, we're not a community. You too, Thor, you too. Yeah, we're, we're not set to a community, like we're not discoverable or anything like that. Um, that could be interesting if we were though. Mods that have their work cut out for them. Uh, but I could probably just set up a channel that's, yeah, anyone can join and listen, but no one can speak except for you. We need if you set up. Yeah. All right. I think that might work because especially that way I don't have, I mean, I know like a lot of my, especially when I'm trying to listen, a lot of my reactions are like visual, but, um, it's 2 a.m. <laughs> it's 2 a.m. I am planning on going to bed real early. Um, the night before. Maybe I can put a little bit of makeup on and turn the camera on. I didn't realize that. Yeah, uh, the community thing. I'm thinking that might be what it is because I can't find that kind of a setting anywhere. So I'm thinking that might be what the problem is. I could make us a community, but I, I don't, I don't know if I want to. Um, what does it actually do? Uh, enable community. <laughs> I clicked it. Are you building a community? Convert your server to a community server to access additional administrative tools that can better help you moderate, run, and grow your server. Don't do this if your server is just for you and a few friends. Community servers are for admins who are building larger spaces where people with shared interests can come together. Enabling community does not make your server public. Discovery is an additional feature you can enable. Ah, learn more here. Hey! Grow your community. Apply to be in server discovery uh, so more people can find your server directly on Discord. Keep members engaged. Access tools like server insights that can better help you moderate and keep your server engaged. And stay informed. Get direct updates about new features built for communities from Discord. Let's click the learn more button. Uh, future forward, right click channel settings, permissions, add the role for your bot or the bot itself, give it permission to speak, apply, go to the everyone permission group and negate the speak permission or require push to talk and click apply. Oh yeah, that's what I was talking about doing. Uh, instant, cause I, there are, so there are two separate things that I'm talking about at the moment. There's what I can do for the thingamajig, which is very easy, which is just allow people to join, but not speak, which is what you've linked talking about Shiva, um, which I know how to do. That's, that's easy peasy. No worries doing that. There is, however, a different feature that um, that Discord offers, which is like a radio show kind of, like a radio channel kind of deal. So you have a couple of people in there, or one person, whatever, and anyone can join and listen, but no one can speak until you like right click them and like make speaker. And then it was kind of like Twitter Hangouts when they were implemented for about two months. Um, <laughs> so that's kind of, that's what we were talking about with the whole radio show style thing. Um, that is a thing that Discord offers, but I couldn't find the setting for it. And then I've clicked, it must just be for communities. Um, so requirements for enabling community. Uh, safety checks, verification level setting. Members of the server must have a verified email on their Discord account before sending messages or DMing anyone in the server. Note that this doesn't apply to users that have assigned roles. 
explicit media content filter. Uh, scan media content from all members. This will scan all media sent in the server and delete any content that it contains explicit content. However, you can mark certain channels age restricted to avoid this happening. Rules or guidelines channel. There must be a clearly posted rule server rules channel for members. This is useful so that new members understand what is cool and not cool in your community. Community update slash moderators channel. This is the channel where Discord will send announcements and updates relevant to community server admins and moderators like new moderator features. Lastly... Oh, we've run out of time. Okay, good. Uh, lastly, you must agree that your server complies with our community guidelines and that Discord may check the contents of your server to make sure it's safe. We want to make sure that users joining your server had a good experience and that there's nothing that violates our guidelines on your servers. Which I don't think there would be, because we're not shit. Like, <laughs> my most of my rules are the equivalent to most site terms of services and stuff like that, so I think we'll be fine. Um, so tools for community servers. We've got a welcome screen. Set up a personalized welcome screen for your new visitors. Uh, know what your community is about and where to start. They can immediately head to the welcome and rules channel instead of wandering around lost. Uh, announcement channels, uh, special channels that enable you to broadcast messages beyond your server. Users can follow your announcement channels and receive those updates directly to their own servers. Direct community updates from Discord, new features and changes from Discord as soon as you your server. Keep you up to date, you now select a moderator only channel for official discount updates. We'll give you the heads up so your moderation team will always be prepared. We're going to Old Hills, Brad Foothills. I'm sorry, please don't hate me. Um, uh, server insights. So insights would be really interesting. I know that our server is fairly quiet compared to a lot of servers, um, but it'd be interesting to see what we could maybe do to make that not be a thing. Like keep people more engaged while fear is offline or whatever. Um, I'm just, I'm a lurker, so I don't know how to do that. That's, that's against everything I know how to do. And discovery. Um, you can display your community very directly on Discord server discovery. No more having to advertise somewhere else to attract new users. Note, this is currently limited to servers with more than 1,000 members. Nope. And partnered and verified servers. We will lower these limits over time. No, you won't. You haven't. Um, so we don't have over 1,000 members. Um, we're not partnered or verified. Um, the, the tricky bit with Discord partnership, it used to be that if you were a Twitch partner, you could be a Discord partner too. Not so anymore. To be a Discord partner, you have to have a certain metric of engagement in your channel and you have to maintain that over time. So that's interesting. Uh, old Hills, Brad, not Bard, Brad, Foot, Hills. I fully understand if anyone does not want to do this one. We're going to set it to 40 because I need to. Uh, get back to look at the Chopper Drive server, see if you can find out how much the Insight stuff shows that would help. That would be kind of curious. Um, although I'm sure that there's probably going to be a, a thing somewhere here. Server Insights. Yeah, Server Insights itself, the word is a link. Um, yeah, it shows you everything that's available here. Don't worry about that. It's all good. But thank you so much anyway. I really appreciate it. Um, oh my god, I have so many... We did that. Done that one. We did a share stream. Another boss to check. There we go. YouTube video showing shit too. Oh, absolutely. There'll be there'll be everything. <laughs> There'll be everything. I'm so curious to see which dungeons we're gonna be doing next week. So, 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 so curious. Okay. Oh. Hey, okay, Rachel.
Draw it, yeah. All right, three, two, one, go. <clears throat> Do you appreciate my countdowns? <laughs> yeah, um, look, BC is like, so last week we did BC dungeons on the Paladin. This week we did BC dun dungeons on the Rogue. Raid lacks aren't really a thing. Uh, I mean, neither is a Black Morass lack, though, to be perfectly honest. <clears throat> excuse me. Oh gosh, excuse me. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm really curious to see, like, which tune I'm going to be doing BC Dungeons on next week. <laughs> mm. Just ready to let me hear. Mm. Fair, fair. So let me have a look. So it was thirty-four. 78. <laughs> Alright, so the good news is the lowest is now going to be 35% uh, rather than 34%. So we've climbed another percent. That's awesome. Oh, and I've hit total 66% over across all 12 classes. That's amazing. Um, and it's going to be, according to this, BC Dungeons on the Shaman. <laughs> but I feel, I have a feeling that if I update the data, it might change. So when we're done, this is why I should set this one a little bit lower. Not by much, but just a touch. Um, I'm gonna jump in and like update the data. Like if it says Alexia, now it says Alexia, I'll update her. And then I'll jump across and I'll update the shaman and then I'll ju like jump across and keep updating until it hits a yes, this is the one that you need. And we'll see what that is and we'll figure it out from there. The wolf hat toy thing! Ah, oh, congrats, Icy! Well done! That's awesome! <clears throat> oh, so for anyone who was wondering, um, Huntress Lisa is... is Icy. Um, and I, because Icy has literally set up the, the uh, add-ons, like, today, halfway through stream, today. Um, if you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to, uh, there is an option in the Loot Appraiser Challenge bit where you can set yourself a nickname so that no matter what tune you're on, it always shows, for example, your Twitch name. You don't have to do that, but if you want people to be able to see where you are on the list as opposed to where your character is on the list kind of thing. Um, that is something you can do, but it is not necessary, which is why I didn't give you the information earlier, because I'd rather you get up and running than be fiddling with stuff that is not needed. But if you want to, now that you've got it working, um, you're at, well, mostly working. I think your gold amounts are, oh no, you were doing fine with the last ones because you had like several hundred gold worth of, yeah, no, no it's fine. Um, yes. Now that you, now that you're kind of with the flow a bit, there is a spot where you can update your name if you so desire. Ah, uh, Deputy Star with Chimkin. Yum. Sounds delicious. Delicious. Hope you enjoy apathy. So, Krazy, this might entertain you. I know you do, like, do you actually, do you do stuff, much stuff with your, like, um, I know you'd obviously work out like a fuckload and, and like a, like a beast, but, um, do you, I'm assuming you do some nutrition stuff, especially in the lead up to a comp. Um, would you like to know what my macros have been looking like this week? Because they're, they're not, they're not where they should be. Um, and I found it quite entertaining. Um, I didn't realize, like, I, d I didn't know, I didn't track anything. And so I decided to plug everything in. Then I'm like, those numbers are not where they should be. Good. Um, so this week's meal prep, I've made some adjustments. Uh, it's quite entertaining though. At least I think it is. Do you have to share? Yeah, of course. So, um, my carbs have been like in, in the thirties percent wise. Um, protein has been like... 15 to 20 and I've had like 45 to 50 percent fat and I'm like eh, excuse me what <laughs> um yeah it's been and I was like 
how, how have I managed this? And so I looked back and I, I like I had a look at what I was doing. So um, I've been having coconut yogurt with my breakfast because it's AIP, right? It's coconut stuff. Uh, turns out there's no protein in coconut yogurt, zero protein, uh, and it's mostly fat. Perfect. Uh, my snack, like my afternoon snack, has been carrot sticks dipped in avocado, which is very healthy, but avocado is pure fat, uh, with some olives, which, as we all know, olives are where olive oil come from. Um, so that's also fat. Um, we, were we were doing the nightshade curry, the AIP curry for lunch, which is freaking delicious. And I was having it with sweet potato, um, mashed sweet potato, which is, again, delicious. But we didn't, it, we, we felt like it wasn't saucy enough, so we added extra coconut milk. Let's go. Um, the, the serving of lunch was like 348 calories or something, like somewhere around that number. I don't, I, I'm pretty sure, I, you know, three, three and a half hundreds of calories for lunch, which I'm okay with that. I'm totally down with that. Except like 217 of those calories came from the goddamn coconut milk because it's pure fat. <laughs> and I was just like... Excuse me? What? So I made some oopsies. The right yogurt. No, I know there is. I know in the right yogurt there's protein, but coconut milk, uh, coconut yogurt specifically has exactly zero protein, which I didn't know. Um, I didn't know that. I kind of just thought yogurt and thought, yay, protein. But of course, it's not the same stuff. It's not dairy. It's not like there's no, it's not that. <laughs> um, so that's, I was like, oh, good. Good fat. Yeah, it, they are. They're definitely all good fats. Like everything there, none of it was. I, I mean, there was obviously a little bit of fat in dinner as well. Like having uh, a Scotch fillet steak or having like pork or whatever. There, there are going to be fats in there too, but not as not nearly as much. Um, but so <laughs> what I've changed. I'm like, okay, I need to obviously I need to get rid of some fat and add some protein. So we've knocked out the extra coconut milk from the curry. So we've gone from, like, in a, in a batch that does both of us for lunch, so ten servings, we were adding, we had three cans of coconut milk to make it saucy. Yep. Um, so we've knocked that down to two. Um, to hopefully that makes a difference. It, it's definitely less saucy. Just looking at it, it doesn't look like a... Really sorry, this one's always really loud. Did you? Um, but that's okay. You and your allies cool with that. Shall answer to Blackmore. Uh, I've taken out the olives. The, the snacks. Because um, I don't need them, really, honestly. Uh, and instead of yogurt, this is gonna make you laugh, instead of yogurt with breakfast, instead of coconut yogurt, um, I've swapped out the coconut yogurt for mints. <laughs> so instead of coconut yogurt with frozen mixed berries, because I needed like the dark fruit somewhere, I needed like the different, I was trying to get a rainbow in, right? Yep. And I needed the reds and the darks, and so that's where I got from the berries. Um, but instead of instead of coconut yogurt, I'm having them with mints. Because fruit and meat is a delicious, delightful, incredible blend. Just saying. Um, and although there is some fat in mincemeat, not as nearly as much as what was in the yogurt, and it'll bump my protein up. It's going to be really funny. And delicious. So there you go. Happy Easter, Luz! How are you going? Hope you've had a fantastic day. Oh, Romani Battle, thank you. So mix the two of them together. Oh my god, you should. One of the things I did a lot when I was um, on AIP properly was um, I had uh, pork patties. Like I'd make, you know, get minced like ground pork and make little burgers with them, but put blueberries, like chopped up blueberries and thyme. And they were freaking delicious. Like that little burst of sweetness in with like the saltiness of the meat or meat was really, really tasty. Like really tasty. Highly recommend fruit and meat together. Great mix. Very busy day, so tired, oh, I can imagine. Oh, I hope it was a good busy though. Sniff. Yeah, fruit fruit and meat. Uh, like um, I used to do balsamic glazed strawberries with pork as well. Um Yeah, there's there's some like mm. so wait, I mean won't leave. I'm just doing breakfast and macros. Yeah, go for it. Um I'm guessing you've spoken to Thrall, yeah? You need to, you do need to talk to him and go through the voice lines to, like, the, the responses to get him moving. He's a pain in the ass, though. Um, notice that she was like, Cocoa Pops is low fat, it's meant to be high fat because of all the chocolate, but it's not real chocolate. It's just cocoa powder. 
Cocoa powder doesn't have any. Cocoa powder and sugar. Doesn't have anything to use it. Oh god, that's annoying. That sucks. My son meat and fruit because he doesn't like veg. Yeah. Look, I know, I know fructose you're supposed to kind of be careful with how much fructose you have as well. I get it. But like, dude, fruit is delicious. And it's the only, like, <laughs> I'm trying to hold back on the sugar. So give me my fruit. Meaty, infamous, Dunno, Thurling, Draz, and Zam. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Yeah, I'm all out of ideas with bugged out through all Sorry about that. Um, oof. That really sucks. Oh, excuse me. Let's talk to you. Friend. What is it? No, I will probably keep my grape limit down. Grapes? Really? I can't eat too many grapes because they have an effect on my digestive system. I still do, and the, the, like I'll sit there and I'll like snack on them, not like reading my phone or whatever, just kind of eat, eat, and then my belly will kind of go grumble, and I'm like, oh. Okay, I put them away now. <laughs> I am I'm very bad. Um, grapes are delicious. They're so good. Mm. Red grapes or white grapes? What do you prefer? Kill them in day for my lips. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, not good for me though. Hmm. Especially white grapes. Noted. Yeah, it seems most people prefer white grapes to, to red grapes. Okay, some green apples. Green apple, like Granny Smith apples are so beautifully tart, hey. Oh, so delicious. Granny Smith for eating, pink apple for baking. One fry up for the week. Fry a kilo of potato, fry up one kilo of kangaroo. Onion and capsicum mixed together. 18 scrambled eggs, four chorizo, and some fried eggs. Yeah, of course. Um, uh, that nice. Nothing beats light cheese. Each easily eat a kilo. I would, I would beg to differ with the easily. Um, I mean, the nails definitely help, but God, they just make my hands so sticky. I can't. It's like unexpected wet. I don't like having sticky hands. As soon as I've got something on my hands, I feel like I need to wash them off. And with lychees, you want to keep eating, so they keep getting sticky, and I just don't like it. And the stuff that comes in the tin is not as good. Like, they're good, but they're not, not as good. Those are really big. Nice. 2.30 protein a day, however. I need to grab it in. Yeah. That is, that is a large number. I, if I ate that, I would probably get very overweight. Because I don't burn calories like you do. And that's okay. Every human is different, hey. But that's really cool. Okay, so um, technically I'm not supposed to eat potato because of AIP. Kangaroo mints um, is because it's low fat, right? But high protein. Um, I don't know that I'd be able to afford it on my current budget. Um, in fact, I know that I wouldn't be able to afford it on my current budget, but it is a good thing to keep in mind for later. Absolutely, like once I'm a little more stable, once the dentistry stuff is done with all that kind of thing, maybe I'll have the, the movability with that. Um, onion, yes, capsicum can... Oh, die in a hole. Uh... <laughs> um, eggs are not AIP. Chorizo probably has something in it that isn't, but that's fine. Chorizo are so tasty, oh my god. Uh, and yeah, avocado is, oh, avocado is so good. So good. I haven't been able to find any house avocados anywhere. They're all shepherd and I don't, oh. Because I use them, like I mash them and use them like a dip. I don't want ch chunks of them and house are just so much creamier than shepherd. So much creamier. Like shepherd, if you want to make a, a, a dip with them, you have to like chop them up in a food processor. You can't just mash them. And, um... And even then, you're probably just going to get a whole lot of chopped up avocado rather than blended. Like, ugh. But, you know, that's just, that's, that's my personal taste. Um, but that's really interesting. 50 grams of protein, 30, 40 grams of carbs, 20 grams of fat. That's amazing. So much energy. Holy cow. 
And fry ups, fantastic as well. Like we we did our food prep today. So we we cook up the, the serving of lunch. I have it with um, sweet potato, Jess has it with rice. Um, I have the fruit and now mints for breakfast and I have the carrots with uh, avocado as like a, a morning snack, but I usually end up eating them straight after I eat breakfast anyway, just cause it's there and it's food. Um, but he gets uh, overnight oats. And at the moment he's been enjoying uh, peanut butter flavor. So I melt some, in, some peanut butter and mix it through the batch and uh, pop some a little drizzle of honey on top because it's in the meal prep container. So I put a bit of honey on top and then sprinkle some uh, peanuts over the top as well. Like actual, like, not not in the skin, but you know, like peanuts that you'd snack on um, over the top. And he seems to be liking that at the moment. No, then you got delicious, they're really big. Yeah, stickiness, yeah, no, yeah, I don't, do not like, dislike. <laughs> Uh, depends on what you're doing. 230 grams is stupidly high. Yeah. Not not appropriate for me. Not appropriate for me with my mostly sedentary lifestyle with the occasional jog. Uh, <laughs> Kanga's stupid high and iron too from memory. Ah, usually cheaper. Oh, cheaper. Healthy, but I love them. That's okay. You gotta have a little something in there. You gotta have a little something. Um, cheaper. Interesting. Let me have a squiz. Because we bought a two kilo thing of beef mints today from Aldi. I know you can't get kangaroo mints from Aldi. You'd have to go to uh, Woolies for it. That's okay though. Like we go to Woolies for other things like yellow squash. So no biggie. Um, I'm so hungry. I have no food. <laughs> uh, Okay, so that took me like 17 minutes for the run. Good lord. It's probably gonna have to be my last run, hey? please uh i guess it's just called the thing when you say mince i imagine raw meat well it does start mint. it does start raw but then i cook it it's just that i don't turn it into burgers or something like that it's like if you were making uh if you were using ground beef to make spaghetti sauce like you'd, you'd cook it up in all the little bits and then you'd add like the saucy bits to it to make you yeah um so i do the first bit and then i just leave it at that I don't add anything else to it so that's my mince uh, but it is absolutely cooked. I'm not eating raw meat. But welcome on in, Morticia. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, but it might be. It absolutely might. Like, I'm Australian. So maybe that's just how we go here. But, um, yeah. This way to nutritious. Nutritious again. Oh, yeah, okay. And they basically told me the worst thing I'm doing is drinking a coffee at 5 a.m. as I'm on my way to the gym. But I can't eat before training. Or stream readers, does it matter where I place them? Nah. Sometimes it does, like for different captains, they might specifically want people to place things in certain places, but they've got markers that they can help use to, to guide people to do that. With my battles, it doesn't matter at all, Panda, place wherever you'd like. Um, within, of course, where you can place them. This is so versatile from any animal to really, oh, absolutely, absolutely. So, beef mints for one kilo is 13, 13 bucks. A kilo. Um, that doesn't say kangaroo. Maybe they don't have kangaroo mints listed online at Woolworths. That would make sense, but certainly thinking. <clears throat> Why are they selling show bags at Bullies? I'm so confused. These are all toys. That's dog food. That's cat food. More dog food, more cat food. Yeah, 
Yeah, Mince is like... Especially when it's a way to use up the extra little cuts. Like, you know, when you're cutting the perfect steak from a cow, for example. There are going to be bits you trim off. It's not, they're not, they're not the wasted parts. They're not like cartilage and all that kind of, it's not that stuff. But to make the shape right, or to make the weight of the steak right, or whatever it happens to be, you're going to have scraps left over. And instead of like tossing those scraps away, you mince them. Like it's not, it's not like rejected bits of meat that they just toss into the mincer. It's, yeah, I, it's real meat. It's just the little bits that didn't make sense for elsewhere. Um, yeah, Woolies does not... Oh, hang on. Kru kangaroo mints one kilo. Twelve! Okay. Inter interesting. So it is, it's a dollar cheaper a kilo. Huh. They've got sausages and burgers and all that kind of stuff, but, um... That's interesting. I wonder if maybe they didn't... That's a terrible picture. It's so teeny tiny. There you go. Quick and easy to cook. There you go. Ooh! Pretty. Mmm, let me prep. It's at $10 last time I bought it. Wow, there you go. I wonder if that's also like a location based thing too. Like maybe it's easier to get to you than it is to get to get it to me. Like two years yet for a nice spreadsheet for meal prep. I mean, I do. <laughs> I don't tend to put prices in there, but I absolutely put like I absolutely spreadsheet it out so I can see what I'm eating when and make sure like I have you know the rainbow of fruit and veg and getting all those different kind of because I'm I very very easily get stuck in eating the same stuff all the time. Um, often because it's cheaper to buy it in bulk too, so I have to make sure that I'm getting different colours in different places. Like I've got my, my berries and I get mixed berries, so I've got strawberries and blueberries and blackberries and raspberries I think? So I'm getting reds and darks, reds and purple slash blue. Um, in, you know, I've got the carrots for a snack, so there's your orange. Um, the yellow is the only thing I'm kind of low on because I've got yellow squash, but that's about it. I don't have like corn or anything because corn's not AOP. Um, there are very few, I mean, banana, although technically that class is classified as a white, isn't it? But I've got cauliflower and broccoli for green and white. Um, but like, you know, I've got all the, I, I have to, yeah, I have to actually consciously make those decisions. Otherwise I know I'll lose out on nutrients and I'll get sick. Like <laughs> my body is just that much of a pain in the butt. Uh, I suppose an icon for mass is an add on or a glitch. Um, it's a weak aura and it means that I don't have... My, um... Oh, why don't I have the... Oh, I think it's because I'm in the wrong spec. Um, it, but it's because I didn't have the, um... The poison applied to my weapon. There you go. Because I don't need to. Because I'm one-shotting everything anyway. So, apologies. Yeah, though, that's a that's a weak aura uh, that Jack wrote. Um, one of our community members wrote for me because I was leveling... And I kept forgetting, specifically on a shaman, I think it was, I kept forgetting to put my lightning shield and my things on my weapons. I was getting really frustrated with everything dying so slowly um, as I was leveling. And so he wrote the thing to kind of remind me to buff myself <laughs> on all my ults, <laughs> because that's the kind of person I am. Uh, and that's the kind of person he is. So yeah, I, I like it a lot. It covers all the different characters, uh, all the different classes as well. Um, so the poisons will only show up on a rogue, arcane intellect will only show up on a mage. Um, it also, like, if you're a Kyrian, it'll show you the little uh, vial that you get from your steward. Uh, if you're Venthia, it'll show you your Mad Duke's tea if you've got Theotara's soul bite. Like, it's so good. So good. But welcome on in, Yuri. I hope you're having a great day. I'm heavily here, especially for life. Yes, that's why we have the, uh, the emote. I had a kangaroo before, flavor is quite strong at times. I have, yes. Uh, I have. Ah, uh, makes life so much easier. Let's do the same. Two lunches essentially every day makes life so much easier. It really does, right? And cheaper too. Good lord, cheaper too. There was, like, there was a time where every time I made dinner, I'd make, like, four servings, and that'd count for lunch the next day. Um, but I found it so much cheaper to meal prep 
for the whole week. And then especially like if we just like you were feeling really lazy or just really exhausted or run down or whatever and we decided to get takeout and then we ate all of it and then we wouldn't have lunch for the next day so we'd have to buy lunch from wherever. It just, it, yeah, it's much more effective. Like I've every, like all my breakfasts and lunches for the week are in the fridge. They're all there. And then dinner, we just kind of do steak and, or, you know, meat and veg, um, which is, sure, it's boring, but, or it can get boring, but it's tasty and it's healthy oh, and it works. It's easy for Jess to throw together on nights that I'm streaming as well. Like, last thing I want to do is make him go through some fucking recipe that has 101 steps. Like, no, not okay. Not okay. I see. I think you're very welcome. Very welcome. Most of my meals contain either rice, potato, or bread. Yeah, that's totally fair, and that's it's fairly normal in like. You didn't really sorry, think really you would escape, did you? Um. You and your allies in like the Blackmore. Western culture, After it's I've fairly normal fight. to have like a ton of carbs or whatever with every meal. Um, I've been trying to. Yay! I've been trying to move away from that a little bit, but it it is really difficult. What is it? It's difficult. But that's okay. Look, each to their own. Everyone's diet is their own. Um, and if it works for them, then they, it should be fine. Like, you know, just, it's between them and their medical professional. Or their digestive tract. There's also that. If you eat something and it results in Ono's in the bathroom, then maybe don't do that again. <laughs> you still have a fucking as well. So that's a good cup hard. Every cup of the week, yeah. Yeah, and I've got the chest freezer. So what I would love to be able to do is have, like, one big ass cooking day, like, once a month. Just freeze. Oh my god, it would be amazing. It would be so amazing. I feel like if I ever have kids, I'm gonna have to do that. Because, like, if I'm still streaming by that point, oh good lord. <laughs> it's gonna be a thing. I guess everyone plans like that. Yep, kids ruin lots of plans. Uh, I've been introduced to turkey mints. It's not quite up there with lamb mints, not mincy enough. Yeah, I felt the same about chicken mints, honestly. I felt like chicken mints was too sticky. Um, one of the things I really love about beef mints is that it falls into your tiny little pieces and you get so much texture with you know, pureed meat. <laughs> um, so like when you when you pop it in, yeah, okay, you get a couple of clumps, but a lot of it breaks down into like the little stringy bits and stuff while it's cooking and it's just, it's really, it's textured and it spreads well and chicken mince clumps up if you try to cook it the same way. It doesn't get the little bits. It ends up being like little chunks of processed chicken, which isn't as nice. And so you don't get that texture because they all have the same bloody texture. And it, yeah. Um, so I'm not a fan of chicken mints. Um, but yeah, it's. I've used turkey mints a couple of times i'm pretty sure it breaks up but i think it broke up better than the chicken did but i don't quite remember it's been a long time uh, i did that for minutes so many meal preps so the freezer stocked with them yep how many empty containers did you have once the once the freezer was empty you know, there'd be days both of us would be exhausted oh absolutely and also like um once the once bubs moves on to like pureed foods and stuff i like I can imagine myself trying to be the kind of parent, note, I said trying, to be the kind of parent that like goes or, or goes to the market or whatever and gets a ton of veggies or orders Woolworths delivery or, you know, supermarket delivery and gets a ton of veggies and, and fruits and all this kind of stuff and just like boils the hell out of everything, mashes it and puts it in ice cube containers and freezes it. And then when, when the baby cries, you pop out an ice cube, defrost it and feed it. <laughs> because bugger trying to buy that much goddamn baby food i cannot even like it must be so expensive but that's ideal i doubt it'll happen so the instance for all still won't talk to me that's so strange Kraz. so like go through you didn't run there you you spoke to you spoke to blondie on the right when you walked in, you grabbed the incendiary bombs, you spoke to the dragon and got flown over, you went down into the pit and placed the bombs, all five bombs, waited for them to blow up, the boss came down and you killed him, then you went up and went down inside the thing and you spoke to Thrall. That's not where it's locking up, is it? Where is it locking up? 
That's that's what I'm trying to get to, Dupin. I'm trying to go through step by step to figure out exactly where it's going wrong, firstly, to see if there's a fix. So that that point when you're trying to talk to him in the jail. That's really weird. I have earned my freedom. That's super strange. Bombs, I've flown, I've blown up shit. You killed the boss after that, yeah? I'm guessing. Um Underground Turkey there, no stores near me have sold them and cut cutty noodles in every year. It makes me so sad. Lotar, friend. Hello. No, let me you come outside and face your face. Everything else now and hope. Yep, sounds like a plan. What was that? There's yeah, there's gotta be there's gotta be something missing. Oh, like the big tubey things. Could you could you like Probably not, but I'm gonna try anyway, Sheebs. Could you could you like fudge it with lasagna sheets? Like like fresh lasagna sheets, not the hard ones that you have to place down and they can snap and stuff. But like the where the brand here would be Latina pasta, like Latina fresh pasta. But if you get like fresh ones that are pliable and you can roll them yourself. And in doubt, murder everyone. You sound like Jas, Sam. <laughs> I know it wouldn't be the same shapes, but like. It's like, you know, the the, the original and the fashion over copy the fashion over ripoff. Oh! That's a recipe I don't have. Hell yeah! No, wipe it out. Mindset that tends to work. I hate that you're right. I hate that you're right. When in doubt, wipe it out. Oh my god, you lot. You lot. I don't think I'm going to get another run in in under eight minutes, considering that those two took me uh, 34. <laughs> it's about 17 minutes a pop. Um, so I'm gonna head out, I'm gonna update my data, and we're gonna talk about next week while everyone else finishes up their runs. God, Kraz, I'm so sorry. This is so weird. I really hope we can figure out... I know this sounds really, really strange, but maybe after stream, once it's finished, um, I should jump in a Discord call with you, and you can share your screen with me, and we can have a look, and I can go through it on my screen at the same time and just see what's... See if there's a difference. See what exactly is kind of wonky. If you can't manage to trigger it happening. Too already. Yes, I'm waiting to see who survived Hills Bread times two. Me, I did. I did. Well done, though, everyone. Well done. That was a uh, that was an experience. Thank you for coming through it with me. I, I appreciate it deeply and muchly. It's time to update my data. Yay, data! Hi, hello, yes, I am Fear and I am a widow. Mm, okay. I have many lucky dudes you like. I do like. I'm a fucking casual. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm fucking loving it. Ooh, just, just yelled at something. Uh good fortune to our friends. <clears throat> Baby tune da 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 baby tune da 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 Farewell, friend of the grumbles. Soul bound, food, food, drink. Scroll, food, scroll. That was a DOE, wasn't it? Yep. Okay, uh, oh, that's a food. Scroll. Sweet! Alright, um, we're gonna... Many Who's that? I'm gonna refresh this. I always refresh ATT until the numbers at the top start stop moving um, when I'm doing a data pool, just because it does calculate things wrong the first time or two. I, I don't know why. I, I'm honestly not sure, um, but it just does. So, test data. Alexia. Blonk. Let's watch an update.
There you go. Mana tombs on Pier Roa, it says. Um, so we're gonna head back to the garrison. I'm gonna send this stuff off to Fia, and then I'm gonna jump onto the shaman, Pier Roa, and grab her data again, just to check. That's not ideal. Um, so that I don't have to turn the sound command off if and when I have a sponsored stream and they want no swearing. That's why. Because you know I'll forget and then someone will trigger it and then whoever I'm sponsored by it yells at me and then everything goes to shit. <laughs> it's for my own sanity. The building's just caught on fire. Should have happened some time ago. Yeah. that's That usually happens pretty much straight away after you place the fifth bomb. Should. Should. Head off. No worries, Duke. Rest well. We'll see you next time. Everything goes to shirt. Correct. Everything goes to shirt. God, I love the good place. I loved it so much. Like, there were a few bits that were like, excuse me, what? But, like, most of it was just so much fun. My mums are down, yeah, I thought that but nothing happened, so I went to Thrall. Up the top, there's a little number thing that says incendiary bombs placed four out of five, etc. Um, and once it hits five, that's when everything explodes. Supposed to. Um, and then when they go off, that's when the boss comes down. You kill the boss, then you head to Thrall. What I see said. <laughs> I hadn't killed him, so maybe I need to. Um. You don't usually have to kill dudes. Um, usually you just have to place the bombs from memory. But um, whenever I run in to place the bombs, I always aggro them anyway. So I kill them, but yeah, I'm not sure. Sorry. I've never tried to do it without killing them. <laughs> Mm-hmm. The best bit is I see I um I learned that recipe straight away because it's one I didn't have. Things that way. Yeah. It's blepped out AT2. There we go. <clears throat> Let's see if I actually have to do mana tombs. It'd be really funny if like the third tune, third one in a row is another glass in BC Dungeons. Oh, fair enough. Um, I believe, I'm pretty sure I tried it one time and it was roughly the same amount of time to run as it was to dragon. But, um, yeah, the, the, the bonus kills and stuff, yeah, sure. That makes sense. Right, so Mana Tombs is actually... So next week we're doing the same damn dungeons. God damn. <laughs> Next, next week, we're doing the same dungeons. Um, now, uh, speaking of next week, I don't think I will be, but I might be a bit late. Um, it, oh, you, yeah, Grazzy, yeah. It absolutely would be. Um, like Kuhn did. When um when the BC Classic, the TBCC servers were announced, uh, your cries, Kuhn, 
went in and completed all the BC raids and dungeons across all 12 characters, all 12 classes, like, as, as celebrate, and I'm like... So, I, I have a feeling, though, that he was closer than I am to start with. <laughs> but that's okay, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Um... Hmm. It would be really nice. The only thing is the way that I do it, because I aim for the bottom one, and it, so these are all getting put to, like, 80s, 90s, which means that we're not gonna get them coming up again to go knock them over until we get, like, we bring everything up to 80, 90%, which, holy cow, that would be amazing. But, progress. This dungeon is 35.13% completed. You see here, the 35 this is the first 35% dungeon, which means that I've cleared everything that was 34. Every single dungeon and every single, gosh, every single raid and dungeon across all the expansions up to Legion and across all 12 classes, the minimum completion that I have is 35%. That's huge. That is a milestone. And I am so happy with that. And... We ticked over 65%. We were at 65 point something, and we're now at 66. So we've gained another entire percent. And I mean, 1% doesn't sound like much, but when it's across all classes, all dungeons and raids, up to and including Legion, that's huge. So there you go. Two big leaps today, and I'm very happy about that. Very happy. Uh, Don Carlos from his hat. I remember getting his toy back. BC Mission, nothing cool. Be a ghost wolf with a wolf companion. Yes. Yes, that would be mental too. Yeah, like, holy cow, that would be amazing. But it also, like, cycling through whatever's lowest also means that for the most part, we're not, um, like, we're not bashing our heads against the same thing. At least it's on different classes, you know? I'm not every Sunday running the exact same two raids on fear every week until the one thing I need, you know, it's, it's nice. More of a chance of getting stuff. <laughs> but so, um... My lowest percentages along the way are 70% on Fear. Not, like, Fear's lowest completion is 70%. She is my main. 36 36.36, 37.5, 37.5, 44.97, 38.31, 37.7, 56.25, it's a cloffy. Uh, 37.5, 37.21, 35.14, 35.15, 35.16, 35.17, 35.18, 35.19, 35.20, 35.21, 35.22, 35.23, 35.24, 35.25, 35.26, 35.27, 35.28, 35.29, 35.30, 35.31, 35.32, 35.33, 35.34, 35.35, 35.36, 35.37, 35.38, 35.39, 35.40, 35.41, 35.42, 35.43, 35.44, 35.45, 35.46, 35.47, 35.48, 35.49, 35.50, 35.51, 35.52, 35.53, 35.54, 35.55, 35.56, 35.57, 35.58, 35.59, 35.60, 35.61, 35.62, 35.63, 35.64, 35.65, 35.66, 35.67, 35.68, 35.69, 35.70, 35.71, 35.72, 35.73, 35.74, 35.75, 35.76, 35.77, 35.78, 35.79, 35.80, 35.81, 35.82, 35.83, 35.84, 35.85, 35.86, 35.87, 35.88, 35.89, 35.90, 35.91, 35.92, 35.93, 35.94, 35.95, 35.96, 35.97, 35.98, 35.99, 35.100, 35.101, 35.102, 35.103, 35.104, 35.105, 35.106, 35.107, 35.108, 35.109, 35.110, 35.111, 35.112, 35.113, 35.114, 35.115, 35.116, 35.117, 35.118, 35.119, 35.120, 35.131, 35.132, 35.133, 35.134, 35.135, 35.136, 35.137, 35.138, 35.139, 35.140, 35.151, 35.152, 35.153, 35.154, 35.155, 35.156, 35.157, 35.158, 35.159, 35.160, 35.171, 35.172, 35.173, 35.174, 35.175, 35.176, 35.177, 35.178, 35.178, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.179, 35.
I'm pretty much brand new to WoW. It's so overwhelming how much this game has to do just trying to get the current campaign done. That is a really, really good plan, Morticia. And honestly, like, we, um, because I'm on the launcher for, for WoW occasionally, a lot of the time, etc. Um, we get a lot of new players in asking questions or, or, you know, advice or whatever it happens to be. Why does that still say Adam Progress 20 seconds? That's got to be wrong. Let me refresh this. Um, and, and honestly, you are 100% on the money with that comment. WoW is huge. It is in, it's a 17 plus year old game. And all of that content that, you know, having a, a regular content kind of, what's it? Um, snooze that. Having content being released regularly means that you've got a ton of content to get through, right? Don't stress. Take it one thing at a time. Uh, I think playing through the current campaign is a really, really good plan. You know, you level up to max, you follow the prompts, you choose your covenant, you play through the campaign, have a look at Corfia, have a look at Xerath Mortis. Once you kind of reach the point where it's like, you've done the story, good job. Um, that's when, like, that's the time to start exploring the rest of the game as a whole. If there's anything that you see us doing on stream that you're curious about, that you'd like to know more about, just ask. There are no stupid questions, not even stupid people. Everyone didn't know something at some point. But there was a first time for learning something for absolutely everybody. They're like, everything that is in the game that I know about. I know a lot about the game. I've been playing for 15 years. It's a long ass time. Everything that I know, I had to learn at some point. There was a point in time I didn't know and I had to find out. Some of it I found out through Wowhead, some of it I found out through asking people in-game, some of it I was told and didn't even know that I didn't know it, um, that by guildies and stuff like that. But yeah, if you ever have any sort of questions about anything, let us know. Um, and one of the big one of the big things that I talk about is finding someone who can tell you the answers to your questions without giving you all the backstory. Because all the backstory will give you information overload and you don't need that. All you need is the answer to the very specific question. And here is somewhere where that will happen. Because all of my regulars know that I say that all the time. The vast majority of people here will not like overload you with information. They'll give you an answer. And then if you're like, okay, but I don't quite understand what about this, then we'll give you the answer to that question. But we'll only kind of give you as much information as you need rather than like the 17 year history of how that thing came to be. <laughs> but yeah, it's, this is a very, this is a very new, new player friendly zone. Um, and I hope you're enjoying it so far. I truly do. I hope that you're, you're uh, blown away by all the different areas that Shadow Ancestor offer and it's just, uh, and all the heartstring pulling that it might be doing. Um, a lot of the, for, especially for people who've been playing for quite a few years, there's so much in Shadowlands that just wrenches at the heartstrings. Um, so, yes. <laughs> Rant over. Um, that's up to a great thing. You can play however you want. Yes, there is no right or wrong way. The only, the only wrong way to play World of Warcraft is to shit on other people's fun. That's the only wrong way. There are no stupid questions. We may provide stupid answers. Look, sometimes, but we will flag them as this is a joke, so that you don't. Because obviously, you know how could you tell if it was a joke if you didn't have the background and blah blah blah. But yeah, no. If we if we crack sillies, we will let you know. <laughs> I've been playing as long as spirit. I'm still learning daily. Absolutely. Ask a silly question. Get silly answer. Yeah? <laughs> so watch out for that crazy guy. He's <laughs> an ass. No, you're fine. You're fine. All right. Uh, I've just popped two snoozers, so let's we'll tick that one off. Didn't do one of those. I can do two of these though. Mm. So, uh, place. We're going to a place, but before we do, ta -da! stream schedule. This is my schedule for April, as it says at the top. Yay, information. Uh, today was Transmog Hunt because today is the 17th that you can see next to the where it says gold making. It's, I can't really point to it, but it's like here. Uh, <laughs> tomorrow is Mount Farm Monday. We got three mounts last week, two mounts the week before, two mounts the week before that. Can we keep up the streak? Absolutely not. 
Uh, <laughs> we're gonna try though. The 20th, Wednesday the 20th, we are gonna do a Noble Garden stream. Noble Garden is the in-game representation of Easter. We're gonna be collecting chocolate eggs and trading them for Transmog Completionist style. The 20th is also that morning. So like 14 hours before stream. I think it's 14 hours. 14 hours before stream is when Blizzard will be announcing the next expansion. As of the 20th, as of that stream, any discussion of the next expansion will no longer be a spoiler. It will be discussed. It will likely be discussed heavily. So if you are someone who prefers getting your information from the source and you want to watch that video, that launch video, without any spoilers, this is not the... <laughs> I don't often advise this, but I would avoid the stream until you have had a chance to sit down and watch the announcement for yourself. Then come join us and get all freaked out and stuff with us. Um, because, yeah, I definitely advise watching that video before you come say hi, because there will be discussion, I, f I guarantee it, um, and you will get spoiled if you haven't already seen it. Uh, 22nd is Comp Stomp. It's PvP except PvE. We love that. And then wrap around to Transmog Hunting on the 24th. Uh, I may be a little bit late on the 24th. I have some plans that weekend, uh, this coming weekend, uh, that involve travel. Um, so I'm hoping that the plan is to get home with enough time for me to get ready and start streaming. If something happens and that doesn't happen, if that doesn't work out, um, I will I will let people know, probably through Discord, potentially through a tweet. Um, but those will be um, probably, like Discord is a definite, I may or may not tweet. So if you want those updates, jump into the Discord. Um, while you are doing the things with the community, if you feel like chucking me a follow on social media, that'd be really lovely. I'm trying to go full time. I want to be a full time streamer. I love doing this. This is this is my dream. This is amazing. I f I'm so grateful that I can do this and earn income and all that kind of. It's ridiculous and amazing. So, um, if you wouldn't mind throwing me a follow, uh, predominantly Instagram. Like that's particularly where I'm. What I'm trying to push at the moment. Um, I'm so close to that 1,000 threshold. Once you hit 1K. The algorithm starts opening up for you and you can push a little bit further. Uh, but also Twitter, there's also TikTok, there's a Facebook page, and of course the community on Discord It's uh, is where it's at when I'm not online um, streaming. I mean, when I'm not online streaming. So if you wouldn't mind, it takes 10 to 15 seconds. It's totally free and it actually, I know it sounds stupid. It really does help though. Thank you very much. Um, I think... I think... Uh, behind the schedule. Exactly, exactly. The entire stream would be a repeat of what did you think of the announcement? So what we need to do, Sheebs, is um, record a short, like when I when I say it, like when I, when I, 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 you know, first time it's asked, I'll give my blurb. We need to clip it. We need someone to turn it into an MP3 and send it to me on Discord and I make it a sound file. And I'll make it like mods only. So that anytime anyone comes in here, you can just like expansion, exclamation, expansion, or exclamation, X pack. And I can just, and let it answer. And then we'll keep going with it. <laughs> I'm gonna spoil promoted to an elevator stream tab, which can be spoken about. Yes. It's very busy. It may happen that she's behind the schedule. Ah, uh, dear. We prep some copy paste answers. Every single one of us log into stream is like, yep. Yep. And was the rest of it was fine? Which got Discord? That's a cool down. Too slow. Get text command, less work. Yeah, but then I have to type it out. Uh, <laughs> actually, text command. So, the first time I talk about it, Sheebs, can you make me bullet points and I'll make it a text command <laughs> and you can send it to me? <laughs> Oh, fuck. And I'll make the- I'll do the thing. Mods can do that though, yeah. Uh, no. My bot is desktop. It's not cloud bot. Um, so, but I can be sent stuff via Discord and then quickly make it a thing. Typing it out myself would probably take ages, but if someone else does all that bit and I can just copy paste it, we'll be golden. Anyway, we're gonna go and do a raid. Um. Bam. Twitch raid. There we go, grab your copy paste. If you don't have 
Oh, okay. There's two of them. Grab one of them. If you don't have the Fiamma Hype emote. That's right. It's not like the raid is on a timer that I need to get everything out on time. <clears throat> so grab your copy paste. If you don't have the Fiamma Hype emote either because you're not a sub or because you haven't unlocked it with your channel points, you can grab the whole copy paste, change Fiamma Hype to your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote, and then drop it into Barry's chat when we get there. Um, Barry is a lovely human, a fellow Twitch partner. Um, uh, any pronouns, make them comfortable. Like, yep. So that's a good thing to start with. Uh, playing Mass Effect uh, is story time. We like story time. Um, you know what I'm doing for the next week or so. Keep an eye on the socials because there's stuff happening and things changing potentially. Keep an eye on the socials. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I will see you tomorrow. Mount Fun Monday. All the mounts! Probably not. Woo! All the love. Mwah! Bye, guys.